Du, 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 du. Oh fuck. Man, I was gonna have the uh OBS deck all set up, but turns out that's a little bit more difficult to set up than I thought. I was gonna do it through Streamlabs OBS, but nah. Tablet wasn't fully charged. Maybe I'll do it the next time. Well, but yeah, baby, we're here. <laughs> I mean, as some of you know, my internet went out like uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and that's when we were just like, fuck it, because AT&T was, was cramping our style any fucking way. So we were just like, let's just get some new internet, handle our business. And it turns out our plan, our AT&T plan only had like 10 megabytes per second. <laughs> That's why my fucking shit kept going in and out all the time. Because it was just, we were working on, we were like four people sharing 10 megabytes per second. That was shit. <laughs> That's what happens when you let boomers uh, pick your internet plan. <laughs> That's what happens, man. That's what happens. Um, what else? Oh yeah, right. So we upgraded. To, we went from like AT and T to Xfinity, and now we've got we're running on uh, six hundred megabytes per second. So that's fantastic. Oh, James Moore, five dollars super chat. She streams again. Yes. Hello, everyone. Just keep flooding in. Um, yeah. So we're working on six hundred megabytes per second. I'm streaming in HD. It feels great. <laughs> I finally learned how to stop. Um, I think, well, I already like fixed my audio, but like the thing was, I I'm I'm a meddler. I keep fuck. I keep changing the position of my microphone. Uh, I always thought like to get be the best microphone quality was to tilt it this way, but it turns out to make it sound the best, it has to be straight up. Holy shit, these super chats are rolling in. They're rolling in. Uh, REB, $3 super chat, and it's a little, little donkey. Oh shit, Fitz Philogene the second, $50 super chat. Jada, Jada Smith is a disgusting snake, uh, but that's only because Will was obsessed with having a happily ever after. His last relationship didn't pan out. Jada prayed on Will's desperation, and Will was too weak to move on and be happy. All of this sucks, true. <laughs> Anyway, I was worried about the connection at first because it was going like yellow and red, but that's only because I had Twitter and chat in um, YouTube studio running, but now it's fine. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's my whole explanation for the internet. We had an old one. It had, it had a low frame. It had a low, um, it had a low bit rate, our plan. So we had to upgrade it and get a new one. And now I can stream in HD, which is fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. So, but now uh, let's talk about what this uh, night of cringe is going to be about. I mean, as you all, I, I wanted to do this. Uh, I wanted to do an NOC based on specifically this because everyone had already talked the Oscar slap to death already. Like, no offense to anyone who has, but you know, it's just been like. I want to do so because I already missed the wave for that. I already missed it. So I was like, you know, why don't we go to the source of all this dysfunction of what might have caused the slap in the first place? Because I think that's uh, just as important. Because all the ever since the slap, all these clips have been coming out uh, from Red Table Talk. It, it's just like it's so explanatory <laughs> for why uh will went fucking nuts well that and his uh, autobiography it's a lot of fucked up shit in there too um but yeah let's focus on red table talk <laughs> apparently to describe this show i would say it's it's digestible 
empty platitudes for depressed, multi-divorced wine moms. That's what it is. It's like Oprah, but worse. <laughs> it's Oprah, but much, much fucking worse. Like back in the day, I would watch Oprah and be, I'd be like, oh, this is all right. This is fine. I mean, I grew out of it because it's fucking Oprah. And uh, the view, I would say, the view, I think, is still slightly worse than this. I would, I would say, I would assume that is slightly worse. Sideburns, uh, fourteen ninety nine super chat. Hello, JLB in four K. Let's be dragged to hell once again. Uh, James Moore, five dollars super chat. I'm glad your family went from the Stone Age to the modern age of technology. Hopefully, the raccoons don't gain access to it too. Oh, don't mention those goddamn raccoons. I'm done with that. I'm done with that stage of my life. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Uh, J. Longman, I'm getting a lot of echoes in your stream. Is your audio okay? It should be. The fuck? Yeah, it should be fine. I don't... I don't... If you were talking about that test from before, no, that's fixed. It's been fixed. Opal Pal, have you heard of the just canceled family sex, sex show? Yeah, I've heard about that. Ugh. These motherfuckers think they're slick. Um, they said, "Oh, people for for uh, you know, from ages five and up can join." But like the fact that you think that you that you can let five year olds participate in this is bad enough. I don't understand why. <laughs> like the motherfuckers think they're slick. It can't be qu classified as a kids thing if we say five and up, <laughs> like toys and shit. Like, but no, motherfucker. Like, we know what you mean by five and up. You want fucking kids to come in here. Let's be real. Um, oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, wonderful time for my eyes to start watering. Wonderful. <laughs> like, people are discouraged from bringing kids into movie theaters. For any other kind of movie uh, than a, a kid's movie. <laughs> but these motherfuckers want kids to come into a place where they're going to be learning about blowjobs and shit. It, it's, it's, we need to bring back public ass whoopings. Like, for real. Uh, Mackie Sky, I was super chat. Just got out of the hospital the other day looking for laughs while I'm in. So thanks, Jang Long. Um, also, you're going to review that new 50, uh, 365 Days Passion Flick sequel. Well, it's not from Passion Flicks. It's from Poland. You know, Passion Flicks, that's... Uh, is that Canadian? I think it might be Canadian. I don't know, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's like... Passion Flicks is something else. And 365 Days, that's a Polish thing. Uh, Guardian Fortress, $2 Super Chat. How could you slap? How could you slap? <laughs> Mm. Oh, Mackie Sky, apparently she does she hasn't been feeling well. I hope you feel better as well. I didn't read that. I couldn't I didn't read the super chat because everything is moving kind of quick. Uh, BW uh, uh Estacado. JL got into into a fist fight with a raccoon and one. Ugh. Breezen Nally? Nally, I think. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Raccoons driving you nuts by getting in your attic and keeping you awake for days on end and occasionally trying to bust through your room is no fucking joke. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I wasn't having that. Wasn't having it. Paul Gerard Maximilian, $5 Super Chat. Glad to see you back. Love from St. Louis. You're one of my favorites. And like the only person I give these to, can't wait to hear, your, uh, hear you on this one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of... Oh, thank you. And speaking of which, let's get started. Now, I, I did some intel. And all of these episodes, all the episodes I picked out for, are from season one. You'd think that like uh, my episode choices would be spaced out, but no, they're not. The show was the show was trash from day one. It was never good, <laughs> not ever. So I, I was able to pick up a bunch of um, I was able to pick up a bunch of episodes from season one. Now, but the episode I want to show right now is the, the one that just just came out like yesterday i didn't know it came out yesterday until like a few hours earlier and i'm already like cringing at what i'm seeing but there is a message at the beginning from jada pinkett herself 
normally she she starts every video with her personally giving a message to the audience saying oh this is what this episode's about and healing and blah 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 i'm bald <laughs> let's get to the episode uh but this is just like blank a blank background with text on it which is very detached and, and it's addressing the slap thing and how they're gonna how they're gonna talk about it later on in the season and all that shit we haven't got yeah they haven't uh they, we haven't been able to capitalize or monetize it yet, but we will. <laughs> uh, CEO of uh, MSA, Joey Joestar, $5 Super Chat. Hey, Miss Longbow, nice to see you again. Can't wait to see Gloria rip on Oscar. Uh, excuse me, yet again. Hope you get the reference. Damn. No, I don't get that one. Damn. <laughs> But anyway, all right, let's get to it. We're going to start with like the very latest episode and then we're going to work our way to season one. Because that's just needs that's, that's to that's be like that. <laughs> Considering all that's happened in the last few weeks, the Smith family has been focusing on deep healing. <laughs> you're you're going to notice <laughs> that that's a theme on this fucking show. They're always talking about healing. We're doing heal. We're healing, guys. We're healing. We're growing. <laughs> it's like I said, it's a show with very empty platitudes. It's just a bunch of fucking cackling hens constantly agreeing with each other. At least the view has opposing opinions. You know, it's just a bunch of bitches like, yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Batgirl. Wow. And plus, there's a lot of toxic notions and, you know, advice you would never take or give to anyone. Not not even your worst enemy. Well, maybe your worst enemy. It depends. Batgirl Wild 7, 499 Super Chat. Have you seen the new Nick Cage movie? Nick Cage playing Nick Cage. It looks unironically funny. Glad you're back, Queen. Oh, thank you. I haven't seen it yet. I think I saw it on one of them, uh, uh, bootleg sites that I frequent, so can't pay for the movie because I just got done paying bills. I'm done, <laughs> so I can't go out and see it, but I will see it. Oh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Arthur oh, God, fuck! I hate it when it auto scrolls. Would you stop? Arturo Vegas, five dollar super chat. Oh, it's a hippo hype, it's the hype hippo. Thank you, Officer Bud Todd Russell, two dollar super chat. Hey, you, and it's a pair. Oh. Thank you. Lois Griffin, blatant innuendo, Jada. <laughs> uh, Multi-Pentagon, yes, the Smith family has been deeply healing. And by the Smith family, it's, it's Jada Pickett and a man that's not Will Smith. All right, let's get to it. Some of the discoveries around our healing it's like a meme like uh, it's a me healing for red table talk is like that's the meme that and denigrating will smith they're both memes very popular memes let's lower this to 720p so it's a little smoother Until, until then, the table talk will continue offering itself to powerful, inspiring, and healing testimonies like that of our incredibly impressive first guest. Thanks for joining, Jada. Like I said, very detached. Well, uh, this was your special request. Every single person I know, including me, is just obsessed with you. Just obsessed with you. I just love everything that you stand for. What got you ready to come out publicly? My dad had gotten on crack cocaine. That changed our relationship. I was dealing Naturally, crack would change any relationship. <laughs> With real rejection, abandonment issues. What mm. needs to go again? Oh, let's fast forward. Fuck. Hi, sweetie pie. Fast forward. Revealed she is pansexual. Someone attracted to all sex. All right, rewind, rewind. Damn. I know. I grew up Baptist, super religious, and super conservative. So I didn't love that. I didn't feel like I could really dream big. I had yeah. to kind of create my own world. I want to talk about the journey of your sexuality. A clown world. <laughs> this is who I want to be. This is who I am. 
uh k stoneside five dollar super chat take a shot whatever they say healing <laughs> Damn, crack isn't healing. <laughs> In 2018, after years of speculation and questions about her sexuality, Janelle made a bold move and came out on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. She revealed she is pansexual, someone attracted to all sexes and genders. Yeah, pansexuality. Look, if anyone in chat is pansexual, I'm sorry about this, but your sexuality makes no fucking sense. It doesn't make sense. It. Like, I think... Um, it might have been me, but I think it was someone else. I don't know. Uh, they called it pansexuality, like pretentious bisexuality. <laughs> like I've been attracted to all genders. Like, but like you know, it's impossible to be in between genders or two genders at once, right? You know that's impossible. That's not a thing. It's not possible. So all you're really attracted to is how someone identifies. Oh, I'm this. I'm uh, like you. You are attracted to the idea of like of um gender bending not the actual because there's no such thing as like a biolo biological non-binary person that's not a thing it's not a thing it's not real uh just say you're bisexual and shut the fuck up like because because come on <laughs> come on come on now fritz villagine the second uh ten dollar super chat yes jada you've been busy with deeply healing <laughs> that you finally recovered uh in august it only costs your hair and dignity. How empowering of you. Grinds teeth and clenches fist. <laughs> uh, Chelsea uh, Druin, $2 super chat. So happy you're back. F, uh, F Jada and Amber Heard. True that. Oh, wait. Someone in chat said he, uh, uh, he, uh, oh my God. He on uh, hermaphrodites. But that's like a rarity. Like most people who identify as non-binary don't have two sets of channels. <laughs> Oh, well, yes, it's not a thing. I'm I'm attracted to non-binary people and trans people specifically. But like, even if you're trans, it's like if you if you transition to the other sex, like, because like pansexuality is just an admission that transgenderism is not the same thing as cisgenderism, or it's, or it's like not it's not usual like cisgen uh, cisgenderism or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So it's like what we. <laughs> How fucking dumb it gets after a while guardian fortress fight all the super chat nod and don't really absorb info also coming out in rolling stone is not that brave it's like saying i'm christian on the daily wire hmm <laughs> <sighs> I'm non-binary. Yeah. So I just don't. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> yeah, this is the first, like, you're going to notice that, like, they'll say some shit. Like, the guest will just say something. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah. Like, they're not even, like, it's like how you're talking to someone and you know they're not listening. <laughs> they're just, like, mindlessly fucking agreeing with you. And came out on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. She revealed she is pansexual someone attracted to all sexes and genders i'm non-binary yeah so i just don't see myself as a woman or solely or right. you know i feel right right <laughs> it's just so vapid <laughs> all of my energy i feel like god is so much bigger than the he woman. or the she, she it's yes. like are you saying you're god are you fucking comparing yourself to god is that what you're doing right now fritz philogene the second five dollar super chat speaking of christians and daily wire the wire is the crown of thorns on jesus's head <laughs> right wow <laughs> i think god is greater than the heat like yeah of course God is like a, a spiritual being is greater than a gender, I guess. But are you in in that? But but in that, are you saying that you are God, or that you are greater than human? Because that sounds like what you're implying. <laughs> like, I'm, look, it's no surprise that a celebrity has an ego bigger than taxes, or an eighteen wheeler, <laughs> or whatever. But goddamn. 
Mm. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> the episode has barely started. God damn it. You're right. It's like something, and if I am from God, mm -hmm. I am everything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I am everything, and lithium is in me. <laughs> Oh, this dom this dominatrix circus clown. What the fuck? I am everything, wow. but I will always, always stand with women. Yeah. I will always stand. Well, which is it? <laughs> I will always stand only with women, even though I'm non-binary. Okay. <laughs> Robot Chicken 670 499 Super Chat. They're all competing to have the most alphabet letters. Happy you're back, Jay. Thank you. Himan, two pound super chat. Mickey Mouse equals God. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, 1999 super chat. Love you, Jay. So happy to see you're back. These people are so out of touch with reality. It's like they think the light of God reflects on the top of their shiny head, shaking my head. I know. I know. Uh oh, I heard someone complaining about the volume. Someone said turn up the volume. Okay. That should do it. Because keep in mind, I have to listen to this and I don't want to be like, bla bleh. I don't want it to be blazing in my, e like blasting in my ears. Then with black women, mm -hmm. but I just see everything that beyond, I am. Yeah, oh, that's beyond, beautiful. Beyond the that's beautiful. Uh -huh. Anyway, Jim UK, $2 super chat. Sounds like pansexual is another word for it. Yeah, I know. Binary. When I see people, I see your energy yeah. first. I don't see like how you identify. Damn it. Totally. And I feel like that opens beyond, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beyond, beautiful. beyond the binary. When I see people, I see your energy yeah. first. I don't see like. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> this is fucking history. <laughs> this is <laughs> When I see a person, I see their energy first. I mean, you feel their energy. You can't see energy. You can only feel it. And honestly, uh, that doesn't change the gender they are. That doesn't that doesn't add to that at all. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like how you identify totally, us. and I feel like that opens you up to fall in love yes. with mm -hmm, with whomever. With, with, any yeah. beautiful spirit, yeah. you know? So I'm so much better than people who follow the binary of their sexuality. I'm so much better than them. I'm so much better than bisexuals, or it's and especially the straights. <laughs> because listen to what she's saying. She said, I'm greater than any organism in the binary that follows the binary. I'm basically God. <laughs> it's awful. Look, I'm really sorry you had parents that grew up in the South. I'm really sorry, but I don't want to hear this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to make us suffer for that. Yes. What got you ready to, to come out publicly? Well, you know, somebody said, if you don't work out the things that you need to work out first, yeah, for before yourself. you share with the world, mm -hmm. right. then you'll be working it out with, with the, the world. world. Yeah. It was you don't want to like do that. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I didn't yeah. want to do. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I thought right. that I needed to have, like, all my answers correct. I don't want to say the wrong thing. And also, I hadn't had the necessary conversations with my family. Yeah. Right. I wasn't ready to have my family question my personal life or get calls mm -hmm. from people that still look at me as little punkin. Right. That's what they call yeah. me back home. Like, they call you little punkin. punkin. That is so <laughs> cute. Nobody calls me Janelle. That, I love that. Like, that's just a pumpkin. It's a common, it's a common cute nickname. Uh, Officer Buck to Drussel, five dollars super chat. Didn't God create Adam in His own image? Then Eve came from Adam's rib. So she, so is she confusing male and non-binary? <laughs> uh, 
who the hell knows they're all over the place will spain five dollars super chat didn't ariana grande make a song saying that her wop was so good that it will make you think god was a woman aka she was gone <laughs> uh i just got a new one. Oh wait ah, shit uh guardian fortress five dollars super chat how can you be a woman and not identify as a woman <laughs> This is what happens when you are never challenged on anything. Uh, Puff Pastry, two ninety nine super chat. Well, basically, I'm shapeless. Proceeds to melt. <laughs> when I, I go home, I'm, I'm punking. <laughs> so it took me some time to be like, okay, mom. She had a lot of questions at first. Yeah, she was I'm like, sure she did. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Well, what does this mean? I could have sworn with how pretentious she is, she was from France or some shit. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and my grandmother, her, so I love her, but she was super religious. Yeah. Right. You know, my whole family is church. Yeah. Church, church. And I'm just like, well, what does it mean to go against your whole family Ooh. on this thing? Yeah. But I was ready. Yeah. Is it a go? Are you going against? Or is it just something that, that was going to uh, challenge their beliefs? Like you see it as going against your family. It's like, uh, is it really? I don't think so. <laughs> Cause when push comes to shove, like, let's be real. It's not all that fucking complicated. <laughs> uh, Christy, like it's, it's not as complicated as you're, as you are making it. Christy R, 499 Super Chat. She looks like a black Debbie Reynolds. Changed my mind. Uh, Nikki Nikki 499 super chat. This is just a circle jerk of validation for their so-called truths. A bunch of yes men or yes they's. I don't know anymore. Five out of ten on the face pause. I was like, you know what? If they don't love me, don't call me asking me for no money. <laughs> you will not get my LGBTQIA plus money. Money. Don't call me. How about that? Yeah. And I think that's still some of them still are like, mm, but let me be quiet because I might need some. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta love our people. Exactly. You gotta love our people. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I needed to have those conversations. I didn't want to work that out. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I needed to talk to my dad, who was just great. My sister. What the fuck is up with his life? <laughs> like, congratulations on getting off crack, but your lips are still on crack. <laughs> Your lips need to catch up with your sobriety. <laughs> oh, you screwed up your daughter up so much that she identifies as pansexual. <laughs> Already, because I've been in monogamous relationships, yeah. I've been in polyamorous relationships. Right. Wow. But I knew that. Oh, Willow Smith is polyamorous, by the way. I couldn't be little pumpkin. Yeah. I couldn't be little Janelle. I had to be where I was. Exactly. Like, it's beautiful. I know who I am. I've been. That's beautiful. <laughs> Playing a version yeah. of, of some parts of me, mm -hmm. but now I'm owning all of me. Yeah. That's beautiful. I had to own all of me to really be able to talk about it publicly. Yeah, yeah. that makes yeah. total that sense. That makes all the sense You have in the world. to be comfortable with who you are first before yeah. you can share it with anyone yeah. else. Here's the one point that I think most people miss. We are so worried about other people accepting us. Mm. The first question one has to ask, how come I don't accept Set myself? myself? Okay. Bars. Bars, queen. Okay. Yes. And that's where the work starts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Really having to look at yourself and go, why do I have a problem with, with me? Me. Yeah. Why am Why do I have a problem with me? Could it be that my wife is a relentless bitch who reminds me of my failings, even if they're not failings uh, every single day <laughs> on a fucking TV show that's on Facebook? <laughs> uh, anyway, Robot Chicken 670199 Super Chats. Oh shit. Uh Willow got excited when the poly shit came up. Like, oh tingly! <laughs> Guardian Fortress Fight Alice Super Chat, don't ask for money. Did she just throw her family under the bus? Yeah. Oh, those those money hungry, filthy Negroes. <laughs> except except my sexuality, or I will not pay. For your bullshit. Sounds a little bit like bribery, but you know, whatever. 
I scared to step out and yes. say, if I'm a woman who likes other women, why is that so difficult for yeah. me to just come out and say that? And it's like, well, my mom might think this, and my mm. dad might think that, and my cousins mm. might think yeah. this, and it's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you spitting, <laughs> you spitting. It's just funny. Like, she's like doing like, mm, 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 preach. Uh, Caillou Biophrase? Oh my God, I'm sorry if I butchered that. 499 Super Chat, they sure are using a lot of words to say absolutely nothing. Uh, Big Mac? What the fuck? It's 2022, no one gives a shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Eduardo Alvarez, uh, 999 Super Chat. Hi, Jay. Glad to see you. NOC after work. A treat, I'd say. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Like, mm. okay, but what do you think about it first? Yeah. You see? Okay. And then you got to go into, oh, well, I was taught that that wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I was taught that. And it's like, now we have to, like, backtrack. We got to yes. backtrack and we have yes. to re... We have to, get, we have to that. unravel all that, and then we mm. have to give ourselves new information, mm -hmm. create a new, new foundation yes. for ourselves to yeah. sit on, yeah. you know? Willow's ain't like that useless hype man. I mean, they're all equally... All their opinions are equally, equally, that equally useless. But like Willow is the worst. It's like, yeah, information. <laughs> That's why you shaved your head so it's easier, easier to soak up information. <laughs> Fuck. That God loves all people. Yeah, absolutely. God don't make mistakes. Yeah. And so the more we get comfortable with ourselves, yes. and the more that we can walk in our own skin, mm -hmm. we don't really expect or need Oof. others. So it's like if you coming around, you got to be bringing. Oh, just like you didn't need Chris Rock to validate you that night. <laughs> we walk around happy in our own skin. Oh. I, you know, I mean, at the Oscars, I was so happy. I sicked my husband on a fucking comedian <laughs> because I'm so comfortable in my skin. Robot Chicken 670 499 Super Chat. We got three different generations of insufferable at one table. <laughs> Emma Hollow, but damn, Willow was fine. Different opinions. <laughs> different opinions. Shallot, yes, Jay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Auntie creeps. Oh God, this is awful. Um. Mm. Ch ch chill, 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 chill. Oh my God. Check. Oh, check, please. Jesus Christ. They're having a word orgy with all the moans. <laughs> La the Laughing Cavalier. Has anyone uh, kept count of how many yes and yes? been said oh kill switch engage damn nearly 600 people watching for real see i'm not keeping track because i want to you know i'm still in that at&t state of mind where i think the fucking whole the whole stream is gonna crash if i look at anything any stats so i'm just kind of i try to keep it light <laughs> yeah. right yeah. you gotta be right because i don't need your validation exactly <laughs> Uh, the three women, the f four women who probably need the most, like, it's always the motherfuckers who need the most validation. Who have to, ha who have to hammer it into you that I don't need your validation. Uh, really? Because people who don't need validation don't have to keep saying that. To be honest. Uh, Guardian Fortress, $10 Super Chat. This is a conversation, not a meal. Mm, mm, mm. Humans made, mis humans made mistakes. Not God. You have yourself to blame. Don't point at others. Sorry, I'm so angry. <laughs> uh, from so much dumb. Uh, Fantastoptimus. But I'll super chat. This is like a Family Guy joke in real life. Today on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, sorry, my name is hard to say. No, I, I think I said it pretty good. Fantastopolis. Oh yeah, and I screen capped this because this is yeah, it's a funny ass. <laughs> that is a funny face. Oh, come on, shit. 
Exactly. Yeah. Were you always this un I hate the Facebook player, by the way. It's so whack. Apologetic about and fearless. Yourself. No, yeah. absolutely not. I've been doing a lot of healing, I'm sure. Mo <laughs> I've been doing a lot of <laughs> I I swear to God, every fucking episode that I scouted for this stream has the word healing in it at least 20 times. I, I've been through a lot of healing. A lot of healing. <laughs> it, it, it just Cra especially like from what's happened in the last what like two three weeks with the slap thing and all the coverage and all the things we've discovered it's just it's just so much mouth farting and fart sniffing <laughs> and just high booty empty platitudes it's hilarious it's hol now that we know like if it weren't for the slap we wouldn't like it'd be like okay this is lame this is like empty platitudes shit, but it's hilarious now it's funny it's it's like a comedy like so, someone said it in the in chat. It's like, it's like a skit. It's it's like something from a comedy show. One man show, two dollars super, one two dollars super chat. It feels so good to cuck my husband. <laughs> oh boy, I need your validation. Exactly. Yeah. Were you always this unapologetic about and fearless? Yourself? No, yeah. absolutely not. I've been doing a lot of healing. I'm sure most yeah. of us have. Yeah. Been in the pandemic. Just. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure most of you have been talking nonstop about fucking healing <laughs> throughout, every, throughout every, every, all four seasons of your show. When you have to stay in, you go in. And yes, this show has four seasons. Four. Right. You didn't know, did you? <laughs> Not true. I was thinking back to when I first started and I was like, man, as as free as I was on stage, when I came off stage, I was still that scared mm -hmm. yeah. little girl. Like, I'm not good enough. Yeah. That was always in the back of my mind. Will they love me? I, I was just so scared. So scared that they wouldn't have the right Brazil nuts backstage. And I mean, ever since then, I've been going through so much healing over that. <sighs> me i just remember pulling my hair because i wanted my hair to be longer mm -hmm. because all also no one loves you uh girl you're pansexual okay <laughs> you're 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 a beautiful young starlet and you're pansexual i'm sure plenty of people love you the older girls <laughs> used to love playing in the younger little girl's hair yeah. and i have friends who have really long like silky hair and i was just like i never never feeling good enough yeah. you know my parents were not together and i always thought it was me the reason why that like why am i not being taken care of you blamed yourself for your father being on crack because i'm pretty sure the crack is what broke him up <laughs> by my dad he had gotten on crack cocaine i swear to god his lips are mm. and okay. that changed his life that changed mm -hmm. our Absolutely. relationship now he's completely sober mm -hmm. he's that's doing beautiful. incredible that's like beautiful. my best friend but this that's beautiful that's beautiful it's like shut up shut up willow shut the fuck up that's beautiful that's beautiful <laughs> My, you're, you're, my father died. My father got hooked on crack cocaine. It's beautiful. <laughs> Those his uh his moon rock lips. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, see, I, I see. I scroll down. So I can get at the next uh, super chats. Meow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stop it. Meowzers, $3 super chat. It's a little doggy. Says, how's it going? Hello. A Guardian Fortress, $5 super chat. Rich people saying they went uh, through the pandemic. Give me a break and just do your job. Right? Like a pandemic, like a lockdown in a mansion with a bunch of friends is way better than a lockdown when you got no money way fucking better joey joe star five dollar super chat is this the cw batwoman version of the justice league it could be it could be <laughs> robot chicken 670 199 super chat she does no hair grows on its own right 
she's not like you know celebrities ain't bright come on now <laughs> laura hugel by Al super chat hi uh could you please react to the spongebob squarepants skin theory it's an hour long but worth watching i found it pretty cringy but funny skin please tell me that's not about race please tell me they did not make spongebob about race i mean i'll watch it one of these days but holy shit <laughs> One man show, two dollar super chat, healing equals a night with August. Officer Buck Tadrasel, two dollar super chat. E e e so even as a kid, she made it all about her. <laughs> this was when he was sick at yeah. this time, right? I was dealing with real rejection, abandonment yeah. issues. Yeah. What if people leave me was a direct correlation Relation to, to my dad. Yeah. You know what if people leave me? You think that could have any correlation with you um, opening yourself up to everybody with your pansexuality? <laughs> like, if I open up my options, no one will fuck. Like, there's a good chance that I'll find someone who won't fucking leave me. You think I could have anything to do with it? Or identifying, identifying as non-binary? You think that might have anything to do with, like, if I get c capture, like, equally vapid people's attention, maybe, you know, maybe they'll never leave. I don't know. I don't know, just things I think you know, about. And I always feeling like if I wasn't perfect, will they leave me? Or if I, I, I don't want to feel the pain of anybody leaving me. 100%. Yeah. Does that That's make sense? A... Most, most people don't. Like, <laughs> you're so special. Assassin King, Assassin King, 199 Super Chat. I don't know why you have your, like, that. it's twice. I'm only calling you Assassin King once. <laughs> 199 super chat will marry the demonic milk dud <laughs> correct guardian fortress five dollar super chat dying from crack cocaine would have changed my life too <laughs> no she said he, he didn't die it sounded like she said he died but he didn't die he got better uh, uh apparently but uh yeah i was gonna i said i made a joke when i started watching this to prepare and i was like yeah uh, crack cocaine would change your life chanel I said the same fucking thing. And deeply, it primal makes a wound. lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you can relate to those feelings of abandonment and rejection with your father as well? Oh my God. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. my mother's a recovering yeah. addict, and my dad was an addict, and part of me coming into this industry. What's up with the bow tie? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have to cater a wedding in, in a minute? <laughs> I'm just cracking on people who probably don't deserve it, but yeah, fuck it. I ran into the same thing <laughs> of just like, oh my God, people having all these demands of mm. me. And I got afraid of success. Because I said, I don't want to yeah. feel the hurt. You must be horrified of it because, well... <laughs> What was like the most recent, the most recent thing she was in, like Jada Pinkett was uh, the equalizer, you know, the, the race, not the race, but, well, the gender swapped equalizer show with Queen Latifah. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I saw a clip and I was like, man, your acting was, is off. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, not, not that's not the latest. Thing. Well, technically it is the latest thing, but. Yeah, that really shitty Matrix 4 film, which she was also kind of shitty in. Like, yeah, that was... It's like, it's like pity, it's like pity rolls. It's like Keanu was like, yeah, we could bring back Niobe, whatever. <laughs> I guess we could do that. Or we could have brought back Lawrence Fishburne, but nah, let's bring back fucking Niobe. <laughs> Niobe! That was a pity roll. Like, it had to be, because that was, ugh. And uh, don't get me started on Equalizer. That's had to be some pity shit. Like, most of the shit she's been in recently, it's just been, like, mid... Like, I remember she was taken off as an actress in the 90s. Like, she was, like, going places. Like, Demon Knight, she was great in that. I was like, yeah, she could definitely be, like, some kind of, like, ac like action actress. You know what I mean? Like a Charlie Theron or a... What's her name? What's her name? Uh, well, she could be, she could be like an action centered act actress or like do dramas and shit. But it just didn't work out. She's always been like doing multiple things to see if they will work, and it's never happened. Like she's almost 
tried to be a musician once. She even did a song like, and she and Will was in the music video, and I'm like, this isn't you. This doesn't work. This doesn't work at all. Her music was corny. And uh, then she's tried directing. She directed a film with Idris Elba. And um, that seemed really lame. It didn't do well. Like, no one know, like, no one cared about it. So, who knows? I might watch it one of these days. Not react to it, but just, like, watch it just, just to check it out. But it looks really lame. But anyway, let's, let's move on. Mm -hmm. Oh, of when it of all goes when away. when it all goes away. Yeah. Mm. Right? And so I Ooh. actually... Oh, wait, someone in the chat said she was in a metal band. What? They, like, she is one of these chicks who doesn't know what the fuck she wants to do. So much shit she does. She does so much shit. And the only thing that hit that's been, like, consistent, that got her, that was, that's been getting her on, like, uh, Good Morning America and shit, I think that she was on Good Morning America over Red Table Talk, I'm not entirely sure. But what's been getting her notoriety lately is this whack-ass show. But that's only because it's so like oh we're learning having getting so much insight and so much celebrity so much celebrity gossip for, about the Pinkett Smiths <laughs> from this dump from this fucking toxic ass show. That's the only reason why it's popular. If it was like a legitimate show about healing, <laughs> like legitimate healing, nobody would give a fuck about the show. It would just be like eh, okay, Jada Pinkett has a show, whatever. But she has to keep like talking shit about uh uh like reiterating like drama from her life, especially about Will. That's the draw, because no one no one would give a fuck otherwise. Eduardo Alvarez, four ninety nine super chat, rising action actress like our queen Ruby Rose. Oh God, <laughs> no, because Jada Pickett is a is actually a good actress. She is. Like back in the day, she was killing it. Like in the nineties, she was killing it, and then it just. It's like it was just yeah. Oh. I started playing myself really small Oof. and started hiding behind being a mother and all mm. of that kind of stuff because I was like, that's not for me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But I had to confront all that. You you weren't afraid of success. You did so much shit to try to be successful and it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Try to be an R and B singer. And according according to chat, like a metal singer, try to do that. You try to be a director. The movie thing didn't work out because yeah, well yeah, you got to raise kids. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you weren't hiding behind being a mother. You had to be a mother because someone had to like Will Smith had a bigger career to you. Somebody got to be at home with these damn kids. I don't think you were hiding. I think you had no choice and you really resent your family for that. And Will, but you know, that's another story. Yeah. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heal it. Yeah. You know, slowly. Stop saying heal. My more authentic <laughs> self mm -hmm. instead of trying to be something for everybody yes. else. Yes, yes, yes. And um, it's been a hell of a journey, but it is a treacherous thing to have to do publicly. Yeah. yeah. It can be a lonely road. The moments that I felt most disappointed was when I was afraid. Yeah. No, because no, I was right. afraid of failing. 100%. This is really really? important in mm -hmm. regards to just bringing it all back mm -hmm. to yeah. abandonment. Because you- I wonder if she, I wonder if she, in your fuck. <laughs> I wonder if she had that feeling when Antebellum came out and it fucking tanked because it was shit. I'm wondering if she had that feeling of failure then because, oh, the movie was doo doo. Years of yeah. like how people think about you yeah. and think yeah. about things. And, and stuff. how do you get by, by that, that fear? It's like a I, universal I, I, problem because we all want to be part of a tribe. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, we're wired. Yeah. Humans are wired mm -hmm. to want to be accepted by right. the community. You will have your community even as your authentic self. And that's exactly. the thing that we miss. That we need to. And, well, not if your authentic self is a self centered whore. <laughs> So center, try hard. Like, come on. And it's knowing that those who can't ride with you mm -hmm. as your authentic self yeah. are part for you. Not part and of, even, of your community, they should, and right? Even the so once you, know. you, the faster you get, get to, to you, one hundred. Yeah. The faster. If you people get, don't like you, that you can't be around. Oh. Like no fucking shit. <laughs> No fucking shit. 
it. Doi. Yes. To tribes that don't belong they, to us. They don't. It's like a, 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 a play. Yeah, right? yeah. going to be reoccurring characters. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, they're... I wish there were some kind of effect, effects through OBS where I could just like randomly say shit. And it all like different like hums. Yeah, of course, healing. And I can I'll blend it all together as me <laughs> as like a bunch of people talking at once. It'd be hilarious. Oh God, Guardian Fortress fight all the super chat. Okay, don't be for everyone while being attracted to everyone because you're pan pansexual. <laughs> There are going to be folks that won't make it back yeah. right. for the second act. That's yeah. right. And we have to just be fine with letting go. You go to different levels in your life, everybody can't come. The people that are supposed to be with me, they, will find they me. are going to find Absolutely. me. They will find me. Right. Yeah. So we're about to make a dream come true. Okay. Okay. This is one of your biggest fans. Why is everyone bald? Why are so many bald bitches on this show? <laughs> you know, super chat. What did I miss? Uh, like a lot of like ums and yeah, and I, I, I really like healing and um, yes, yes, sister, get yeah, yes, like that, that, that basically. That's what you missed. This is J C Green. Oh, hey Jack. Uh, we've got Tintin, Minnie Mouse, and two testicles sitting around. <laughs> True that. They're in a hotel room down the street, preparing to come to the table. Do we like it? Oh. Like everybody's fucking ball. I bet you, I bet money. I'm not even fucking playing right now. I bet you they they brought her in. They found a fucking super fan of hers that just so happened to be bald. So just so they could have that moment where they're like, oh, you're bald. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just so they could have like a fucking cackling hen session at the table. Uh, Bo Officer Bud Tadrassel, five dollars super chat. So humans wanting to be in a tribe is concrete, and but gender is up for interpretation. <laughs> uh, Evil Hero Diamond Cat, two dollars super chat. Hey Jay, how's it going? Why are we laughing at Ewoks? Oh, oh come on! Thank you. They have no idea that you're here, so the RTT team is going to let us know when they arrive. I'm really excited. Wow. But first... Wow. So the attention's gonna be off me for a minute. You didn't tell me about this, Jada. <laughs> Janelle's fans call themselves fan droids and have so many burning questions for you. <laughs> Let's oh roll God. the first one. Oh, gosh. Be nice, guys. <laughs> yeah. Be nice. Were you planning on roasting these innocent people who were de desperately trying to meet their, their hero? Be nice. Yeah, you, you a funky bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, what up, Red Table? My name is Andre from the South Side of Chicago. Janelle. Guardian Fortress, two dollars super chat. The Charlie Brown got out of the got out of cancer. Look. So many people look up to you, and <clears throat> I've always been amazed and impressed by your journey. I've only heard one of her songs and it wasn't that good. That pink, that song about fucking vagina. <laughs> My question for you is, what is the best piece of advice that you have ever received? Oh, wow. Ooh, I have received. Wow, that is a, a lot gen of that is a generic question. I don't think I can even like answer that shit. It's so fucking lame. Fuck you, uh, Charles and Chocolate Factory. What the fuck is your name? What was your name? <laughs> You unremarkable ass nigga. <laughs> you know, because they were, you know, they, they're forced to be nice to the, to the unwashed. Jake the Surgeon, $5 Super Chat. This is making me think Imperium of Man has the right idea. Uh, Mysterious Capitalist, $5 Super Chat. Hey, Jay, ever consider, consider reviewing Naomi or the new Equalizer? I've actually considered reviewing the new Equalizer. And I'm actually reconsidering my decision to not review Jenny, the rest of Jenny and Georgia. I don't know. Don't hold me to any of this shit. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know yet. Because from what I'm seeing, Batwoman is over. So I think I might skip to another show. Joe uh, Manchin, hold the hairline. <laughs> Mm. 
Red Rose Spark. How can any sane person handle four seasons of this? Like I said, wine moms, they're, they're always loaded. So like, yeah, they're loaded when they watch this shit. They can, they can, their, their senses are so dulled. They can't pick up on the bullshit they're hearing. Literally, <laughs> Oprah said this. One of the things that, of course, your advice is from fucking Oprah. Of course, it is. Dante uh, Moses five dollars super chat. Jada is like a confused monk in an RPG. She says she keeps saying heal and keeps casting a curse. <laughs> Robot chicken six seventy. What I did super chat. Jada oh, jinx it. This is seeds. Uh, well, it, Jack. I'll just say Jack. He knows who the fuck he is. Fucked up to uh, bring up uh, Janelle's uh paltry music career when she's sitting across from the modern mozart who brought us whip my hair <laughs> <sighs> whipped her hair so hard it fell right off we have to realize i hate facebook knows. player guys i hate it Ooh, say it yeah. again that part say it again your... wait what what's the things that we have to realize is that everybody is not going to be happy for you Oh, yeah. that part. Say it again. In your... So I can <laughs> absorb how boring that was. Not everyone's going to be happy for you. No shit. No shit. No fucking shit. <laughs> Say it again. Alopecia is not a disease. I'll say it five more times. Alopecia is not a disease. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Rewind this shit. Rewind this shit. Literally. <laughs> Oprah said this. One of the things that we have to realize. Shit. Come up against mm -hmm. people. Oh, Say it yeah. again. That part. Say it again. That Alopecia is not a disease. That's right. Mm -hmm. And externally, you're going to come up against mm -hmm. people that will pretend like, oh, this is so great. Yeah. But because they feel close to your orbit, mm -hmm. they think you owe them something. Yeah. They make you feel guilty about not giving them something and not really happy because maybe you're where they want it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish I would have known that sooner. Yeah. You know, because it would have saved me a lot of just like expectations of, well, I thought this was supposed to be, you know, a best friend or a family member. And here they are telling me that they were jealous or even if they didn't say it, their actions were just like totally. yeah. stemming from that, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. One hundred percent. But how can you tell someone's jealous when you possibly think that every criticism coming your way is jealousy? <laughs> Who's like, oh, you criticize me. You're obviously jealous. <laughs> jealous of my shine. You trying to buff up my shine, bitch. You trying to tarnish me, ho. What's the next question? Hi, my name's B. I'm yeah, like uh pansexuality is actually just bisexuality. Oh, you just jealous because <laughs> I'm fucking everybody. London. <laughs> and I'm feeling the, the the warm embrace of the of the non-binary people, and you are not. I find that heartbreak can be one of the most inspiring places to create from. So my question is, what's been one of your biggest heartbreaks? Ooh, that's a very good question. Is I, it? <laughs> heartbreak is when I... Like, don't you write love songs? It's not a fucking, it's not some big revol revolutionary question when you write love songs for a living. You know what I mean? Let myself down. Yeah. About like when I feel like I'm scared. Or and every fucking question, like every answer has to do with like me, 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 Really take in that moment. Like I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah, 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 healing. Yes. Yeah, I've done that so many times after performances. Yeah, like I look back at them, I'm like, this was wrong, this was wrong. Yeah. And that just breaks my heart. Why did I pile onto myself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's enough. When I can pile onto one of my assistants. To say, right. But I was joining in on that. Yeah. And that's what helped me. You can relate to I that. Oh me. my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the amount of uh, self-torture I've done 
yeah. after shows, albums, anything. Yeah. It's it's yeah. ridiculous. I feel like artists, we just can we can relate to that. We can be in our own head. Artists. Come on, Willow. <laughs> and you are the only one that can fix that. Yeah. You have to really let it go. It's and true. really believe. I can't do that to me. Yeah. Right. I love me. I just love everything. I love me. If, yeah, we know. We, we know. It's very evident. Such a huge inspiration. <laughs> let me just say, when you made the choice to say, no, mom, no dad. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Totally. That was inspiring for me. You know I want to lie in bed with 20 year old men at the age of 13. That's what I want to do. <laughs> By the way, yeah, she did that. <laughs> and her parents let her and didn't have any fucking problem with it. A shirtless. Actually, I think he was 18, but it doesn't fucking matter. He's, he was a grown, he's basically a grown man, shirtless grown man. And they let her uh, lie in bed with a shirtless grown man. And take a picture of it and document it. And now she's pansexual. <laughs> and no, not a pansexual. She's uh she's polyamorous now. Because of course she is. Guardian Fortress, ten dollars super chat. It came from Oprah, one of the most egotistical well, egotistic uh people on the planet. Uh people, people on earth telling you not everyone is going to like you. Lol, are they <laughs> also are they robots? Do they have other emotions other than stare and say, mmm, hate? uh bw estacado her dad probably didn't like it but he's got no balls yeah I, mean, I don't think he came out publicly and said like fuck that <laughs> uh kevin schubert beg your pardon and k false said wait what like yeah yeah i remember when that first fucking happened and she like uh they jada and them got caught a lot of heat for that as they should have because that's just a no-no letting grown men around your fucking 13 year old daughter <laughs> shirtless at that i don't want what kind of fucking hippie bullshit you trying to do with your kids but that's still no that's no just no don't do that go back to the whip whip your hair thing because that was actually more appropriate <laughs> dead uh dead heart two dollar super chat yeah 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 totally i agree yeah <laughs> uh jake the surgeon two dollar super chat polly what all i hear is degenerate <laughs> damn was trying to ask myself what I wanted to do when I was making this. As a preteen, Willow shaved her head and dropped out of Jay Z's Annie remake. Uh, good. That would have killed your fucking career completely. Because <laughs> nobody remembers that fucking movie. <laughs> and the fact that you were going to be in it just. Like, back then, she was really off looking. So it would have worked in some capacity, but it's still a fucking race swapped Annie, and no. It shouldn't have fucking any any remake should not fucking exist. Just full stop. And the fact that Smith Kit was gonna be in it would have made it even worse. Decisions. Totally. I was like, if Little Willow is out <laughs> here <laughs> being Say like, no. like no. having no. a hit song Broke or doing contract. whatever, and then like, no, that's not what I want to do, and then completely blossoms into something that feels so just organically you yeah when i saw you i was just like flabbergasted i always for one thing her parents letting her do whatever the fuck she wants to do uh is not ex that's, that's, what's that gonna do with her <laughs> to do with her like mom i don't want to do stuff like yeah kids say that all the time now in this case her parents forcing her to be like a music god like dad like it is definitely fucking uh is definitely um, overbearing and shouldn't have happened. But then a couple years later, she's lying in bed with a grown man while he's shirtless. So <laughs> you're so authentically you when you're being taken advantage of as a 13 year old. <laughs> when you're hanging out with grown ass niggas. <laughs> like, yeah, her getting what she wants in her very bohemian rich family that lives in the Hollywood bubble is not some kind of spectacular thing. It's just, it's just, it's destructive. That's what it is. That's how amazing that is. That's amazingly destructive. <laughs> I think the music, the music thing would have given her some more structure and she would have kept her closer to her parents. It would have given her like, it was, they would have watched her, been able to watch her. You know what I mean? But no, they were just like, oh, just let her do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Just let her. She has to be authentically her. 
<laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Also, people are talking about how this is screen cap worthy. It is. So we're going to just handle that. I was flabbergasted. Her. Yeah. Like in the best possible way. Let me ask you, we're talking oh. about how much you inspired other people, but mm -hmm. who did you look to for inspiration? I am a Lauren Hill disciple. I had always thought she looked like somebody in my family. Yeah. So mm -hmm. much so when I met her, she said that to me. Um, but I knew I couldn't be like her. Right. Like, yeah, no. She's one of one. So right. I had to really figure out Janelle Monet. That's right. So that was inspiring. And also Prince. Mm -hmm. I actually was scared of Prince though before I met him. I had a dream that he Who would take me around in a purple suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would change. He probably would have. <laughs> he probably would have. Probably would have. Uh, dead, dead heart. Two dollars super chat. Yeah. Oh wait, I already read that one. Albert. Oh shit. Albatross. Five dollars super chat. I hate when folks just say whatever random crap that pops into their minds and just calls it empowerment or authentic. Fake as fuck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Joey Joe, start screen cap that J. <laughs> How I get such perfect pauses, y'all. <laughs> I think it's the people that I commentate on. I think that's what it is. Man, I hope my uh, computer is saving these so I can go back and save them myself later. I'm so cool I just have a very witchy energy. Yeah, like. It was super like... And, and and then when I met him though, it was just like, man, yeah, wow. like oh, true. I don't know guys. True, yeah. I don't he was a person. great Incredible. person. Yeah. Never allowed his. And he got you holding a fucking tambourine. <laughs> like I know it's great to meet your heroes and shit, but like you get a chance to like play with Prince and then you're holding a fucking tambourine. <laughs> mystery to get in the way of his mentorship. That's right. Like, he, he never did. allowed oh. that. No. Wait, hold on. Repeat that. Yeah, yep. he never allowed his mystery to get in the way of his, his mentorship. mentorship. Yep. Wow. And that that's is something so I, tr important. I try to live by. <laughs> you gotta share these seeds, man. Yeah. Like, we need each up, like somebody who has walked this path, mm -hmm. being able to sit down and talk to you and say, here are the mistakes that I made. Yes. That's right. Here's what I see you're doing amazing. Here's where I see, you know, maybe you may need some help here. We That's were very close, yeah. Yeah. very, very close. And um, I always, he just always feels with me and yeah. with us. The main thing I always admired about Prince was just the scope of his musicianship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His musicianship? <laughs> the scope of his musicianship. Put that on a fucking shirt, boy. Prince. I might, I, no, wait, wait, wait. How do you say this? Um. I don't know. Just like just meme that in some way. I just don't know how. I, I admire the scope of his musicianship. <laughs> that is so lame. <laughs> oh, you ball bitch. <laughs> the scope of his musicianship. Like, hold on. I'm going to tweet this right quick. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is <a> fucking hilarious. <laughs> and when did you get a chance to listen to fucking Prince? Your with your young ass. <laughs> Damn it. No, that's not working yet. Okay, we're back. I think we were, were fine. I was just on Twitter for a second and that might have clogged up some shit. Twitter is very powerful. <laughs> yeah, we're back. I think it's because I had Twitter on, but I had to get that I had to get that tweet out. <laughs> Like you would look at the credits yeah. on a song and it would be like bass, prints, Everything. keyboard, prints, right. oh, lyrics, prints, yeah. lyrics, prints. Prince. Like, yeah. oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my. Wow. So this photo, this was me opening up for him. Right. He came out during my set. 
and perform with me. That's him. Yeah. I featured him on my second album. He didn't charge me anything to be on my album. Yeah. Wow. Right. That's so interesting. Yeah. So you actually made a book of essays. Yeah, a short story sci-fi oh um, collection, nice. and it was inspired. Please by read some of those essays. That I did, Dirty Computer. They started calling us computers. You were dirty if you looked different. You were dirty if you refused to live the way they dictated. Janelle has turned her futuristic vision into a new sci-fi book, The Memory Librarian. The five short stories... <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb! The Memory Librarian, Blue Computer. Sorry, Dirty Computer. Which, Dirty Computer, that sounds suspiciously Prince. Like, very Prince right there. Didn't he make a song called Computer Blue or some shit? I don't know. It's just very, yeah. Like, the, some of the shit she, she named is very princey. Stories, each written by a different co-author, explore queer identity, race, and love. All are set in the same harsh future, a dismal place where anyone labeled deviant has their memories wiped clean, so they forget... Your memories wiped clean? Like, you know you don't forget you're gay when your memories are wiped, right? <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Like, you're not going to forget you're a human being. Or, like, you're not going to forget you're something if your memories are wiped clean. So already, like, the premise is fucking dumb. <laughs> That's not how that works. Oh, Kyle R. J. Longbone, uh, Computer Blues, a track on Purple Rain. I knew it. I knew it. Guardian Forces, should you get my super chat? Let me see. Uh-huh. Okay, Guardian Fortress, five dollars super chat. If you pause at the right moment, you can see the demons trying to escape their mortal cages from the flesh of these women. Goddamn. Uh, Vash and Peach, he stole the plot to the movie Equilibrium. I uh, know, I mean, they didn't steal, they didn't, not, not steal, but they didn't erase memories. They just in uh inhibited uh inhibited memories. Not memories. Oh god, emotions. Fuck. But this is this premise is still stupid. Like it's dumb. Like uh, erasing memories just doesn't suddenly make you not gay or not something. <laughs> That's not what that get who they love and what they believe. No, that's not how it works. If you gay, you gay. It's like for like someone re not remembering that they're heterosexual. You can't, that, it's not, no. Deleting memories and do that. You just forget about the person you were fucking, not the fact that you like to fuck men or women. That's not a, whatever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So if you are a dirty computer, if you're queer, yeah. if you don't. Dirty computer. Oh God. If you're queer share the same religious beliefs mm -hmm. if you buck up against the system in any against oh my god trying to sound so not southern and black way they <laughs> against cleaned yeah. all the memories Ooh. so they can manipulate or maybe or who knows maybe people from where she's from i forgot where she said she was from again but maybe pe maybe people from that region talk like that maybe they do say again <laughs> like a pretentious like asshole and make this place called New Dawn be exactly what they want it to be. I'm yeah, I'm goosebumps right wow. now. I'm just like wow. I collaborated with <laughs> Of course you are. You get goosebumps off of the fucking colors. That's beautiful. Wow. Danny Lore, Eve L. Ewing. I have no idea who, who these people are. Renee Thomas, Yonka nope. Delgado, and nope. Alaya Don Johnson. Nope. The cool thing about the memory librarian is all of the leads are non binary, wow. black folks in the LGBT. Wow. Oh, QI me. plus community or women. Yeah. yeah. We don't just stay down. Yeah. Like we get up. One hundred percent. You know, yeah. we fall down, down yeah. but we yeah. get up. The marginalized, you will not win. Mm -hmm. So that's the message of the book. <laughs> that is the message of the book and to protect your memories. Our memories make up the quality of our life. Yeah. yeah. Memories don't equal sexuality. You fucked up. Do it over. I can't wait to I can't wait to read. One hundred percent. Yeah, I can't wait to can't wait to read. Like yeah, look on her face like hey, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> I appreciate 
your um the scope of your musicianship, but I'm not reading that shit. All right. We wanted to meet the woman that brought you to this planet. Yes. Yeah. I want to see what her mom's like. I was going to cut this off, but I want to see what her, what her mom's like. Oh, my mommy. I love my mom so much. Ooh, that lady. I mean, <laughs> a firecracker. Yeah. Like, will say what is on her mind. Mm -hmm. She had me really young. She was working class. She was a janitor. Mm -hmm. Was always in the front row at the talent showcases. Like, my baby. Yeah. People call her Madam Hawthorne. That's right. Oh, Yeah. So so nice. <laughs> uh Kasper Sobanski, Ten Plen, <laughs> Ten Plen. Um erasing memories might heal you from being a furry. <laughs> uh Jack. Uh so Janelle definitely hates her mom. That's all that <laughs> That's all that long ass stifled, uh, is it stifled? St stilted preamble told me. <laughs> oh, someone said something about the nerd crew. Who the fuck was it? Oh, uh, whale fin. This is like Red Letter Media's nerd crew. Very cool. Oh my God. Yes, it is. It's a woke black woman <laughs> nerd. It's a woke black woman nerd crew. Oh my God. It is. <laughs> That that hit right on the money. Oh my god. Uh Barkley KR 199 Super Chat. Another thought enters the ring. Oh come on. Her mother's probably a good person. I love it. I love it. Uh, I clapped. I clapped when I saw it. Yeah, I'm just happy that somebody invited me. I said, Are you kidding me? I clapped when I saw it. The red table. <laughs> oh, she enjoys the red table. Okay, maybe she's not that great of a person. Ride <laughs> or die. die. When yeah. I tell you ride or die, I'm just like, that's it. I've taken her with me when I've gone to the White House, and they just fall into it. Where's yeah. your mama? That's right. They like my mama better than me. I, you know what I hate most about this chick? Uh, Jan Janelle Monet. She always has that fucking disinterested look on her face. You know what I mean? At least, um... Because what was, what was her name? Victoria Beckham had the same thing where she had that stink face all the time. But at least she had a fucking, uh, uh, she had a, uh, a sense of humor about it. She knew how she looked. She knew she had that fuck, that, that like nothing impresses me face. But Janelle Monet, I bet if you make fun of her about it, she will not be pleased. <laughs> She's got one of those faces like, oh, you peasants. Like, ugh, I hate that shit. Another screen well, cap. You look so cute. Thank you. Oh, May I say so to sweet. you, you act just like her. <laughs> <laughs> As I was watching her and and all of you interacting, I said, Janelle and Willow, they are a mess. Oh yes, <laughs> put it right here. Hot <laughs> messes. Jimmy, you're so beautiful. Oh, she got it so all, much. all the above. Thank you. The look, the body, all. Red table media. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, uh, Kelvin Schuber's like red table media. Red table media. Oh. Let the healing begin. I watch you, Rodney. Oh my yes. gosh. Rod. <laughs> Rod the mom. <laughs> and I just recently got me a boo. A boo. Oh, yes. A boo. A boo. Okay. I love that. I'm gonna go down the line. Jada. Yes, Miss Jenny. And Janet. you are so talented. Well, I've watched every you. movie that you have made. Mm -hmm. Thank you so you much. You did good. Thank you. As she was growing up and finding herself, was that difficult for you? Specifically around her sexuality, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she talked to me about it before she decided to come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Which is I was good. very understanding. Yeah. And Jada, when people are an adult and make their own money, what can you say Dang. to them? Oh, I Jake the Surgeon, five dollars super chat. A bunch of rich elites virtue signal a story of complete nonsense. It's not Monday. Oh, is this one? <laughs> I can't say nothing. That's true. <laughs> you and me are in the same yeah, breath. Exactly. But y'all never said nothing when they were kids. I mean, not 
Janelle and Monet, but like the, the Smiths. Y'all didn't say nothing when they were fucking kids either. Exactly. Uh, yeah. When you're making your own money, you're adult, you, like, you can't say nothing. Like they didn't say nothing when they were kids. So, <laughs> just, uh, just saying. I love, I love her unconditionally. Yeah. 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 Nobody will take that away from them. Yes. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. But I get a lot of backlash about Janelle. I tell them back at home, I said, who are you to judge? Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, there you <laughs> you go. stick up for her yeah. okay. all the time. Yeah. And they don't yes. want the bear to come out of me. There you all. go. <laughs> I know about that too. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Because they're always that. our little babies. And I tell you, <laughs> it don't take you long to stay mad at me. Well, how long does she stay mad at you? Oh. We usually talk. I'll, yeah. I'll, we talk. Yeah. I try not to let it sit for long. That's We've only normal. had a couple of bumping. How long does it take to stay mad, for you to stay mad at her? 21 years. <laughs> you know, but... So unhappy that I had her. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just go. All right. We sometimes just take a moment apart to get our thoughts together. Yeah. But that's never long. Yeah. That's never, never long. long. But I need her, so I can't be gone with. I can't. I can't be. I'd be like, I'm mad. But I need her. I need her money. Well, Dad's money. <laughs> because honestly, what the fuck am I gonna do without it? Can you give me advice? Right. Because right. this is reverse. I need her. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I, need I need her too. Though. Yeah, I, I need her. I need her. We, we, we all, all need, need each other. Yes. Yes. You're right, yeah. Jada. We know how to love. Yes, that's right. Grandma taught me. My I grandmother you. did. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you taught Jada. I could yeah. tell. Yeah. I was yeah. once talking to somebody, Jada, and you probably understand what I'm saying right now. I said, "Listen, all of us are not going to be wealthy. It's pick and choose who's going to be wealthy." Mm -hmm. And Janelle. Praise the Lord. Everybody's not going to be, they want to get your autograph. They want to say, oh, right. Right. they right. want to pitch right. you yeah. a film or whatever mm -hmm. they want to do. Right. Chosen mm -hmm. people are that way. Right. Yeah. You've been chosen. Jada's been chosen. Me and Gail, mate. We right. ain't been chosen. No, no, no. Like, uh, so keep in mind, guys, if you want to try to be successful and it doesn't happen because you, you wasn't chosen. <laughs> it seems like she's trying to. She's like panicking, like, oh, do we really want to say that? <laughs> I don't know. She seems a little panicky here. But I'm a <laughs> So yeah, like if you, yeah, oh, that's another trope in uh, the Red Table Talk, Jada reaching over to touch people. It's so fucking cringe. It's so weird. Stop it. Don't do that. But yeah, uh, yeah, guys, if you uh, try to be successful and it ain't happened because you wasn't chosen. Kill yourself. <laughs> you weren't chosen. You wasn't the chosen people. You know, I'm going to fast forward past this shit. I'm going to go to the fan. I'm going to see what that's all about. I'm fast forwarding. Because I want to hurry up and get to the, like, the real meat. The meaty episodes. Because I, I, I posted a clip of one of the episodes we're going to talk about on Twitter. And it got really popular. People don't like that clip. <laughs> and in context. I mean, it's like, it's find context the clip that i of what i clipped uh like this pretty much full context uh of what the issue is but like even like the full episode ain't no better like it's just ugh <laughs> ow uh evil hero diamond cat five dollars super chatted by the way are you crying yourself at night because batwoman might be canceled i know you love the representation <laughs> that show can die <laughs> die and we flew Oh, say. Stop. Stop. I've never had a trailer. Oh, my God. Can I take a picture of that? Yes, of course. From Ohio. Why is she getting a trailer? How much did Will pay for that? <laughs> because you know Will is paying for all this shit. To meet you. But first, just a little story of Oh, say. Hi, Red Table Talk. My name is Oh, say Oregon. I'm 21 years old, and I'm in Columbus, Ohio. I use the pronoun. I can't wait for them to gush about their bald fucking heads. It's going to happen. I'm I'm going to laugh my ass off when it happens. You know it's going to happen. Danny Nightblade, uh, for, uh <laughs> Danny Nightblade 45, $5 super chat. These vacuous celebs say the most basic and simple things yet act as if what they're saying is deep and profound. So incredibly pretentious. I know. Let me see how many viewers we're up to at this point. We could, I know we lost some definitely because we fucking dropped. 
I don't know how we dropped, but we did. Okay, hang on. Oh, we're still at 657. Well, 652 now, but like, yeah, okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, uh, Jake the Surgeon, two dollars super chat. Oi, you missed me chat there, lass. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me. Get, okay, no, I read that one. Yeah. You hear Diamond Cat send me another one. Two dollars super chat. Yourself at night meant to say. <laughs> you sending me money making corrections, nigga. <laughs> you gonna go broke? Jake, Jake the Surgeon, five dollars super chat. I bet none of them understand just how privileged they are and assume. Because of their uh and assume because if their race uh because of their race they're somehow oppressed. Oh boy, yeah, there's an episode for that too. Sounds <laughs> they them theirs, and I identify as queer and non-binary. I Hi Red Table Talk. My name is Osei Oregon. I'm 21 years old and I'm in Columbus, Ohio. It's a name I made up. <laughs> I use the pronouns they them theirs and I identify as queer and non-binary. I know you're doing Ugh. <laughs> of course you do so they got a bald bitch who's queer they them theirs non-binary i don't believe like come on there had to be more normal fans than this that this is so specific and so orchestra well well orchestrated doing a show about people and she's bald which is like, come on come on as soon as she gets out they're gonna be like you're bald like us it's gonna be so cringe. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, Buenos, uh, Buenos Aires Rex. Oh my God. So, uh, their fucking comment got deleted. God damn you two. But it said, uh, you ain't ready for this they them pussy, I think. I think that's what it said. Uh, Zay, uh, Zaymoku Mizu, non-binary, non doesn't bind their chest or hide their feminine features. That's like 90% of these motherfuckers, like 90%. I'm willing to bet. Admire. So I want to tell you about the impact Janelle Monet has had on my life. Wow. When I was 11, my mom introduced me. Wow, she didn't say shit yet. Introduced me to Janelle. She sent me a video for a song called Tightrope. In the video, she's wearing this iconic, tailored, dapper, black and white suit with this black bow tie. And she's singing about the importance of her own self-confidence. I saw a proud black person wearing the clothing that I wanted to wear. And yeah, yeah, Janet Jackson did this shit already. Janet Jackson and Madonna. So many fucking, so many singers, female singers have done this shit. Have just worn suits. It's not fucking special. It's been done so many times. Puff Pastry, 299 Super Chat, Red Table Talk, more like bald, bald, bald. Why that was hilarious, but yeah, so many and Janet, like especially Janet. Janet was the first one to do that, like that very distinct, sharp edged, like I'm I'm wearing a zoot suit type shit. She, come on, come on. Having the confidence that I wanted to have during my first year of college, I volunteered with Glad as a campus ambassador. I wrote an article about Janelle and how her style and her creativity inspired me. Oh, uh, uh, a fun fact that I, I'm going to bring up in my uh, craft legacy review that the trans actress who plays one of the witches in the film, glad, glad uh, recommended her to the casting director of, uh, of craft legacy or like, or glad, like, put, glad put her foot in the door. They had something to do with it, which is odd. <laughs> me to be the confident person that I wanted to be. Janelle was blurring the lines between masculinity and femininity. No, she's not. She is clearly a woman. Clearly, like, Dan, like I said, Janet Jackson did this shit. She did it already. And plus her shit is form fitting. You can tell she's a woman. It's nothing masculine. Oh, she's challenging being masculine. No. She's a very elegant looking woman. Stop it. I went to my high school prom wearing a black and white suit oh and I went with my partner. Had I not? Yeah, we can tell you're a woman because you're wearing women's pants. You're clearly, clearly wearing women's shit. Stop it. Women wear pantsuits all the fucking time. Y'all think I'm doing some new shit? 
not seen Janelle wearing the clothing that she wore in the stages that she was on. I might not have had the confidence to do the same. I am so grateful to live in a time where Janelle exists and all of her excellence. I'm grateful that she's <laughs> able to do what she's doing and I'm grateful that I'm here to witness it. I cannot express how much I love Janelle Monet. You're my- Yeah, favorite. she's so mad. Hold on, hold on, go back, go back. God damn it. Oh my God, she's so great. She's <laughs> able to do what she's doing and I'm grateful that I'm here to witness it. Yeah, so masculine right here, right? So fucking masculine. Like, oh, just, oh. Like, bro. <laughs> bro. I cannot express how much. It's like, it's like, I, I think Grace Jones challenges femininity, femininity and masculinity way more. Sorry. She came, like, there was times she came off masculine, despite the fact that she was in, like, a really elegant, tall black woman. You know what I mean? She doesn't challenge a fucking thing. She's soft as hell. She's very feminine. Stop, like stop. Evil hero, diamond cat fight. I'll super chat. I love your streams because you often blur the line between masculinity and femininity. <laughs> oh God. Uh, kill switch engaged. Why do loads of, uh, loads of the, uh, why do loads of these people just confuse clothing expression for gender? <laughs> you, you, I couldn't tell you. I don't know why. It, we, we used to call this androgyny in my day we didn't it wasn't a whole new gender because you wanted to shave your head sweaty socks five dollars super chat wait wearing clothes is now inspirational damn i've been doing for years and no one praised me i love janelle monet you're my hero oh well, my god wow i am speechless I so janelle I'm so speechless. Like, why? Yes, I'm Miss <laughs> Janet. We're gonna be quiet. Don't say anything. Okay. And plus, like, I know you scouted her beforehand. You were not speechless. You knew about this bitch. Oh, Say's gonna come on out of here. They don't know that I'm going to be here. No. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Stop faking this cute bullshit. Just do it. God, your head is defined. <laughs> You can't see it that well because it's kind of cropped out a little bit. She's like, her muscles in the back of her head or something. <laughs> it's distracting. Okay. Oh, say, come on out here and join the red table. Hey. Hi. <laughs> like, that was so, like, condescending. Like, <laughs> didn't even, not even a whole, like, <laughs> Not not a scream, but like hey, like enthusiasm. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, why am I crying right now? You look like uh <laughs> Hey on, hey. Look, look, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I gotta Join the red table. Hey. Hi. Hey. You look like Magic Johnson, son! <laughs> That is so evil. <laughs> it's true, though. She does. <sighs> I'm going to hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Why am I crying right now? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi, Hi darling. Hi, beautiful. Your outfit was so cute. Oh, <laughs> oh, single player Carl. Hello, Carl. He, Carl's here. Oh, it's, it's so nice to meet you. You have brought tears to Talk life. about the baldness. Stop. Do oh it. God. You're like, <laughs> I don't have words. You're like <laughs> one of the most iconic people. Oh my God. Like, here, sit down. Do we have a take? We can a game of your game. Oh my Mom gosh. Let her sit there. Do we have a chair? Of course you do. <laughs> you, you, but look, wait, but look at all this. <laughs> Look at all, this is my mom. Here, oh, sit here, this again. is why I'm here. Oh sit. my God. This is who got Just me sit. here. Wait, oh my God. Can I give you a hug? Miss Janet. Because I don't know you, but So, so fucking nervous around normal people. So nervous. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> this is so twitchy. Whatever you did, you produced a wonderful, <laughs> you. wonderful daughter. Aww. So thank you for being So here. actually, this is... A you know what? To be honest, this is awkward for me too, because it's just, you know. <laughs> it's red table talk. You know what I mean? Oh, she say, come on. Please sit come down, here. sweetie. Oh, my lord. Yeah, go ahead and 
sit down. Oh. Had there been anyone else in, like, I, I would have stopped. Yeah. This is just a lot. So That's I okay. I promise I'm usually more eloquent. <laughs> We're both balls. <laughs> like, it's cute. I I say it. There it is. There, there it is. We're both bald. Of course you. Of course. No. Man, you came all the way from Ohio. Yeah, and it was just to talk about how great you are. Like I didn't think oh. you were gonna be here. Like I was not prepared for that. I would have tried to find a cuter outfit. First of oh, all, you, you look, look you amazing. So cute. You yes. look so amazing. Oh my gosh. You do. Like, and the words that you spoke, I got a chance to watch. Your video. Yes. Hearing you talk made me very, very tired because it was so fucking boring. I mean, Ambien, I don't have to take it anymore. I just watch your video now and I'm out like a fucking light. Like, yeah. God, normal people are so lame. <laughs> Big Smoke, 199 Super Chat, Jaded Willow, the Baldwin Twins, uh, Barkley KR, 199 Super Chat, thought only one cue ball was allowed in billiards. <laughs> Uh, single player Carl, Jay Longbone, let me in on Discord. I have to roast this with you. Oh, God. Here comes Carly. <laughs> Let's hope the connection stays firm. Like I said, I'm still skittish. Despite the fact. Oh, shit. How the fuck am I going to make this work? Because I got my OBS shit set up a certain way. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I, I can do this. Hang on. Hang on. Oh God, Carl, you better not fuck up my flow. <laughs> and don't take all fucking day saying shit. <laughs> trying to get this, trying to keep this stream snappy. Don't do not take all day saying shit. I swear. Um, okay, how am I gonna fucking do this? You know what? Yeah, I'll just add another thingy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait, no, I don't think I can do that, can I? Oh, God, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. You, I don't think you can see me right now. <laughs> yeah, y'all can't see me right now, but like, I'm gonna, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay, damn it. Um, I'm gonna be back in a second. Uh, like, it's, it's a lot of work dealing with Carl. <laughs> Okay, okay, hang on. Du, 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 du. Oh God.
Uh, let's turn him down a little bit. Oh. All right, where the fuck are you, Carl? I'm right here. The fuck? Oh. Hang on a second. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> What in the hell just happened? <laughs> this is not my fault. Oh, everything is so hard. Oh Lord, I have two J's in my ear. Uh, you do? There you go. I needed to meet the stream. Let's get an echo. Hi, chat. How you doing? Oh, there, oh, there we go. go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait. You, you guys, guys can still see me, right? Because it says OBS, OBS just crashed. Uh, I'm still up, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. Still up. Still up. okay, never mind. I'm just going to let that be there then because i'm just just not going to touch it but yeah y'all can hear y'all can oh people said they hear me twice what the fuck you know what because i'm probably speaking through discord god damn it hey, remember, remember when you were talking shit about my setup because I just had to start setting this off. That's the thing. It's the whole thing uh, that I had to do. Uh, 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 God damn it. So now I have to mute my mic. Hold on. I, I, I already know how to handle this up. But now I got to mute my fucking mic. Stop blaming me, Jerry. Stop telling me, Jack. It's not my fault. You want to come in at the last... See, you should nah, You should have got at me earlier and said, oh, well, can I stop in? Just in case, and I would have set it up for you. I would have set, set it up. Like, it says we're echoing, but I muted my microphone. Are we still echoing? Are we, Chad? Yo, Chad, are we still echoing or what? It says we're good. Okay, we're, this, all right, they're saying, saying we're good. Because I muted, because for some reason, it picks up the audio from Discord. It picks up my voice, too. I thought it was just going to pick up Carl's voice, but it picks up mine and his. All right, whatever. Hey. Shit. We're, we're, it's, it's done. It's fine. I dare what you. You complained about setups again. But more importantly, can we no, talk about that, Caillou? It's not my fault. <laughs> you wanted to come in at the last second, nigga. It's a whole process. I had to download a whole app to get the OBS, like, to, like I can, to get separate, um, to get separate apps, like, their own audio track. And like it takes a little setup, it takes a little time to set that up. And you wanted to come in at the last second. But anyway. Alright, well, more importantly, Caillou's fucking head. Caillou? Oh, right. <laughs> Ratchet Caillou. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, now I can't see my fucking chat. That's probably why it crashed. Damn it. Where's my doc? Oh, wait, there it is. Fuck. Carl. I'm down. Carl's owned by Susan. No white woman owns me. They can rent me. They don't own me. And also, why am I... Hold on. Hang on. This is another thing I gotta do. Because I can't hear you through my headphones. Damn it. <laughs> Input device. Output device. No, not that. There we go. We're good. We're officially good now. Yay. All right. Cool. 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 So everything is set. I can hear you through my headphones. You're not coming through my mic. My mic, other mic is muted. The one with all the good filters I had. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Anyway, you, you can see what I'm watching, right? Yes. I'd rather give you the link so you can, like, judge for yourself. But what the fuck? The link just disappeared. Want to just 
do my absolute best you do, to you make do. It's like, people like you feel a part of a community. What the fuck is happening now? Oh, wait, mm -hmm. Get a community seen, heard, loved, cared. Is it coming through my fucking headphones too? <laughs> And everything changed when the Negro attacked. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, people are saying there's an echo again. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of seeing those fucking glasses on people, especially women. L ladies, ladies, can you guys do me a favor and just say no to the feminist glasses? Okay? Okay. that sometimes women suck and they also blow but you know what they don't do very often what <laughs> no I'm good all right wait don't say anything right quick Air Force. this is exactly, exactly the reason why why the fuck is it picking up my browser the fuck oh it's so fucking tiresome I want to know why the hell it's picking up my browser. It makes no sense. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Ugh. Jay, you're muted. Am I? Someone says I'm mute. Okay, they said never mind. Never mind. <laughs> many fucking issues does make any motherfucking sense all right hang on one one more second because i think i know i had to get this right uh, let me go back delete this all right hang on carl we're gonna get this right fuck once again, Carl ruins everything. Okay, wait, there we go. Capture all audio except for that. All right, let me try playing this one more time. Don't say anything. I just want to see how this, this, this works. I do what I do, yeah. honestly. Like, for oh. oh, wait. Forget no, all of my whatever it is that I'm going through. No, you're still doing it. What the fuck? Audio sessions from the <laughs> Oh, 
After all audio systems selected. I have no idea. Wait a minute. No. That's not it. Through, but they Jesus Christ. Oh, or is this the audio mixer? I don't know. Fuck. Being able to touch them. This makes no sense. Oh yeah, fuck it. Just mute that one. Oh, nothing fucking works. <laughs> At least not correctly. All right, Carl, say something right quick. Uh, I love chicken. Mm, okay. All right, I think we got it now. There's nothing I can do at this point. I got to look back at those instructions. Um, yeah. Body like you, that right there means the most to me. And I just want to tell you that you are absolutely incredible in your own journey and who you are i know that journey. you look up to me you look up to willow we inspire but you have something that you father when i can go on my journey my design own. and put here to do yes. yeah and be ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me nothing now i'm be like, <laughs> nobody, but i'm cool like you are you are you and are. i cannot wait to see you what are. it is that you have to say and what you do what are you passionate about I'm pursuing dual degrees in political yes. science and Chinese. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, That's awesome. I graduate in May. We love a scholar. Yes. 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 We're trying out here. Do you? Because <laughs> none of you act like. Oh. I wish one of you would aspire to be one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I got a job and I'm moving to New York City. I love it. Good. There's no way to aspire not to have oh. fucking yeah. navel piercings. Jobs. It's it jobs. Everything we're talking about. You're gonna yeah. do incredible things, and yep. I wish you nothing but the best. 100%. This has been a fantastic Yay. show. It really is. Has. It okay if we gather and take some pictures? Yes. All yes. right. Yes. Oh, do, these... do, do you mind if we hold hands and worship Satan? Yeah. Beautiful. 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 Table. Worship Lord Satan. That's such a cute <laughs> outfit. It's so cute. I love her. I yeah. wish I could wear. Pants. Latex like that. You could, you can. That latex would, is hot. It's hot. You just get to an age where you just can't, you can't do it. <laughs> You're Girl, hilarious. I got some latex pants. I was like, Ugh. I'm sure she does. <laughs> That's the perfect pause right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh shit! Jesus, Carl, you're shorting us out. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> Oh, that damn coffin. That shit came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Chat, you have to understand. I'm seeing this shit on a delay, technically, so. <laughs> oh, I'm going to send you the link because we're about to start a whole fresh one anyway. Uh, let's see. What men really think about love. Now, that's the one. <laughs> that I clipped and put on Twitter like a day ago. The one that blew up because Count Dankula retweeted it. So we're gonna watch that one first. Ugh. Oh, hang on, let me send Carl the link so he can catch up, fucking noob. I am limited by technology. <laughs> Let's get this to 480p. I don't want it to be laggy. You're presenting your pause. But where's the search? The search bar disappears when I fucking pause. That's the Venus. <laughs> it just felt like dudes are coming to the table, so you know why not have a little feminine? You know what I'm saying? What do? Oh, for oh, there it is now. It, it shows up now. Jesus Christ, Facebook is. What am I eating? Fire. I'm what eating what's. Wait, oh, you, are you, are you the chat will ask me a question. Yes. Oh. Uh. I'm paying attention to them because you're neglecting them. I'm eating what I'm we not, call fiddle faddle. Caramel I'm popcorn. I'm not neglecting anyone. <laughs> I neglected them because I was setting up your, your crusty ass. 
Chat says my microphone is too loud. I will fix. Yes, please turn it down. How does that feel? I mean, I told you. I yeah. Oh, that's way too low. How about this? That's fine. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, I sent you the link so you can watch along. Okay. Because I'm sick of you being behind. <laughs> More like you're All sick right. of my behind. Yes, that too. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. Hey, wait, you're at you're at zero, right? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Are we are we cutting off? No, like three, two, one, and play. You're presenting yourself as the Venus. <laughs> I just felt like you to come to the table, so you know why not have a little feminine, you know, Sam? What do men? <coughs> Dudes, <laughs> we're inviting the host to fucking <laughs> to the table and a bunch of two men motherfuckers. We need. Oh shit! Even worse, it's Justin Baldoni. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, people were saying that. That's the guy from from Catfish. It's like, no, it's not. He <laughs> looks like he has his face. Way more, but he's way more masculine than this motherfucker. Oh, hang on, hang on. Joey, Joe, Joe Finney, the hyena, fight all the super chat. What is love? Ba what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. No more. All right. <laughs> and really think about love. To find out, I have two friends coming to the table. Both are very talented and very different. Actor director Justin Baldoni is married. Now they're saying that your mic is too low. What? Oh god damn it! Bow 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 bow. See, it might be low in uh, Discord because this. Ugh, I gotta run through all this shit through Discord. Input device. Oh wait a minute. That's why I'm fucked up. Hello. 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 La, 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 la. Okay, that should be good enough. That should be good enough right there. Apparently. All right. Is, is, do I sound good now? Because I should be. I'm in the yellow now. To me, you sound fine. Okay. Do I sound fine? Chat, validate her. Nope. Ah! I should sound fine. Okay, they say that's not good. Jake the Surgeon, Fight Alice Super Chat, where do you think the main body where do you think the main body is? I think it's located where the California fault line is supposed to be. Uh, did I miss anything else? Let's look through it. Jake the Surgeon, Fight Alice Super Chat, they're all part of the same creature, connected by slimy tentacles. Oh boy. Yep, unfortunately that's the cutoff, so if I miss anything before that. Two kids, but he says it didn't come easily. And Grammy winning rapper Wale is ready for his Wale. perfect match, but is skeptical it will ever happen. Hey, yes, he is from Jane the Virgin. <laughs> I should have worn my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> We're glowing. We're glowing up too But it's, hard. it's just a energy because so Wally, like that's not a good person, compliment. But like, it's not, and it's like very powerful, and it's like this table is like glowing. <laughs> Y'all like X Men. The X -Men? <laughs> oh, stop it! Just stop that shit. Stop it. Black X Women. <laughs> that's still saying my mic is too loud. Thank you. We appreciate it. Today we're gonna be trying. But you barely said anything in the past couple of minutes. And to get to an understanding of what love is about. Hmm. We think we know how to love. That's the thing. We think that we Let's come into relationships, you meet somebody that you really like, and you think that person knows how to love you, and you think you know how to love them. And the truth of the matter is, you have no idea. And they Is that... I don't know about that. <laughs> 
I mean, how the fuck did you even get to that place where you love that person if you don't know how to love it? You know, whatever. Like, this is Jade Pickett Smith we're talking about. The excruciating <laughs> part about it is really learning what love is and what love's about. I recently had, like, like a revelation. Like, I really think, like, uh, maybe it's time to have somebody that's a bond with somebody. Really? I, I, I think because I've been doing all of these things that... Wow, real. <laughs> Just because it takes someone a long time to say some shit doesn't make it, make it profound. I think like it's time to like find somebody, and they're like, "Wow, really?" <laughs> this is what people think I talk like. <laughs> it would be funner to do with somebody that was with me. I just came from Paris, and like I'm like, get your hand off your mouth, bro. Get your hand off your fucking mouth. Walking around the streets of Paris. Why am I in Paris? Like, with no, like, by myself. Yeah, because you like, were a nigga. You were a nigga in Paris? No. No, 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 it's me. It's me. But I, I, <laughs> it's me. It's important. It, it's me. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. No, I, 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 yeah. There's been times that I was really, really in love, and it wasn't me. And maybe that shaped it to be right. what I've become. Right. I'm going to really try to. Yeah, that's a nice job. Things that I've messed up with and just try to figure it out because nobody wants to know <laughs> that. Just, <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> what? Hold on, let me pause a sec. <laughs> I'm at 326. She's just started saying, I'm going to put pressure on you to be the thing I need you to be. I'm like, you are the but woman I that will even, hold a man's head down. I am down. nowhere near that, Carl. <laughs> Damn it. I thought you, you paused. Uh, I did pause. I'm at 223. Yeah, you, you say you're a you say you're a three twenty six. Yes. Well, let me go a little bit before that, like three minutes. Put so much pressure on you and find. I'm is, trying to use, I'm put trying to use the stream so to try and stay in line where you, you were, but you probably paused at some point. Really sneak. Oh, all of our insecurities and fears that we usually come to the table with in our relationships to have our partners fix. I need you to be this thing for me so I don't feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to put so much pressure on you and find really sneaky ways to manipulate you so that you will <laughs> always be the thing that I need you to be mm. so that I'm happy. Like, you just... She's just describing herself. <laughs> Jade is the kind of woman that would hold your head the fuck down and say, nah, I'm not done, motherfucker. <laughs> and then Wally... Can... Just, and then Wally... Wally I'm call him Wally, fuck it. Wally says some cringe shit like this. I was raising my hand, but... What? Can you run for president of love? What? <laughs> um... I, can you run for president of love? Ugh. Pain. Stop it, please. The partnership that you're talking about, that's the goal. That's the light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? But in, in my industry, a lot of times, the wealthiest, most known person in the room is... You got some lip gloss on, nigga. <laughs> some shiny ass lips. Usually the loneliest. I, I got famous young in D.C. And that's like, I seen how women were like acting around me. Mm -hmm. And I think it shaped how I viewed women moving mm -hmm. forward. Yep. So I'm like, okay. Like if they changed how they were acting towards you. You gotta understand, you're talking to a rapper and it's like, all I see is promiscuous behavior. Mm -hmm. All I see mm -hmm. is, oh, Stop covering my man played for this team and his wife cheated on him for somebody. I'm seeing this firsthand. And then I fell head over heels for somebody in this industry I seen how vicious it can be and how gutted I was. I, I was never really, I was never really the same. Our industry, entertainment, everybody moves on so fast. Yeah. We can't even argue. Think about that. Right. We can't even argue. We argue. Mm. Two days later, you on. Two days later, you canceled. Your career's over. <laughs> or you're going to rehab for crack because you still. <laughs> Because <laughs> you said some fucked up shit about uh, your your husband slapping the Chris Rock. <laughs> you and Greystone with clearly Jade is going to jump on the new Wale track <laughs> for a remake exactly. of Lotus Flower so Bomb called girls, Lotus Grenade. Yep. Any conflict, they're they're yeah, gone. Exactly. So whoever's wrong, whoever's right, doesn't matter. 
you can't even reconcile. You're just on to the next one. Right. Man, this is interesting because I've heard so many women say that about men, that it's not a lot of men out here that want to have wanna real stick relationships. Stick it out and stick have a out. real relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Because Isn't that a little hypocritical coming from you? Extremely. I mean, what the f <laughs> I don't believe in merge. Jada, I don't believe in merge. Pinkett Smith. Oh, God. Relationships take work. The best description of marriage I ever got was from a good friend of mine who said, marriage is two people that take... No shit. <laughs> no fucking shit. It's a lifetime full of... <laughs> yeah. Preach. They take two people and you bring your, your like, 25 bags of... Yeah. Right? right? And then this person brings their 25 bags of it. And then you all put it in this front yard, and you, that is your foundation. Hold on, we'll pause real quick. Is, it becomes what? about five thirty-eight. I'm like taking taking Valdez's justification here for his worldview. He just realized that he just said, "Listen, that custom that you did to William, that is the foundation of your relationship. <laughs> you will fuck other men, and he will ruin his career, and you can have problems with it. That is what he has to deal with. That is the price of loving you." <laughs> I mean, I didn't get there yet. Not exactly, but you know, I got to the fa I, I I got up to the foundation part, but I'm not where you're at. Hang on a sec. It's your like fertilizer for mm -hmm. which your marriage can grow. Yeah, exactly. But we're not trained to think about it that no. way. Right. What is love, see? In 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 like two sentences. I'm, Sometimes like... it's really hard for me to talk about it because being at a stage of where you are looking for. A relationship looking for someone to create a foundation with versus someone like myself who has done it for the last 23 25 years because there's evolutions to it yeah mm -hmm. yeah right like what so, you think it is right and, and then, then what it grows to be exactly. and what you like willow what the fuck why are you here you're not married <laughs> and I know is she you're like, dating? <laughs> she's polyamorous apparently and like oh so she's single yeah. <laughs> she's not normal single. She's celebrity single. Nobody wants to tap that. <laughs> and like, what do you, why, why is her input even considered at her age? Because at this point, I think she was like 18, a 19 maybe. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Learn. So I'm 25 years in and my concept of love is very different than what it would be with for. someone looking. Looking okay. for and ready for are completely different spectrums, though. Yeah, I'm that's ready. True. No I'm shit. I'm ready. I'm like no shit. Oh, m being ready for something is a lot different than looking for something. Damn. <laughs> These motherfuckers are so lame. <sighs> Not looking. Cause if I'm looking, I could go. I can go to that Starbucks around the corner in Calabasas. What's up, Jordan? Oh. You want to love me? Let's oh love. my God, you want to? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, 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 th see, this, that... that's looking. Ready for is like <laughs> ready to love. <laughs> I actually love that song. Indie, are we ready to yeah. love? But you know what's interesting is, is yeah. I know a lot of men that are our age mm -hmm. that say they're ready, but don't necessarily back it up. And I don't think it's is just in the entertainment business or what. No. It, I, and I don't, no. And I don't think, I think everything that you talked about, your experience as a celebrity is very similar to the experience that a lot of young women and men are having. I gotta disagree, bro. You know why? If I take out a woman or if I'm kicking it with a girl, whatever, anything, there's a, a, a part of it that turns into an interview. Like they well, so they're so oh, sure. they're, in, they're yeah, so enamored with the business that I'm in that they're not really seeing me as a person. person. Mm -hmm. Even you, your celebrity, <laughs> if you. <laughs> The way she tries to finish people's sentences so that the conversation sounds more profound. <laughs> oh, God. She does that a lot, by the way. Uh, like, a lot. A lot. A, a person. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, when you take a shit, you use tissue. Yeah, tissue. Yes, yeah, tissue. Tissue. <laughs> Oh, and you chilling with Definitely your girlfriend. Definitely experience that. And you could tell when somebody's looking at you like 100%. a woman, and when they're looking at you like a statue. 100%, yes. Like, but I think he wants to fuck Willow. 
I, th I think he's on that shit. But I think what Justin's trying to say is that at the core he's of right. it. At the core of it. It's a human issue that's happening right now. And yeah. I think it's a symptom of, you talked about instant gratification. Thank God. A little bit low yeah, right on some things, but like everything else is like, bro, what happened? <laughs> wasn't around when I met my wife. Right, so how right? did you meet your wife? After a year of like just soul searching and patience and, and trying to figure out my life, coincidentally, she had been through the exact same thing. Mm. Wow. And we met in the business that, wow. that way. <laughs> it was not easy. Yeah. And Nothing the is dating easy, process, Nothing though, is ever easy. But right. the dating, dating process, process was at times like painfully horrific. Yes. Mm. My wife and I, we went deep, it was uncomfortable, we realized yep. we wanted different things at times, we weren't sure if we were spiritually aligned, we yeah. were from completely different countries. But I jumped in and I said, this is me. These are right. my flaws, these are my insecurities. Like, this is this is all of the things that are wrong with me. Hang on a sec. <laughs> uh, insult to the human race, $5 super chat definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target uh, 200, uh, one, ah, 120 kilometers away using an... Uh, Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri light scope. <laughs> People are like, oh, he has a wife? Yeah, I know. I thought he was gay too. <laughs> and she wanted to walk away. And Does I what other gay men always do right? play so straight men on television and then have a beard wife in public. <laughs> Nobody ever suspected Neil Patrick Harris. Joshua Black, $2 super chat. This is deep, balls deep. <laughs> Jack. Oh, there's Jack. This was the gayest description of a straight relationship I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a balance. She needed space. I didn't understand what space meant, which, because we worked through it, ended up being the foundation of a beautiful, healthy marriage. Yeah. But I have so many friends that are ready that jump into these things, and at the first sign of conflict, yes. right, they're out. out. And I'm going to tell you something. That's, that's, that's social something media. Really that's social it, media. We had, a, we, had a buffet. Media. we had a buffet now. Right. I don't like the broccoli, man. I'm going to go try right. asparagus. Exactly. I'm going to like asparagus, man. I'm going to just get the potatoes. Exactly. Like, it's, it's, it's quick now. <laughs> Here, Bro, do me a same. favor. Well, like, this is what I want you to do. Where's his kid? Oh, she's reaching for people's hands again. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, the fake ass Oprah shit. <laughs> is this his camera? I know it's okay, I know it's I want you, This is what I want you to do. Because I know you're looking for love. I want you to tell the camera exactly what you, what want, you want in a woman. I want to hear this. That's what I want to hear. I actually want to hear it too. Know. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear if you crazy. even know. I want a woman to who can Who can braid my hair? Show me what I want in a woman. That's what I want. You don't know what, what you want. I don't know. I want to lead it. Like a woman, I believe, are, I believe their intuition is stronger than men's, period. Their intuition. So you, mm, okay, whatever, Wall, whatever, Wally. You want a woman to be to tell you the what you want. God didn't let your me soul. finish. <laughs> God didn't let me finish. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> be my friend for real. Like loyalty is the like is very important. Loyalty, okay. And understand. Okay. Yeah, but like, like yeah, these these are those chicks who are like, oh, so what you're saying is, <laughs> don't let you fucking finish the thought. They are. I already made up your mind about what the fuck you meant. <laughs> like we're yeah yeah oh god but it's his fault because he set him up he said i think women got better intuition like stop stop gassing them up stop it because i am not Just a regular making the whole deep bro <laughs> my 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 bad is bad my good is amazing cool. so you need someone to understand to that i'm crazy patient? pretty much right oof don't say that don't ever so fucking say that Women can get get away with saying that they they shouldn't be able to, but they but they do. This is the reality of it. Like, they, oh, I, yeah, I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> like, if you're a dude, you cannot be a dude and do that female shit. Was like, yeah, you gotta understand, I'm kind of crazy, bitch. <laughs> you gotta accept my crazy shit. Like, how about no, <laughs> no, nah. Mars five dollars super chat. Jada is so deep. Every man in LA can vouch for that, except Will. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Desperado J. Intuition? Really? That's the attribute you give women? <laughs> a stinging cake. I need a Harley to my Joker. <laughs> like, come on, like... Because I'm a chick, and, uh... I guess I have a, a like, perspective on it shit. 
Like I don't like I I hate that fucking saying. Like oh you gotta accept you if you can't accept me at my blah blah, blah you can't uh, have me at my blah, blah, blah. like motherfucker. No one wants some crazy. Like, stop it. You're you're mentally unstable. That's a problem. <laughs> Maybe you don't deserve love. Like let's just let's just keep it really real. <laughs> it's like when when a guy says it, it's like somehow it's just like no you can't you can't do that you can't say that. I mean, like, it's already bad when a woman says, but when a guy says it's even worse, because not only are you are adopting, like, that fe- female entitlement, it's like, now you're, like, oh, you should just accept that I'm probably mentally ill. Like, no! <laughs> How about no? Hell no! You're never gonna get any pussy, like, talking like that! Evil hero time, a cat. You're a man, Jay. Stop it. <laughs> it will never work anywhere except Twitter. Yeah. Only on Twitter. With, you're crazy, so you <laughs> want a woman. Is it even possible on Tumblr anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Best loyalty, but it's also somebody who's bringing something to the table. To the table. Well, he says, whether emotionally or to a red table, tables. Yes, that is the, the centerpiece of this the show. Is just tables. Other right. Not just somebody that's you know, just gonna be take, take, take. <laughs> I've been stabbed in the back by people that I grew up with. I know. So yeah, let alone somebody that I'm just meeting. I get it. Or let alone yeah. as somebody that know man. that their, our first date feels like an interview. It's an emotional <laughs> desert. Like the fake ass, like, man. Like, bruh, stop. I'm, I'm still sure, trying to wrap uh, my... yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that other guy was, has been stabbed in the back repeatedly, many times. I'm still trying to wrap my head around loving the goddess or God and people. I'm like, can I love the dog in her? Is it possible for love the dog in her? Like petting her, scratching her, feeding her, making sure that she's not emotionally shitting herself, making sure she doesn't actually shit on the lawn. Like emotionally speaking. Like I, I don't know how to treat the emotional dog let alone in myself. So why the fuck would I want to do it for women? There's no instruction manual in here. It's very fucked up. Think that love also, equals... how fucked up is the idea of telling somebody, hey, I can't love the human in you, but I can love the god and gods in you? I think that's a little bit too close to cult worship. I'm slowly mm-hmm. backing out of the room when someone says that. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carl saying this. I would run, okay? <laughs> uh, Joshua Black, five dollars super chat. Such a thoughtful commentary on love and relationships. <clears throat> True. All right, let's continue. God damn it. <laughs> Say shit. Oh, I, hate, I hate Facebook player. I really don't like all it. All of their pain. Mm. Right. The tragedies that they've been through in their life. It's like a little puzzle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, and you're a child. Shut up. To satiate. Even from like daddy issues, from being left abandoned. And but here's the thing. Home. It's it's the facade of love too. Yeah. And the sacrifice, when you, when you love someone and continue to love them, the sacrifices each of you have to make, nobody mentions that part. Let me tell you. <laughs> Nobody talks about the sacrifice, the deterioration, and the dissolving of fantasies. That's the real part. And idealism. Can you elaborate on the dissolving the fantasies? So you right now have in your mind your perfect woman, okay? And when you find that woman, she's going to be a goddess to you. But here's the thing. I always feel like (laughs) we fall in love with the goddess or the god within that person. And then when you actually meet the human being. What? <laughs> yeah, he's such a. <laughs> he keeps either hiding like his face with his hands or his dreads. It would be adorable if it, if he wasn't on the show and he wasn't like him. <laughs> he's like a little fucking teenager who just got his first locks and like, hey, no, stop! <laughs> Can't say that to me. You just act the fuck up, girl. Stop. <laughs> Oh God, Striker X twenty four five dollars super chat. How does Jada have the nerve to have these interviews about this subject? Also, Harley to your Joker like an abusive relationship. <sighs> uh, Red Rose Spark. Without Jay and Carl, this would be so boring. I know. Jesus Christ, these people. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. Then we got to learn how to love that one. And this is when, the reason why it's so important to me to be able to stick it out is because to really get to the true meaning of love, in my opinion, it is 
unconditional. Mm. It has to be because we are all too flawed. Like it can't be. I. No matter how much work we do. <laughs> that was a great. That was great. Wait, she Jada just. Whoa! Well, does it shame? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go to eleven twenty, I think, and then we'll play at the same time. Like it, like. This Willow starts talking, and then Jada just pops in the frame like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, you there? You there? Hold on, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm there. Okay, okay. 11.20, right? Yeah, 11.20. Uh, three, two, one, play. And just watch... Her popping the frame. ...of love, in my opinion. It is unconditional. Mm. It has to be. Because we are all too flawed. Like, it can't be... I. No matter it's... how much work we do. <laughs> no matter. That is perfect. Sprite starting to gather up. <laughs> she just came out of frame. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck. That was perfect. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it one more time. I'm gonna go back to like uh, 1123. <laughs> I gotta see that again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It has to be because we are all too flawed. Like it can't be. I. No matter it's... how much work we do. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> so funny. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how she just. <laughs> she looks at her. It's like, yeah, I just got. I just gotta let this one go. I, I had a good thought, but you know, Mama Show. It's Mama Show. <laughs> Don't beat me. Uh, she, she go beat me. Uh, okay, we're playing for real now. We're playing for real. Shit. How much? It oh, never yeah. ends. It right. never it, ends. It ends the day that we leave this planet. Exactly. How about some? Okay, here comes the clip that I put on Twitter. This is the part where it gets really toxic. Somebody's learned your buttons, right? And like now they get a, they rocks off by pushing every single one of them. You gotta go. You gotta go because this person has learned me for the wrong reasons. You gonna be with somebody, they gonna learn you. They gonna learn what to push regardless. Yeah. Some people use it for the worst. Some people are like, oh, I know his buttons. But let me tell you something. You... That's the stuff you gotta work through. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's not. Right? High five, sister. <laughs> that's nothing. Yeah. That's nothing. That's that's but, nothing. Well, oh, but no, whoa, whoa, whoa. who said that relationships and love and marriage why you always be blissful? Why... Like, he didn't say it, motherfucker. <laughs> You little metrosexual himbo. He didn't fucking say that. He didn't say it always had to be blissful. He just says he would prefer not to be emotionally and, um, emotionally and verbally fucking abused in a relationship. He couldn't like, been, he could he couldn't have been any fucking clearer. Like the thing that's so fucked up is that it's like, no, you, 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 the love of this relationship has to be unconditional. No, no, bitch. There are some conditions. There are some conditions of me taking you on a date. There's some conditions of me marrying you. Mm hmm Fuck. The chat is all up. Uh, we got some spammers. And I can't do shit about it! Uh, oh, come on. Mods, you, you gotta get on this. Because I can't do nothing from here. Come on, moddies! Do your job, you lazy negroes. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Just in case. Nope. I can't do it from where I'm at. Mod's gonna have to get up. These damn bots. Okay, okay. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, she got me. Or he got me. I, I, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Why are you winning? See, this is the misconception right here. Why are you winning? Why are you this winning? Do you want to answer that? No, nope, I'm gonna let you it answer. Oh my God. God. <laughs> it's a no. spiritual endeavor. That's the whole thing. I have to look at my <laughs> Shut up, Will. My trauma. And you're pushing my buttons 
That's making me look at my trauma and what I need to work, work on. on. Mm -hmm. And clean up your own, own stuff. You know what I mean? Because why- uh, uh, in unison toxicity. <laughs> Why is she pushing Spiritual yeah. union, like, said the woman who like has yet to be fucking touched on the stage. Yeah, that's that's an opportunity for you to work on, on you. you. It's not about Oh, I'm her. always it's working on you. me. I always come And through for with her it. to work on her, too. I feel like this is an intervention. Wait, because I love how they try to make it sound more palatable. Like, oh, well, you can emotionally abuse your, your girl, too. It's not just you. <laughs> just take the man's words. Just taking the man's words, rephrasing them, and packaging them like, yeah, that's our idea. That's our, that's ours, motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, you can verbally abuse your spouse, too. Like, we're all about equal opportunity at this red table. We're all about that. We're all about that diversity. <laughs> like, oh, uh, like, oh. <sighs> like, they, they actually think, oh, someone deliberately trying to push their buttons constantly. It's just, it's just a way for you to work on you. I'm pointing out all of your failures and shit and making you feel small because I'm trying to make you work on you. You don't get it. I'm trying, I try to, I'm trying to shrink your presence in this relationship so you can work on yourself. So you can examine. Okay, Carl's going to be right back. But I'm trying to get you to examine why you're such a piece of shit. <clears throat> God damn it. I fucked up the chat when I interacted. Okay, now it's fixed. It's fixed. Anyway. Yeah, this is, this is the worst fucking shit. <laughs> this is a bunch of brainwashed adults. Now, listen. I feel like this is intervention now, so I'm just gonna say. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I, I love it. He gave up because he knew, like, <clears throat> he gave up because he knew exactly what kind of women he was dealing with. That's that defeated male thing. When they know they're talking to harpies, and just, he's just like, you know what? Fuck it! Fuck it! <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> Fuck it all! I'm just gonna sit here and be quiet and let you cackling hens keep this. This is the intervention now. Listen. I feel like this is the intervention now, so I'm just gonna say. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. Wait, wait. Because. Listen. You know, relationships mirror. Yeah. They show us ourselves. I mean, that's what I've learned. It's a And two... typically, the things that you don't like about somebody <laughs> are things that you don't like about yourself. That's it, though. You better preach, King. <laughs> I'm a little numb. <laughs> you better preach, King. <laughs> Let's rewind that. What the fuck? That you don't Can we go like back to relationships? relationships mirror your emotions? Wait, where, where, where was that? Mirror. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm right. I'll read. Uh, yeah. They show us ourselves. I mean, that's what I've learned. It's a and two... typically the things that you don't like about somebody are things that you don't like about yourself. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Exactly. That's why I wanted to go back to. It. <laughs> so like like So relationships mirror <laughs> things about yourself. Okay, Jada. I'll, I'll take it your word. <laughs> So, <laughs> so when so when when you fucked Alcina, <laughs> you can't even get it out now. I'm fucking. I'm getting hot because of how funny it is. So when so when you were clapping your son's friend's cheeks. <laughs> what, what did that mirror about your relationship to your son? Hmm? What did, that what did that mirror to your relationship to yourself and your husband? I, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just, I'm just curious. I, I just want to know. Your words, honey. Your words. Like, baby, if I'm a cum dumpster, you got to be one with me. <laughs> that, that's you and me. That's you and me, baby. <laughs> oh, wait. Girl in a coma. Uh, 199 Super Chat. Isn't that just projection? Yeah, that's exactly what the fuck it is. I'm trash, so you're trash, baby. We're trash together. Tra <laughs> trash twins. <laughs> like, all it oh reflects in God. me is my deep spiritual healing because he really touched me deep in my womb lands. You have to try this, Will. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's, 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 let's get on with it. That's it, though. You better preach, King. 
I'm a little numb to all that because of what I've seen in my career and my life. Like, when I feel like you're starting to press these buttons to get something from you, I get numb, I shut down. I totally can, and, yeah. I, I get that. Because I think that we- Yeah, I get that, I get humanity. Uh, I've, I've, I've heard of this thing called emotions, you know, human emotions and humanity. I've heard of that. We have two options yeah. when you're in a relationship. You can look at things through the lens of fear, mm -hmm. or you can look at things through the lens of love. Mm. <laughs> that sounds like some psycho shit. <laughs> like, take the, uh, the, uh, the, the, what's going on right now with, uh, um, with, uh, oh my God, Johnny Depp thing. Either you can look at your girlfriend cutting off your finger through fear, or you can look at it through love. Okay. You can either look at it through the lens of fear, like a little bitch, <laughs> or you can look at it from love, like a little king, okay? Okay? You get it? Is my shirt not effeminate enough? Like, <laughs> like when she cut off my finger, I looked at it as like, man, I'll never be able to use like hand modeling or hold a burger again. But then I looked at it through the lens of love. And now she feeds me my food, guys. This is six weeks night, y'all! Oh, Jack, fear and love is just BDSM and aftercare. <laughs> oh, God. That vodka bottle that that she threw at your hand, you can either see it through the lens of fear or through the lens of love. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Celebrities <clears throat> should never in life give any advice on love or like anything having to do with human beings ever and i think that every decision we make in a relationship can be boiled down to going down one of those two paths either a fearful wally's just like yeah you sound that sounds like bullshit <laughs> like i'm trying to i'm trying to go to a part of my brain where that's believable and i'm just not fucking finding it <laughs> I haven't been this corrupted by Hollywood yet, so I, I just can't buy this bullshit. Full reaction. Mm -hmm. He's trying to be nice, but he knows that he's now in a situation that he thought love, was three on two, like, but it's really four v one. Or and he's trying to hold in that inner nigga. Isn't my own stuff or my <laughs> yeah. own fear. And what I realize in my own marriage, because I can only speak for myself and what I've witnessed. My parents have been married for thirty five years. Wow. And by the way, like their marriage wow. wasn't perfect. Like wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, like, uh, I don't believe in marriage, uh, senior and junior over here, probably seething. <laughs> Someone, they could stay together for 35 years. Like, were they polyamorous too? <laughs> uh, Claire Jagels, $5 super chat. I can't believe that this dude from Jane the Virgin is really like this in real life. He just, he's just like this in the show. Wow. <laughs> uh, RHBR. Sorry, the brain worm, brain worms haven't penetrated that deep yet. <laughs> Have you ever seen the TEDx talk that he gave, Justin uh, Baldoni? No, I didn't. What? Give me the gist of it. Essentially, he just parroted a bunch of shit that women wanted to hear by saying mm -hmm. such lines as, oh, I just, I've, I've been this actor character that I've wanted to be for years, and I had to realize that I wanted to be what I was for myself. And it's like, bro, you get hired on sitcoms to be the hot guy. Hot guy, hot burglar, hot rapist number six. There's an Easter <laughs> filling here. Okay. <laughs> Basically a self-important douchebag who thinks Oh because, Lord, by fucking because, who days. thinks who thinks because he's hot, he has good opinions. Because he has a hot wife to validate it. Yeah. Insult to the human race, $5 super chat. The way I see it, if you really love someone, you're not going to look, uh, you're not, lo ah, you're not looking at them or your relationship in terms of pushing their buttons or testing their limits. True, true. Aura Master DX. Wait, this is the dude? <laughs> uh, oh, BW Estacado. Uh, when those celebs are, wait, wait, he's responding to somebody else. Hang on. Uh, okay. Um, is this a Carl reaction? Because that is usually how they react. Klingons, aka Dingleberries, 
Zod's like um, makes celebrities celebrity drama uh, bearable so much funnier. I think I'm reading this wrong. He says somebody's hilarious. I think it might have been you. The fuck. Oh, yeah, oh, they're talking about they're, never- talking about they're talking about the Nick guy, the, the lawyer, the YouTube lawyer guy. Never mind. No, I am not Nick Perkata. That's not what they, that's not what they were claiming. They were talking. It was a totally different thing they were talking about. Oh, okay. and anyway, let's let's continue. I think I'm because plus I think they know that Nick Perkata isn't black. <laughs> or is he? Claire Jagles, why I'll super chat Carl. Carl, I get what you're saying about Justin Baldoni, but he's hot, so please cease and desist, okay? <laughs> All right, let's continue. See there, and I got to see yeah. that. When, when in your life did you start to realize that your parents' marriage had an effect on, like, you as a man? Because me, I, think... I never saw my parents. I never, I'm Nigerian. Both of my parents are Nigerian, and I grew up very, very Nigerian. My, my, my mother was always gone. My father was always driving cabs. So a lot of it come from TV. Right. Hyper difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you can, you can watch Martin and, and, and try to understand what a relationship is like when you get older. Ooh. And then you go home and you don't see your parents even hug, nothing. I'm honey, I'm home. What, what, what is this honey, I'm home you talking about? I don't know this. I just see right. come home. It's like a business almost. You know what I'm saying? Right. Any Nigerian person that's watching this right now understands, like, we love our parents. We love our parents to death. Do anything for our mothers, our fathers. We don't know the dynamic between both of them. We don't know. This dynamic, three generations at one table? Ah, no. Oh, stop being gay. <laughs> stop saying real shit. We can't react stop. to that. Stop being homosexual. <laughs> no, I mean, like him, like when he was uh, sucking up to three generations of women. Oh, like, motherfucker. Stop it. Fucking stop. Jake the Surgeon, $5 Super Chat. I wouldn't expect Jada to know about loving her husband. Grain of Salt, one ninety nine Super Chat. I think you missed my Super Chat during the spam. Yeah, probably, because that shit was... Ugh, they were just like... Yeah, they were spamming, basically. Mm. Uh, read that one. Hang on. It might... Ju- it, yeah, it cut off. God damn it. Fucking spammers. Yeah, I probably missed it. These spammers, they kill me. The way it's gonna happen in Nigerian house. Like, we're not friends, per se, with our parents. I could count on one hand how many times I've even heard them say I love you to each other, that's, let alone me. But you know what? Though, but I know that's, they do. But that's a huge thing because yeah, you know, I, 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 I didn't realize that until I turned like 20, 28. I was like, yo. I, now I, I understand another... why I have this like weirdness with like, you know, trust and emotion and, and, yeah. and listening and all of these things. But that's the whole thing. Let's say you met a woman, right? And you told her that story. I'm not, I'm not good with love because I, I, ne- I was never taught by my dad how to express it because I never even saw them kiss. Like Don't right you then think and there. that would make a difference? Right there. For women that are watching, you're just like, I want to love on him. Just, I'm and not because, <laughs> but like, but listen, hold on. Like let, the, let, let, me like... Just, let me just man to man then just tell you something. It is so beautiful to see another guy especially in your situation as a rapper. Be willing to be that vulnerable. vulnerable. Yes. You just said, look at how imperfect and flawed I am. Here's all my... Well, usually other rappers, at least the older ones, are fucking married already, so... <laughs> they don't need to be vulnerable. They got their wives, so, you know, just saying. Uh, well, they don't need to be at a fucking red table to be vulnerable. Um, You're never going to see Sean here. They're never going to let on Sean Beyonce. Never! <sighs> <laughs> John Smith, 199 Super Chat. Uh, thank you. Absent intelligence, man, man to man. <laughs> man to man, X to town. <laughs> yep. And that is the best place to start to look yes. for love. But sometimes I like to keep that, like, I know that I'm so damaged in some ways. I don't want to bring that to nobody crib. I don't want to bring that to nobody mother. But she's bring doing that. it anyway. If I, doing- Wow, that was phony. <laughs> that was really phony. But you're doing it anyway. <laughs> but you're doing it anyway. <laughs> that was some acting right there. Damn. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Oh. Shit. 
not what I wanted. Not applicable. Two dollar super chat. This fake TV man makes me want to cut my ears off. <laughs> If I kind of keep it... Yeah, we all do it. We, there's no way around it. I grew up in a single parent home. Mm -hmm. I didn't see all the time healthy relationships. I had to figure it out, too. I came to the table with a lot of pain. I... You still haven't figured it out, Jada? I came to the table with a lot of brokenness. And most of all, I came to the if table with Your mama didn't figure it out. She was telling you about fucking self-pleasure at, like, what? What, what, the, what the fuck was her age? No. Like, 8, 11? The grandmother uh, did. The grandmother. That's even worse, Jay. Yeah, no, I was about to say, like, it's even worse. Hardcore. Like, Grandma, could you get your witch fingers out of my, out of me? Daddy. <laughs> <sighs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> get your witch fingers out of me. <laughs> I'm assuming Carl is dead or he didn't hear that joke. <laughs> No, my mouth was full. Otherwise, I would have been laughing like an asshole. <laughs> Issues. Mm. And it made me... I guess we'll watch that episode next. Like, the grandma... Uh, ugh. The grandma masturbation episode. Really oh, angry God. Towards men. <laughs> I had very high expectations. Mm -hmm. So it really... It was hard. Yeah. Right. I could have ended up with all kinds of dudes. I have... I the way... I, I had issues with men. Oh, no shit. No fucking shit. Yeah, I ended up with Will. I had to change my expectations. I came to What's the table with some hardcore daddy issues. Mm. <laughs> yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> duh. <laughs> Way she fucking said it. Not I fell into a relationship with them. Not it just happened. Not, I found myself here. I ended up here. Did you cut off, or did, uh, did you say something, or did you just stop talking? No, I think I was still talking, and somehow the stream dropped my voice. Oh, God damn it. You probably need to turn off your noise suppression. Because that's what it sounds like. The no noise suppression cuts you off sometimes. Because I know it ain't How me. Sound? Huh? How does it sound? That sounds better. You're not, it's not as abrupt. You know. Mm, hang on a sec. Damn it. Not applicable. Two dollar super chat. She did end up with all kinds of dudes. <laughs> she did. I could have ended up with all kinds of dudes. Like JD, you did. You did though. Striker X two twenty four two dollar super chat. JPS was fired after one season of Gotham. I see why. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she was in that show, wasn't she? Yeah, she was uh, Fish Mooney. I didn't watch that shit, though. I mean, when I heard... That show was time... fucking dog. <laughs> at the time when I heard... Well, actually, when... at the time when I heard she was going to be in it, I... I did check it out, but eh, I couldn't get into that show. I, I couldn't get into the concept of, like, Gotham, but it's the villains you know, except they're somehow here, even though literally they only exist in the future of, like, his timeline. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing people cared about was Cameron Moynihan. Yeah, J Jake the Surgeon, $2 Super Chat. Will needs to send Jada back into the warp. No, he needs to send her ass back to the streets! <laughs> the streets! All right, let's continue. And it made me really angry towards men. I had very high expectations. Mm -hmm. No shit. No shit. Yeah, just, this just speech preaches to the choir. Three years, like two, three years later. <laughs> so it really, it was hard. Yeah. Right. I could have ended up with all kinds of dudes. <laughs> you did. <laughs> the way I ended up with Will, I had to change my whole perspective. Yeah. You didn't, though. You still don't believe in marriage. You still, you tried to, you forced an open relationship. Like, you haven't changed a fucking thing. <laughs> you just stuck with this nigga because what else are you gonna do? You didn't cultivate your, you didn't cultivate your, your career. As an actress, or as anything, except with this shit, and uh, you're basically just like a, a um, you're basically like she's an even like, worse and even more niche version of the real, which is an even more niche or well, lesser niche version of the view. But I, I was really gonna say, like, you're really a low level YouTuber. 
<laughs> they gonna get no way to do her and do that shit. Like, she's not gonna have Will Smith money, like, ever. I don't think that's ever gonna happen for Jada. Like, she's too old to be like, yeah, just, like, you were a breakout star a long time ago. Like, it's over. Isn't Hollywood already shaping up to say that they're gonna have, like, the worst whirlwind of a divorce? I think that's the rumor going around. Like, there's some rumors that saying that Will Smith is out, he's in some retreat, trying to work on himself, and they're not talking anymore, and, uh, that they're, yeah, th- that they're gonna have this huge fucking divorce, but I think, I think Will should take that, uh, that plunge, if, if, if that's true. Take that Yeah, plunge. he should take a lot of plunges. A lot of plunges. He needs to take the plunge to go to Australia, go find himself as Tupac, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holly Quinn's waiting. She's waiting for you. With open mouth and open arms and open legs, go for it, Will. Also, like it's they, she said, like the, the, their latest episode that they just released, like yesterday. She said, like they're gonna address the drama and what they've learned from their healing, <laughs> the healing that they've done in like two weeks. Uh, they're well, gonna address it. In a few, yeah, like they're gonna address it in like in a future episode. So yeah, we'll be looking around for that. And this, well, not this episode. Like, but the first, like their latest episode got like nearly four million views in like less than it, nearly less than a day. And that's the only, and the only reason is because of what happened at the Oscars. Because people want to see what the fuck she's gonna say. Well, you know what I, you know what I think this fucking bullshit was. Mm -hmm. I think that she originally created Red Table Talk to be something that she would originate but then she would pass down to willow and be like here you go baby that music here didn't work out but now you can be a live streamer <laughs> none of the work none of the effort just take it baby it's yours yeah like she, yeah she doesn't believe in her music career at all because <laughs> i haven't heard one willow smith song I haven't heard one haven't seen one on the fucking top charts never seen that shit i don't i, don't I think know she only made like one i think she literally only made the one and that was the fucking hair song no, she's she's got other shit she's doing. But the fact that you don't know that is like my point. That illustrates my point. She doesn't have shit. She doesn't have an but acting the, career either. No, like she uh No, like she, I don't think she wanted to do that. I think that's uh one of her confessions on the show is that she just said she said no and then her parents obliged and I'm like, "Girl, you're a Hollywood kid. Of course, you threw a tantrum and they and they and they, and they relented, of course." That's, that's standard fare. We know. I can't imagine being a fucking child and saying, No, Mom! No, Dad! I don't want to be a Hollywood star and have multiple fans adoring me! I want to make music. I'm spiritual. <laughs> oh, uh, Mars, $2 Super Chat. Only movie I know Jada from is Scream 2. The Scream 2 intro. True. I mean, well, it's not true for me. I know her from multiple films. Like she's, but she's only been in, in a few good ones, to be honest. Like a few really good ones. Um, Set it off, Demon Knight. <laughs> Hang on, I'll think of another one. <laughs> Set it off, Demon Knight. I think. Oh, she was in Menace to Society too. Um, yeah. And. Uh, I, I can't say the Matrix movies because they weren't like the Matrix sequels because they weren't good. Uh, but yeah, uh, <sighs> she didn't really have a big role in those. She just had to be a background character that didn't fucking flub her lines. True. Uh, Kill Switch Engage. How did, how the fuck did Red Table Talk last this long? Like, who is this for? I, like I said before, the reason it's for boomers. It's for like like I said this in the beginning of the stream. It's for toxic. Multiple divorced wine moms. That's what it's for. And the reason why people haven't roasted this earlier is because it's on Facebook. I think that's the sole, one of the sole reasons that yeah. Jada Pinkett put it on Facebook. Because if it was on YouTube, people would be fucking reaming her ass daily. See, the people fucked up thing react- about it is... Sorry. The fucked up thing about it is, is like, the entire content thing between Facebook, YouTube, and whatever, like, third platform tries to come in to, um, mm-hmm. like monopolize the space the thing that fucks that up is that it's not that facebook isn't a legitimate platform to have your stuff like if you can just post whatever the fuck you want on there and as long as you're not posting porn it will actually know 50 50 percent chance as long as you're not posting shit that would like get you immediately eated like bad political opinions 
no, the, the wrong political opinions, it can just work. There's been plenty of fucking seminars and plenty of gurus that have talked about this. But the thing is, is like, that's like the Facebook gaming side of things, like live streamers. Nobody is going to be going to Facebook and like, oh, yeah, got to catch up on the right table talk. <laughs> like, I'm surprised she doesn't actually have a YouTube channel mirror for this shit. She actually, you know what? I did some recon because I was planning on doing a video on this. It's not going to be like a, I'm still planning on doing it, but it's not going to be like a traditional reaction video. It's going to be like a montage. Like, like the ones people did about CNN, <laughs> with the music and shit. I was going to do something like that. And I did some, like, I did a little sleuthing. And it turns out she does have a YouTube channel with no video. Like, it's not, it has not been used ever. She's got, like, maybe, like, 30K subs or some shit just from existing, of course, because, you know, Will Smith's wife. But there's nothing on it. It's unused. It's just sitting there. It's already, uh, think... already official and everything. Got a check mark? I don't. Th- oh, hang on. Let me check. I'm going to check right now. I'm going to check. Because it's on Will Smith's channel. It, it, uh, he features his whole family's, like, repertoire. Their YouTube repertoire on his channel. Ugh. So, yeah, I know. Hang on. Let me check. It's on here. Somebody save this singing, dancing clown. <laughs> save him from himself. Hang on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, wait. She only has 12K subs. It's so Jada Pickett Smith's channel. It's like a really generic picture of her. Hold on, let's see if uh, y'all can see this shit. Yeah, there it is. There's her channel. There's Jaden's, Willow Smith's, and there's Cobra Kai for some reason. Does, does he produce Cobra Kai? Will Smith? I don't know. He might because it's on here. It says the fam, like under the fam on his channel. There's, right there it says the fam. And Cobra Kai's in there. He must produce it. I think he produces it. Is oh, it no, he, he is. He's one of the executive producers alongside ah. Kaleeb Pinkett. Kaleeb Who is the brother of Jada. Oh, damn. This is a damn shame your own brother's doing better than you because he teamed up with your husband. See, he went the correct way. She wanted to go for black excellence. He went with the Italian stallions. Got now Ralph Macchio money. Yeah, that's it. It, it but it sucks though because then he did Bel Air, and that's just oh, that's trash. <laughs> but yeah, you go to Jada Pinkett's channel. Nothing there. Absolutely fucking no videos. Her bio, though, says, what the fuck? Actress, musician, businesswoman, philanthropist, mother, partner, and more. (laughs) The official YouTube channel of Jada Pinkett Smith. And it was made in 2016. And it has not been used since then. Just, just the only thing I'd add to the bio is I changed more to whore. And that's it. (laughs) And whore. (laughs) Wait, let me read it that way. Actress, musician, businesswoman, philanthropist, mother, and whore. (laughs) I just, just imagine that one of those things that Will does slightly if the divorce ever happens is just like go back through all the accounts he has ownership of and he's like, I'm gonna get you, bitch. <laughs> and then she'll just like, here, honey, here's what you get in the divorce. Here's the papers for the official rights to the channel. And she starts using it and she doesn't fucking notice until it trends on Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, it's sad when your own kids have more subs than you. Like, Jaden's got 3.4 milli. Will uh, Willow's got two point two milli. With Corporate Kai, you know they got a couple mil, and your husband, it, it, of course, has how many? Nearly ten. Like he doesn't have over ten at this point. That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe because he doesn't upload that frequently. You know he is a jobbing YouTuber. <laughs> He's just a struggling young YouTuber trying to make a buck. But yeah, damn. Like she, yeah, she could upload it on YouTube at any time. She could actually be uploading like little. Like little compilation clips and whatever, like, um, and, uh, you know, promos, but she doesn't. It's just sitting there. How She's fucking bad is, how fucking bad is it that Capital, that Captain Marvel's star is more competent at social media work than fucking Jada Pinkett Smith? That's <laughs> her, and like, and Brie Larson, but you know, Brie Larson probably has a per- a guy for that or a person for that. I don't believe she's doing it all herself. I can believe that she has like 
the people help her with setting up the studio and shit. But mm -hmm. after watching the shit that she posts, especially her autistically playing video games, I'm air quoting that really hard. <laughs> I I believe that she just sits down in front of the camera and then everybody's like, okay, Brie, here you go. All right, set mark, everyone. And she just does fucking autisms all over everywhere. And they're like, what the fuck are we watching? <laughs> well, they still got to make her, uh, her thumbnails, write her bios and shit. Uh... Yeah, but I think they dress up her subpar content with a lot of professional looking shit. I just want um, boxy level content, you know? Yeah. I can accept her being fucking cringe, but let her be herself and let her just fucking spurg everywhere. And then it goes onto Twitter and it's like, yes, yes, replace you on head. Yes, yes. <laughs> J oh, wait, Jake the Surgeon, $5 Super Chat, Jada, uh, Loya, what? Is that the new kind of uh, car Will can buy me? <laughs> uh, making sure I'm not missing anybody so far. <laughs> Just brought her Jade said. Very sad. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get back to it. Because I want you to know something. He was not the dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's where we start. That's where we can uh, Will, my husband was not the dude. And so I had to kill a part of myself so he would be the dude. And it has uh, mutated our relationship into this, uh, into this like miserable game of like who can accept the most shit at once. <laughs> the winner is Will, by the, the way. The way I <laughs> ended up with Will, I had to change my whole perspective because yeah. I want you to know something. He was not the dude, <laughs> right? Damn. But I had to change that. I can't ask somebody to be for me what I'm not willing to be for them. And what I realized in my partnership with Will... But, like, yeah, his book says a different thing. <laughs> I like how she went into that just gospel preaching, and then it's like, damn, bitch! Because <laughs> I remember, like, in his... in his... Uh, in Will's um, biography, his memoir, he was talking about how he... he uh, threw this whole party for her, like invited Mary J. Blige and shit and made this whole, oh. like little mini documentary for her. Oh. And she was like, she was oh. like despondent and just dead the whole fucking time. And then finally came out and said, Oh, that was just for you. Like that party was just for you and your ego. Did you your see the ego. interview at the table full of guys and all the other male actors that listen to him explain that? Male actor. Uh, yeah. What? Wait, what? Wait, wait, you mean the like the actors round table thing? Yes. He wasn't explaining that. He was talking about how like um to get women like to get women or to get women to love him or some shit. He wanted to be like the best actor ever. And no, no, there's like, there's like a clip of him and I think it's the exact same table of people, but he was actually another place entirely. No, he was they explaining were... on red table talk, de definitely. Okay. But I but okay. those the, but the yeah, that actor the actors roundtable thing. He was explaining how to get people to love him. I'm gonna be the best actor ever, and he was, like everyone, everybody's face at the table was just fucking sad, like pitying him. It was I couldn't watch that shit. Okay, the memories are in my head. Yeah, I think yeah, you you merged two memories together and like got them kind of mixed up. Was that I was asking him to be a lot of things for me yes, that I yes, wasn't going to do for me. Oh man, I remember her face when she said that shit. I was asking Will to be a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we remember the story about the birthday thing. Yeah, we know. What's happening? You're an, you're an, you're an impossible bitch. We know. And sometimes one person's trauma, like, triggers the other person's trauma, and you get into this circle where no one can listen to each yes. other, and that's something that nobody ever talks about. It's too loud on both sides. Yeah. And that was something that my wife and I dealt with. Right. Right. At the beginning of our relationship and marriage my insecurities triggered hers. Yes. Yeah. And then at that point, it's so easy to leave. Right. Yeah. Because you're like, well, we're clearly not compatible. Right. right. What was it about her that made you want to pursue? But isn't that like the exact definition of incompatibility? 
when your personalities clash completely. Uh -huh. You shouldn't, like, isn't the whole message should be, like, you shouldn't have to change for people? Because people, like, like, like that's good. God, this is awful. <laughs> the better advice to frame it is not so much, A, you should be changing every single bit. It's like, no, you, you don't need to change your entire personality. Just small adjustments. Like, can you take out the trash? And instead of saying, bitch, I ain't going to do that shit. You can say, you know what? I can't do that right now, but I'm going to set a reminder. Siri, remind me in 10 minutes to do the laundry. <laughs> shit like that. I don't know what the fuck these actors are on. Honestly. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it. I think it was us together. Yeah. There was a deep knowing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right? Even when my ego acted up and said I should leave, I couldn't. And I'll be very honest, before we got married, there was a part of me that right before we got married questioned it. Yeah. And I went, am I really ready to settle down? I started calling my friends. I wasn't sure. And my friends were all like, you're being an idiot right now. And they told me the truth. And they said, this is your ego talking. And the second I got past that, I found the knowing again. And I was like, yeah, this is my person. So no matter how painful it was. Oh, I hate that saying. This is my person. Ugh. What are you, a slave owner? <laughs> there was something that told me to just stay mm -hmm. and to just be steady. Even For when some I was of them, going yeah, through it and are. sobbing in my room. Mm. All Wave to the money. Because I want everybody to know that. Like, like you look at Old my Instagram, dick. you see all of us happy, but I'm very, very clear that there is so much more. I'm pretty sure a relationship shouldn't make you like negatively like sob in your room alone. <laughs> that sounds awful. And it really makes me question how your wife is as a person. <laughs> I was sobbing in a room alone. Motherfucker, that should not be normal. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> I mean, these are the same people, like, well, Jada at least says, oh, we, oh, um, I don't believe in marriage. But then Will, Will says some shit like, oh, uh, I, I don't believe in divorce. But then they're talking, but then the person who says, I don't believe in marriage is saying, oh, you should put up, put up with a lot of shit. It's just, yeah, yeah, you want to leave because someone's toxic? That's just your ego talking. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense. It's all over the place. It's all over the fucking place. Uh, Winterfire, $5 Super Chat promos for Barry Season 3 and seeing uh, Elise Fisher dressed as out a dude, all pronouns. Uh, petrified they're going to go so woke we'll lecture a hitman about gender. Um, like, see, yeah, like, the Super Chat is, like, kind of jumbled together, so I didn't get it at first. So, I'm, I'm, what I'm guessing is that season three of Barry has officially gone woke. <laughs> well, I'm glad I don't watch that shit. Anyway, let's get back to it. To marriage, then Ooh. just the smiling yes. photos at the beach and the yes. things that you see. Look, yeah. I'm telling you, there have been several occasions... <laughs> Okay, where you just had enough. Yeah. And you want to leave. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't. Or Will just couldn't. Because we... Well, we know why Will couldn't. <laughs> and we know why you can't. Financially, it just ain't looking good for you. New. This is what right. is meant to be. This yeah. partnership, no matter what the form it is, you know, because we've had to redefine it, reform mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. you Changes. know, change it. We don't call ourselves married anymore. We're in a life partnership. I'm just kidding. Did you see that in your parents? I... But you're legally married, though. That's not... <laughs> Why are you... Fr <laughs> Why are you... Fr because, like, when he decides to divorce you, that life partnership shit... Not... Yeah, it's not gonna be a thing. <laughs> it's not gonna be a thing. Because, yeah, that, that, that prenup shit, suddenly y'all you're gonna be married all over... Like, uh, yeah, ugh. <laughs> that life partnership ain't gonna fly with you once it's co it comes time to split up his fucking... His fortune. So get the fuck out of here with that life partner shit. I only only reason you only reason you could talk that shit is because you are comfortable enough to do so. It's gonna be like a chatter aside where the fucking wireframe comes up when she tries to call him in bed, and it's like, Will, how you doing? He's like, Jay, what the fuck are you doing on the phone? Like, I, I I miss you. Like, you want to watch some of my old films? Like, bitch, you only got five of them. Like. <laughs> And I'm not watching Matrix Resurrections again. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, anyway, a 
unless Carl, like, like, did you cut off again or? No, I'm using push to talk. Why are you using push to talk? Why not just use the one that detects your voice? Because chat bully. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, well, let's get back to it. This shit. It definitely did. One hundred percent. That's gotta and, be. Mm -hmm. You know, change it. We don't call ourselves married anymore. We're in a life partnership. I'm just kidding. Did you see that in your parents? I I definitely did. One hundred percent. Did you see that in your parents? Uh, uh, yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> yeah, I've, considering that letter she wrote to Tupac, I'm sure she's seen a lot, a hell of a lot, a little bit more than she should have at a very young age. That wasn't prompted. That was that was Willow actually getting a moment to say, "Yeah, I see this shit." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen how my mama gets. This bitch is fucked up. <laughs> yep. Percent. That's gotta and... be why you're so. Because she's usually a talker. She don't know when to shut. She's always like trying to chime in and shit. And this is, and this is the only time where she's been like a little a little apprehensive and a little like awkward. Like, yep. Uh huh. <laughs> she I mean, didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> This is all she gets to do professionally. She can't fuck it up. <laughs> she say the wrong thing and be like, "Bitch, get in your room. You're grounded. No, yeah. no red table talks to you until the rest of March." But mom, I don't want to hear no mom shit, bitch. Better get in there before I make you go do a fucking sibling film with your brother. <laughs> what you are? I mean, grounded. I would just be in the room while they were debating about whatever it is about the world or their emotions or the environment or politics or whatever it was. And I would just always be there watching them and how they talked to each other, watching how they agreed to disagree. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> at the end, it's like, you know what that means? You know what? We're not right or wrong. And I allow That's you why Jaden is so dumb about politics. <laughs> We're not right or wrong. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And also, that's not really a sign of maturity, if you think about it. It's just like, look, I'm not trying to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm not. Try I'm not trying to look. I'm not trying to have this fucking. Camera. I'm not trying to argue with you. G agree to disagree. All right. All right. <laughs> like, you know. Sometimes where it's like, yeah. There's sometimes where that's fine. But then there are other times where it's just like, yeah, you just don't want to argue with the motherfucker. Like, yeah, agree to disagree. Whatever. It's gonna go on forever. <laughs> You know what would be really good if, if they had him here on this episode? They should have brought fucking Jaden in. Like, as a guest star. Occasionally, whenever they had the men on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder what his opinions would have been here. I got a couple episodes with him in it, so, you know. That's coming up. Growing up Smith and... And becoming Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like, this is like th I think three of, out of, three out of the whole... A whole stack that uh, Jaden's gonna be in. Your mm. opinion. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like watching that over and over again just kind of solidified this idea of like, it's really not about right and wrong, it's about understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once. That doesn't mean they understand each other, especially when you say agree to disagree. <laughs> you understand somebody. If it did anything, it solidified in her mind. You know what? I don't wanna be like my mama. Maybe I don't have a music career, but you know what? I want a man or a woman who loves me. True. <laughs> Feeling and what their view is. Mm. Exactly. You can move on with more ease. Mm -hmm. Preach, Because well you up. have that understanding. <laughs> sure, sure. But those are the steps towards love. Yeah. Those are the steps towards really building love. Like, and it's so freaking difficult and so freaking excruciating I and sometimes you think it's not love yep but it is if you watch this back it all sounds so painful <laughs> so <laughs> if he's not lying if you watch this back this sounds so painful <laughs> how do you think we feel True. Like Wally? <laughs> oh boy it sounds so painful. Every time. I was like, thinking about listen, that. Listen, 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 listen. I don't want to see this movie, bro. <laughs> I get it. But I'm I get happy. it. I, I just think it. that okay. love is supposed to be like this big, like, okay, I understand you and I me. You're you're my balance. You're my you're my anchor. You're my all the things that you say at the at the altar. Why can't that be the one entity that is bringing you joy? It should uh, bring and, you and joy. It doesn't mean that you don't have to work to get it. I'm scared now. How the fuck? 
whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wale's onto some shit, and maybe there is some truth in what the women are saying. Mm-hmm. But it's like, the the thing is, is that what he's describing is the honeymoon phase. He's describing the honeymoon phase of a relationship. It's like, ah, oh, man, I love her. She loves me. We fucking every single Tuesday and twice on Sunday. And then it's like, you get into the nesting phase. Not before you have kids or after or during. It's the, honey, where are my shoes? It's over by the, where you left them with your garden shoes in the other room. I thought I left them in the other room. No, you left them here. It's when you start being like, you know, I never looked at you from this angle with the sunlight in your hair. But that dress on you from this angle is fucking ugly. We're going to get you another one. Let's go to Torb right now, bitch. <laughs> so you should live with someone first for a little while before the whole marriage thing. So you can feel, at least get a test drive of what it feels like. One to two years. Yep. All right, let's get back to it. Biggest question right, then, right now. Is it worth it? It's worth it. Is it worth it? It's absolutely worth it. <laughs> it's, I think Jada might change her opinion in, a, in, in maybe a year from now. I don't know. We'll see. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Because at the end of the day, to know that you have I another want, person <laughs> like, that can to. love you for all that you are. Mm-hmm. Will has loved me through the worst of myself. We know. <laughs> we know. And Willow's like, yeah, yep. <laughs> Once a kid, she got, she didn't say it, but she got that yup in her eyes. Like, yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> Both them cheeks tucked in, that lip curled back, her head's like. <sighs> and I'm like, just because someone, like, that doesn't mean that's love. If people can love you through, you know, cheating and manipulation and toxic behavior. That doesn't mean that's love. It means it's codependence. I think you mistake that for love, Jada. Considering all your issues. Like, what kills me is that I feel like when they start to talk about this on the Red Table Talk, she's going to talk shit about everyone. Everyone thinks it's their business. Everyone all up in our business. Like, motherfucker, you put this shit out here. Publicly for free. (laughs) And no one asked for it. You could keep your fucking privacy, but you don't. You choose not to. It's so like, now everyone's... No, I'm go sorry. ahead. It's like, there's some people that are like coping for her saying, no, it's not her fault. It's all Cena's fault. Bitch, you, you set up a contract room, right? You said, I'm fuck you. Will's gonna watch. This is the custom that we're working. Okay, that's fine. Um, why was Alcina hugging up on other fucking women at all these events, whispering up in their ear like he's a fucking dark skinned and shit? Because I've seen the fucking interviews where he just shows up behind people like Tiffany Haddish and she's like, oh my God, I can't stand this man. And I'm like, yeah, I can see how Jada ended up fucking him. I, I can see it now. I see it. Mm-hmm. He's doing dark skinned and shit. But then you're here and I can see the anger in your daughter's eyes. <laughs> see this shit? It's like, I don't believe you. Your own daughter doesn't believe you. You're full of shit, (laughs) Tom. So it's like, if she ever says people just in our business, like, no, bitch, they are watching the train wreck. This is the best acting career you've ever had in your life. Yeah, and what the fuck was I going to say? I was going to say, um... Plus, like, y- 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 your daughter wrote a whole ass letter to Tupac, okay? She knows you're full of shit. <laughs> she, not to, she, she didn't write a fucking letter to Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Jesus. <laughs> she wrote a letter to, to your ex-fling. <laughs> because you are, you're so miserable that your daughter knows you lusted after another nigga. How do you Wait. do that? It's like she wrote the letter to Tupac and then she wrote a letter to Jesus saying, please, Jesus, bring back Tupac so that Shakur can clap her out for three months because my dad is about to wring her wrangly ratchet neck. Love, love. Wrangly ratchet neck. (laughs) Jesus. But like kids, like like kids can pick up on energies and shit. They they know when the, a parent is miserable. But like the fact that she knows in like who the guy is that her mother is lusting after and like yearning for at night is that oh fuck. 
That means Jade had been open with her bullshit, with her with her uh her dirt since they were little children. Which is just like, what the fuck are you Your kids should not know that shit. They should know that shit. Cause you're gonna, <laughs> color, you're gonna color their image of their own father. Like what the fuck? Yeah. I can just imagine that she just has a fucking parody tape at night that was made by somebody who could do a really good voice vocal impression of um Shakur. And mm-hmm. it just starts playing. She gets out the vibrator. Of course, large bad dragon. Because well, she can't have it any other way. And it, all she just fucking hears from the other room when she hears this come on is Willow puts the fucking music on, but it's too much. And I just hear the big woman, Come in, B! Hail Mary! It's DC! <laughs> Come with me. In- <laughs> I, I got a really big seed. <laughs> Give me five minutes. I can come up with some actual lyrics. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to clap your cheeks now. Um, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> I'm gonna plant this seed deep in your womb land. You're gonna come tonight, all day long, and do it right. <laughs> oh, she really shaved her head because she wanted to look like Tupac. Let's be real. That's what, that's the real reason. She, she really wants. She wanted to look like his ass. Anyway, let's 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 get on with it. And I have done the same. When somebody can love you in that way, it makes your faith in the world come together in the way of which is like, I am, this is, and all is well. And it, it's for me, it sounds like narcissism, like pure narcissism. Like, oh, oh this person loves me. Well, yeah, this person loves me no matter like what. Like, yeah, because they're feel, they're feeding your fucking ego. That's what it is. Oh, well, that reminds me of something I wanted to say that I saw in chat. Um, I can't really fucking remember what it is, but um. I can't, well, I can't remember the person who said it, but it was them saying this, and then someone in chat said that it sounded like they were talking about them as a breed, like Will being a dog, and like, that's the other fucking thing. The way that Jada talks about relationships with men is she talks about them like they are pets, mm-hmm. and this is probably the most dangerous thing that I've heard and seen celebrities do. Realistically, any woman and man can do this, but it's a really fucked up mindset when celebrities do this. Because with normal people, you just get in a relationship and it's like, oh man, he's so cute. He's so wonderful. I can depend on him. He's a golden Labrador. He's a, he's a golden retriever. He's a pug. He, he's, 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 a, he's an Siberian husky. You know? You just imagine all the different celebrities that are these different breeds of pets. Who fucking knows what Ryan Reynolds is? What fucking gold beagle mix? But then, when you're talking about celebrities, you're talking about people who will do shit because they feel like it. Like, one day she felt like fucking Alcina. I don't know how you fall into a relationship with your son's best friend, or let alone how you try to help his mental health, and all of a sudden, now you're just feeling the dog in him. Um, But it's fucked up when you hear her say shit like this, because this was before this even came out. When was this exact one? Like, in February? Like, middle February? February 25th, 2019. Like, this episode, right? Yeah, 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 that's about that's about right before the full come out of the entanglements happened because this is when the rumors mill started, when Alcina couldn't shut his fucking mouth. Um, when celebrities start talking about relationships like they're pets, you see this weird twinkle in their eye where they're basically, it's like savoring a piece of candy and you're comparing the taste to other kind of candies in your head. Like if you've ever had Skittles and you're comparing them to other hard candies or you had fucking things like... um. Twizzlers and you compare them to Red Vines. The way that she talks about her relationship with past boyfriends and more importantly with Shakur is the way Mm -hmm. that somebody would compare like fine wines or in this case dogs. And she would rather have like a really gruff fucking pit bull of a boyfriend like uh, DMX or Shakur, compared to the happy, friendly, golden retriever, does everything, is your fucking breadwinner, cash cow, fucking golden retriever husband, because it's easier for her, and when she gets bored, cut him off. Like, the moment that Will doesn't do something she wants, 
the switch goes off in her head, and she's like, leave, leave, Will. I said, leave, Will. Go to your room, Will. And then she calls up another dog. She looks but, for another yeah. relationship. Yeah, but, like, Will Smith is, he's not a, like, he's one of those motherfuckers who's not going to leave because he doesn't believe in divorce. Very codependent. He's going to do whatever the fuck he wants that, that he needs to do to make her happy because he's that, he's, yeah, he's, he's that motherfucker. Yeah, he's a he's a very emotionally attached dog, and yeah. the fucked up thing about it is that normally when this happens, most women will just oh this one's broken, toss him out on his ass, get a new one, and then when he's out there screaming "Don't leave, don't leave me, girl," she's looking out the window like, "Can you go get that nigga? I'm tired of seeing him out there." She can't do that here because he makes money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's get back to it. So to answer the Trappist the one, yes, she is definitely Omni-Man. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get back to it. Seven years old, and I want you to know that this is probably the first year of my life that I can say I am happy. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. The first year of my life, the whole fucking time while I was with Will, I was not happy. It was basically what she was implying. That's... And your daughter's sitting right there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is painful. Mm. Because that's how long the journey's been. So if that journey isn't is too bumpy for some people. I get it. Let me tell you, that's real talk. Yeah. But here's the one thing I want it's you to see, too. Talk. <laughs> you are learning how to love. When you think about all that conflict that you have within your spirit, it's almost like being in kindergarten of love. Mm -hmm. And you want to get to like a PhD? It's like climbing a mountain. It's like do, How the fuck would you do the work and it? then you see the beauty. Yeah, yeah. please hear that. That's a, that was crazy. Yeah, thank you for climbing that. mountains, see thank the beauty. Wow. I want to thank you guys for this conversation. Yeah. This was one of the most interesting red tables <laughs> yeah, I've ever been to. <laughs> it's like almost going to see a shrink on camera. Hi, five. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> She is not qualified to help you with anything. <sighs> all right, all right. Let's go to the grandma fingering episode. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Grandma scene. fingering. <laughs> all right, I'm going to link you this one. Damn it. How old is Willow right now? Is she in her 20s? So, yeah, she's knows. like 21 now. Let's lower that because it needs to be lower. This episode. Someone's got to uh, stick a pen in. Oh, I'm holding. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, my baby. Um, someone just needs to stick a pen in Willow's like dating life. Not like keep up with her love life and who she's looking at, but like just 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 keep an eye on her. You know, like keep an eye on her and her brother, and we're gonna figure out in like close to five to ten years which one of them comes out healthy from this. Uh, household. And whichever one comes out healthier, it's probably going to be Willow. Whichever one comes out healthier <laughs> needs to immediately, like, change their family name and just disassociate from the rest of them as a whole. Once Will comes back around, you know, once he's blown his load like maybe 50 million times in his uh, Tupac, which people should know who his Tupac is. It's very obvious who his Tupac is. Um, once he's coming around, you know, he's gotten the he's gotten the, the the identification out of his system, and he's fully come around to just being a normal dude again. They can be able to have their own version, maybe make it blue table talk or black table talk, and <laughs> just let her host that shit and just rag on her fucking mother. Free content. Okay. Awkward 101, five dollar super chat. Jay and Carl are enough to make me reconsider these noose-like feelings. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. Chat says they're an echo again. What? There can't be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the audio has not changed since I fixed it. I didn't do anything. Yeah, ain't no echo. Ain't no echo, niggas. Yeah, there's no echo. Some people just like, like I will, because I've always had this problem too. I've had like bum ass computers with bad audio, and I always thought it was the person on the other side with the bad audio when it was really me. 
Um, that supplies to so many things, guys. You don't know. <laughs> Grand Carl, dark fa- who? Uh, Carl, oh, yeah. who is Will's Tupac? Harley Quinn actress. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, Grand Dark Fang, two dollar super chat. Carl, who is Will's Tupac? Oh wait, he already read that shit. <laughs> Okay, let I've me got read it. this. Re- let re- me read the super chats. Okay, woman, well read it. Yeah. Oh, let's okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, count down. So... Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I already, I was already playing it, but let, hold on. Let's let me go back. All right, countdown. You're at zero, right? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. So, Gam, you know, this episode is our sex episode. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) I think that people still have a very difficult time talking about sex, especially women. Talking about that on camera? Like, and certainly you're not going to have Willow on this show. Yes, I am. Ma, that's the whole point. (laughs) I did not want... (laughs) She's her mom looked terrified. I I have a feeling that the grandmother, well, not the grandma, but like uh, Jaden's mom is not as bad as the other two. Not as bad. Like, but still kind of bad, but not as bad. <laughs> like, we're, if we're going by consideration, eh, teaching your daughter about self pleasuring, extreme I mean, at 10,000, but everywhere else, couldn't be as bad. Yeah. To have shame of any kind. She needs to be at that table to hear it all. Good Lord have mercy. You're... You could do it in private like normal people. <laughs> that's always, that's also an option. Motherfucker. You're trying to kill me here. You know, when you can talk also, to you. Also, do you notice how fucking horrible the idea of she had alopecia is? Looking at all these hairstyles, she's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's so full of shit. Yeah. Uh, you saw that video of that uh, the alopecia doctor who was debunking huh? her bullshit. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was bullshit before anything came out. It's like, oh, bitch, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not how alopecia works. Remember, yeah. remember, Jane, my mother's a doctor. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> she was she was pointing to this line on her fore, on her head, and I'm like, bitch, hair doesn't fall out that way. Jesus did not snort a line of your follicles. <laughs> that's not how that works. It comes out in patches, not a line. It's like every single guy that has ever had a circumcision against his will saying, no, 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 my dick's not little. I've got dick gigantorsen. It's a, it's a mixture of dwarfism. And, you know, it's, it's it's okay. It's like, it's fine that I'm missing extra inches. I haven't got the surgery to make them all slide out my butthole. It's weird. <laughs> okay, Grang, uh, Grang, Grand Dark Fang, $5 Super Chat. By Allah's great light, the next person to say Gussie in the chat will be so alive. Who the fuck is saying that? Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean Gussie. exactly? Grandmother pussy. Oh, God. Should it be grussy then? It do- It's not as funny. Like, grussy sounds like a fucking disgusting pit stop meal. One order up for a table full of grussy it's, and some it, pickles it, on the side. It's disgusting regardless. I don't want to hear, like, think about no grandmother pussy. Like, it's, it's disgusting either way. Hey, JL, does Carl have... Does Carl got re <laughs> What? What? I don't know fucking... <laughs> what made you... What prompted that question? <laughs> He's got re Oh, okay. In terms of fake disorders. <laughs> we all know that I'm a white man in a black man's body. Zigzag, you brought up Jay. Who the fuck brought up? And did nobody bring up no grandmother pussy? That was y'all in chat, and I have oh, y'all. Idiots. That was y'all. Y'all even can't even blame that shit on me. Jesus. All right, let's get back to this shit. I want to, cause this. Ugh. I want to get this through this as quickly as possible. This gross ass shit. That's exactly what Jada said to Will. Mother. <laughs> Every single time she was getting pregnant. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, Will was was the one who vomited. 
Yeah, that was documented. Uh, did you hear about that? Like uh, Will Smith, he he threw up during sex with Jada. <laughs> That's was true. This before, before the cuckening. This was before the cuckening. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's what, like, the process of them breaking up, that was part of it, I think? It was before they went off to find each other, or whatever the fuck. But yeah, he vomited during sex with her, he gagged during sex with her. Wow. I'm just, you know I'm just were... hoping, I'm hoping oh, that it wasn't like he vomited, like he was trying to put the tip in, it's like, oh god, <laughs> What was the woman's party? <laughs> Did he prepare me for this dream? It's more like she's just shoved his head into her crotch and he just got a full whiff because her pH balance was off. <laughs> like, oh shit! Oh god, it's like rotten halibut got found! <laughs> She said it was like, see, that's why I asked don't get this shit as much as possible. You can't even do this shit to me. Dang his eyes are watering. His eyes are watering and shit like a fucking bitch. It's like a steam room with dead catfish. Oh. Uh, it's like, going, it's going, we're delaying too much. It's like a trout's underarm. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Uh, ex- uh, Xander Dawson, $5 super chat. So which family of harpies is worse? Kardashians or the Pinkets? Also, thanks for the nice comment on my Twitter today. Jay, oh, you're welcome. Right, right. I was the one, like, you were the one I complimented on uh, your gym photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, thank you and you're welcome. <laughs> Chelsea Druin, uh, $2 super chat. Gussie, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little reverse psychology. Do not send me fifty dollars with the word "grussy" <laughs> in the super chat. Don't do it. I would really hate that. <laughs> I would really hate it. To answer the question, who's worst? Kardashians by far. Like collectively, yeah. the problem with the the problem with the Smith Plinkets, Smith. Fuck, I don't even care about her goddamn last name. Sting! The problem with the Smith Plinkets... <laughs> the problem with the Smith Plinkets is not the family itself. Like, jaden has got some shit going on. He just needs to get the slap. He just needs to get fucking slapped, like, one good time. Possibly by his sister. Because apparently, Willow's the only fucking normal one in the family. And Willow's problem is that he's just been fucking pussy whipped for too many years. <laughs> all of the problems. <laughs> all of the problems come from Jada. Someone in chat was like, just, just, it, just, everything I was thinking, they said in the chat. Uh, Jada's father is Mr. Plinkett from Red Letter Media. <laughs> like, that would, be, like, that would actually explain a lot. <laughs> Fucking Will Smith's a pansy. He only bought me one pair of shoes. The fuck? <sighs> yeah, that sucked. But you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, they would explain a lot of her dysfunction. All right, l- l- let's get back to it. Let's just let's just get back to it. I want to get like I want to get through this as quickly as possible. We're only like a 41 seconds in. Has been through a whole lot in regards to sex. I wouldn't say I'm a connoisseur, but I'm 47, so. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a connoisseur of dick, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch, it ain't the age that we know that we understand your sexual prowess. It's not the age. It's the volume. I'm not even going to tell the story to chat because nobody needs to know that story without prompting. But I can just tell you right now, bitch, you being 47 ain't got shit to do with you knowing sex. <laughs> it just doesn't. I'm sorry. Like, the professional level of things, where you're like, I know so much about it. It's like, maybe maybe biomechanics? Maybe you understand how your body works? But, like, sexual emotion, arousal, all that shit, the dating scene? No, you don't know fuck. You don't know fuck. They certainly weren't talking about it back in the 70s and 80s. They never wanted to talk about it in the 90s. <laughs> fuck you lying to. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a connoisseur of dick, but yeah, I'm, I'm a dick carousel through and through. In my soul. <laughs> it's a dick carousel. My nickname back in high school was Super Friend. No, it was Suckmouth. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, oh, right. I th- I th- that's another movie of hers I actually liked. Uh, Low Down Dirty Shame. That's the one I was. That's the one I was trying to remember. I just now thought of it. But yeah, she hasn't been in that many good movies. <laughs> All right, let's go. Enough said. So you good? I'm gonna pray on it. I'm gonna pray on it. <laughs> God help us all. <laughs> God will not help you dry and Sahara. And lenses clear frame and let's clear back, please. There they are. Mm-hmm. Guys, we're at the table. And today we are at the red Bro. table to talk about. I'm pretending like you didn't just call me like two hours ago saying we had to film a fucking another one of these things. Bro, a table. <laughs> John Doe, the average Joe, 199 Super Chat. She also voiced Gloria, the hippo from Madagascar. Oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> Nobody except the fat chasers cared about Gloria. <laughs> okay, Grand Dark Fang, five dollars super chat, plinket voice. After Earth was the greatest disappointment since my son, who who was the greatest disappointment since Will Smith. <laughs> Sex. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind that. That was perverse. They are. <laughs> Guys, we're at the table. And today, we are at the red table to talk about sex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such creepy children. Whose daughter is this? Apparently, it's Willow's friends, but I don't think she's famous. I think she's just... Friends. Yeah. Friend. Just part of the, just part of their rich little clique or whatever. So taboo, yes, right? Yeah. Isn't it People actual like, oh, family friend or is, you know, it's it? like that friend that you have when you're going through boarding school. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think they explain the relationship a little bit. Mm. It's appropriate. If is it life? Yeah, is it life? Then yeah. If I have to sit up here and tell her how she has to be careful in these streets because of all the harms that may come to her because she's Can't a leave young out the woman. Good stuff. I'm right. damn sure not leaving out the good stuff. And I feel like a lot of yeah. people make that mistake of only telling their girls it's scary out there. Absolutely. And that you stuff better be safe. Don't leave out the good stuff. They don't want to tell us shit that really your scared. entire life. You I want people just to say, yes, minute. honey, you can go out there in the streets. You can be a whore all the fuck you want. Get that <laughs> penis. Get that dude. It, to just explain oh, to everybody so that Talana best. is one of Willow's very close. Actually, my best friend. Do you guys yeah. talk openly about sex, Willow? Do oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we get a little too open sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We like go whatever. a little. <laughs> the worst part about the worst part about this is that this one is older than the one we just watched. So looking at this again, who are you fucking? Who? <laughs> like, she was like eighteen. In this, uh, in the, in this. Like, I can believe some Tiger Bop, some JB, some 17 again levels of, oh man, this, this the, the, you know, all these male actors are surrounded with, I, I wouldn't be able to handle myself, girl. But who are you talking to about carnal pleasure, Jay? <laughs> who are you talking to at that age where you have no experience? And you're just like, yes. I would grab his fucking ankles, girl. I would grab his fucking ankles and ride him like a rodeo. Hot tie. Who the fuck are you doing this with? <laughs> Nobody. <sighs> but this is the Smith house, keep in mind. They're so open with everything. They're, they're one with nature and the earth. <laughs> This place. Yeah. The question. They yeah. have protect each policy. other. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, what hairstyles for your vagina do you enjoy? <laughs> that was the latest. That one. was the latest one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hairstyles for your vagina. Okay. Hairstyles for your vagina. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you just, like Willow just pulls down her pants and just like dreads between her legs? Just as, long as the ones, just as long as the ones on her head. I fucking seen from Scary Movie at the fucking beauty pageant. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Got the Rick James special. <laughs> Between your legs. 
right, let's go. I want to play vagina <laughs> hairstyles. You, really? you can get creative yeah. with vagina hairstyles. Yeah. Oh, Jay, I'm corrupting your chat. They didn't know what I meant Jamie, when I said grab his ankles. About, like, with your friends? No? Nope. I'm trying to think. I don't think I talk to my friends openly about sex like that. Why do you think that is? We just didn't have all the information you guys had. Right. Like, I know that a lot of young boys and young girls are learning about sex through pornography online, on social media, she right? Was that not your introduction to sex? To her friends about sex. I don't mm, buy it. My introduction to sex was obviously her walking grandmother? in on you and daddy. That was the first introduction. What the sex. hell did what you walk in on us? It was in Utah, that one, no, not Utah, Aspen. I think it was an aspen. aspen. I was going downstairs to get some juice and I saw for a little moment and I ran away. I was like, oh my God, this is so crazy what I just see. And then, and then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this. No, it, it was, wasn't like right. I was seeing everything. Right. It was the room, it was dark. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was silhouetted. That was your introduction. So what was your feeling about that? Oh, like I just overstepped Horror. the boundary. D disgust. <laughs> I don't want to see my fucking parents plowing into each other, okay? Christopher Azin, $2 super chat. She whips her hair back and forth. Ugh. Jesus Christ. How did you feel about watching your father plow into me? Into my tiny, frail body? <laughs> you have to understand how small Jada Pickett Smith is. She's a very tiny woman. <laughs> <sighs> it's funny. Trying like, to... like trying to like imagine a Great Dane fucking a Chihuahua. <laughs> I'm trying to I find your voice. I'm trying to find the words and I can't find them. <laughs> right, well, let's continue. Let's keep trekking on through this shit. God damn it. Something I wasn't supposed to be there. Right. It was like if I walked in on you meditating. Right. When mommy's meditating, don't get in her business. You know what I'm saying? I wish Gammy knew that. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm meditating. I meditate too much. <laughs> Would you guys feel uncomfortable talking to your fathers about sex? Whenever I talk to dad about it, it's always an intellectual debate. It's always like about like, okay, so speaking of the degradation of females in the past, you know, how do you believe that that trickles into your experience. You did it. And it's all, and it's, it's very, it's very serious, but it's not emotional. Right. It's a very you intellectual know? perspective yeah. of it all. And I, like, why the fuck would he get uh, like emotional about sex with his old daughter? Like, uh, like grown 50 year old man, you know, teenage like, girl. Like, it's not gonna mesh. Like, you're not gonna get each other. Like, for, like, especially not a fucking grown ass man. Like, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> like, okay, so let let, let's very big banner over that entire idea, all right? So the the entire idea is you talk to have you ever talked to your dad about sex the way that we talked about it with you? And there should be a red light that goes over the head of every single person listening. That's like if your father ever just hits you up and says, "Hey, sport, you want to suck some dick lately?" That's <laughs> not some moves. You've been putting out them ham chops. We've been hitting with them. them chips. You want some tips? You want some tricks? You, 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 want, you want some techniques? I can show you something that your mom did last night. It's called the Super Soaker Cock Cock 9000 Conversion Combo. It's some weird shit. Involves coconut oil. It's great. But in fact, let me go grab this shit right now. If this ever happens between you and your parents, I want you to go to your kitchen, grab a knife, and you tell them that you were justified. <laughs> <laughs> Not just legally justified, justified on ethics, starring Timothy Olympian. <laughs> Matter of fact, just call him up. Just call him. Just call him Timothy Olympian and be like, "I need you to get in the costume for Hitman. My dad is scaring me." All right. <laughs> All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. I feel like the stuff of life is meant to be lived, not analyzed. Mm. You know. <laughs> I felt curious, <laughs> but it's not it. emotional. Right. It's a very you know? intellectual perspective yeah. of it all. And I feel like the stuff of life is meant to be lived, not analyzed. Mm. You know? <laughs> You're fucking 18. You're barely an adult. The fuck? Life is meant to be lived, not analyzed. I I admired the scope of his, uh, his, oh my God, what was it again? His, uh, his music, mu musicianship.
<laughs> so many dumbass quotes from this girl. I felt like my dad wasn't okay with. She could be a shit poster in real life. Yeah. Me having she a sexuality. She could be hacking it up on Twitter with us. She just like her fucking brother, just saying this dumb shit. That doesn't mean anything. Right. <laughs> right. Well, most. Most, Most fathers, fathers are, not. are not. It's definitely easier to talk with like the same sex, the same sex. parent. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think Will had a conversation with with Jaden about sex? About sex and Trey? I'm almost <laughs> sure that that he did. He probably said, um, "Yeah, get it, boys. <laughs> Go out there and get <laughs> you some." <laughs> did you talk to Jaden and Trey about sex? I did. How about I knew when they both lost their virginity? Did you now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love how the mother was like, did you now? Did you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure knew- that there's no, I'm pretty ahead. sure I'm pretty sure any mother just randomly hits up their son and says to them, You've been fucking and he's gonna just look over her like should I, should I lie? I think I should lie. Because you don't know the context for what, why she's asking. Right. Like, if, if your mother asks a daughter, have you been fucking? Usually there's only two contexts. One, someone told her something. Or two, she suspects that you are pregnant. Those are really the only two contexts that could ever exist. Because unless you have a really good friendship with your mother, there's no way this conversation ever comes up naturally. With a male, the only way you could be having that conversation is three ways. One, your mother burst it on you, beating your fucking meat to death. Because there's just the day that you look down and realized, I have a dick. What does this do? And then there's the second one, which is she's changing your laundry, right? Or she comes to collect your laundry. And she's like, baby, can you give me your clothes so I can put them in the washer? And you're like, no, 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 I got it. No, I got this one. No, 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 mama, I got it. 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 And she's like, well, what's the problem? What's the big deal? Dad already knows because dad already knows what it felt like. He grew up with the fucking tube socks. So he's looking at his son. He's like, I'm going to talk to him. And so he goes, I'm going to like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let him do that. Let him do that. Let him do that. He got it. He got it. And then. There's the other one, which is when he suspects, like, he's, he's self-confident, he's got swagger in his step, and he usually is like, oh, who you been fucking? Hmm? You, you been having sex? You think you're a man? Those are the only three contexts that comes up. And that's with celebrities or with normal children. I don't okay. think there's ever going to be a time where it's not going to be that. And again, same thing before, red lights, call, call someone. In this case, call Brooke Shields. Have to show up at the house. Don't even give her context. She's like, my mom's touching me. Bam! Over the head. Solve it. Okay, so let's 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 find out what reason, she, what how she found this house. I'm sure it won't be weird. Yeah. I sure did. My intuition. <laughs> I knew the night, the ni- the night. <laughs> how did you know the nights? How? <laughs> Jaden lost his virginity. Damn. And I had a moment with Trey. <laughs> Will was like, "Damn, we're so fucked up." <laughs> in the kitchen where I looked at him and I was like, you've had sex. And he ran into the bathroom. He did? <laughs> yes. And he was like, fine, yes, I've had sex. Wait, why did he run into the bathroom? He was embarrassed. Oh, oh, yeah. I... Oh, yeah, your mother's just bringing up you fucking nothing. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Let me see this super chat. Not applicable, $2 super chat. Her hoo-ha has a do-rag. And also your mic is low. It's not low, though. Unless it's going in and out again, which I can't necessarily control at the moment. Maybe yeah, it's not I low, can tell. Like other people, huh? I can't tell. Yeah, like other people aren't complaining. I don't know. I knew the night he made that nut. <laughs> the night. Uh, let's get back to it. <laughs> he was embarrassed. I was like, you don't have to be embarrassed, but he was so embarrassed. <laughs> Just the energy of them that made you know that they had sex. Yeah, it was it was like a new their innocence was gone. Damn. Gone. I can <laughs> Damn. Always tell with some of your friends too. Yeah. With some of your fr- uh oh. <laughs> I can always tell with some of 
I saw with some of your friends been fucking too. Which is a very strange thing to say. Especially considering that you fucked one of your children's friends. <laughs> what the fuck? No, don't say that. You scamming on their fucking fr Well, we already know you scamming on their friends. Like, we know that. We know. And here we thought it was just the men. Jesus What if she Christ. was looking at the girls? What if she was looking at the girls? Jeez! Damn. <laughs> the clams! <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucking weird. Uh, let's get let's do it. Let's get I'm like, it. ooh, something happened. You said, oh, no, 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 no. But I can always tell, like, you can just see the maturity. Yeah. I remember my... First sexual experience was amazing. I wouldn't say amazing, like, oh, <laughs> you know, but like, I remember Gammy saying to me, oh, I wish I could be there to hold your hand. That's going to be terrible. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's roll. Oh, let me, let me get the super chat and uh, why not? Uh, Dread Emperor 1999 super chat. I love your channel, OG. Keep it juicy. Thank you. Uh, I wish I could have been there to hold your hand while you're getting plowed, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird that's mormon that weird so weird oh let's, let's let's hear that again let's make sure it's what i heard i wouldn't say amazing like oh <laughs> you know but like i remember gammy saying to me oh i wish i could be there to hold your hand that's gonna be terrible Ooh. yeah <laughs> yep that's exactly what we heard god damn it I feel like we need to pull chat really quick because like we need to establish this so that we're not crazy or at least I'm not crazy whore here moonflower viewing is just like red flag <laughs> red rose spark it's rewind time uh. <laughs> jboy 111.23 plus sex doesn't equal mature true that I was gonna say something but then I was like eh, let's move on <laughs> Right, so I guess she's a cook. I guess she's a cuck too and for her daughter. <laughs> terrifying, 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 terrifying thought. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to pull the chat like really quick in the chat. So we're gonna go by a poll of ones and twos, okay? Put a one in the chat if you can remember your parents pulling you aside for conversations like this. And put a two in the chat if it took like years or months for your parents to even realize, oh, my, my son and daughter, they've done the nasty. Wait, 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 why don't you, like, there's a poll thing that you could tell people, it's a straw poll, and you can tell people to like, like set it up and then ask people the question you were going to ask. And then like put the link in, the, put the link in the chat. This method's faster. No, it isn't. It's, it's oh, God damn it. But see, now people go ahead and just nothing but ones and twos in the chat. Just get this. Just put out the, just like make a poll, and then like share it with the share it with the chat. This I think that's easier because then you can just read everything right there. You don't have to count. All right, all right, fuck, fuck, fuck shit. All right, Carl is going to provide a poll because this is just fucking tedious <laughs> and it's spammy. Like and plus, how are you gonna count up this shit? Like you, you won't be able to. Billy, to just pull the chat so that people can be able to be like, yes, you, you, you're like, hmm, damn, fuck, shit, damn, who, fuck, John, because there's John, gonna be somebody with a five or a three out there that had a completely different experience than the rest of us. Uh, Everybody John, needs like that visual confirmation. Then just fuck it. <laughs> then just say. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, woman. Like, doing John it. Smith says Carl J is right, and you're wrong. <laughs> I humbly disagree. <laughs> All right, Carl is about to, he's he's gonna put it in chat like the the uh, the the, uh, the poll. But isn't there wait? Isn't there a way you could put like an automatic poll? Hold on a second. I could have swore there's a way you could do that in chat already. Probably from your end. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to find. Uh, I don't see it on my end. At least not. I probably might have to do it on desktop. Damn it. But I don't want to go to desktop.
Yeah, just set it up. And I'll like, I'll pin it for the chat if I can, because I, I don't know if I can interact with this shit. And tell me when you put it in. Because who knows, I could like miss it. Jay Longbone add a shut up Carl option. <laughs> she wishes she could. No, I can add a shut up Carl option <laughs> very easily. I am joshing with you, me. I know. This is my feelings. All right, I'm going to link it to you, and then I'm going to drop it in chat, and you can link it in chat for the people who miss it. All right. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I got to go to desktop. Oh, hang on a sec. Red table cringe at Subway. Oh, it's gonna be some fucking shit. It's gonna slow down my connection. Cause for some reason YouTube is just like just eats my shit. Are you using Chrome? No, it's the same no? one. Oh, okay. There's one for a results screen and the other one for the actual voting screen. Oh come on, Jesus. Are you using Chrome? No, it's Brave. You know that. Okay. Like, hurry the fuck up. YouTube still hasn't made this shit, like, accessible speed-wise. Come on! Okay. I like that. She has got a whole piece. Of I have to verify that it's me. Oh fuck you! Hold on. Let me. Let me do. Uh, God damn it! Oh Google, I love your bullshit. Don't you lie. You wish you could run these motherfuckers off a flagpole. I would run yeah, these motherfuckers off a flagpole. Yeah, I know. I was being totally sarcastic. <laughs> Pin message. Alright. The straw poll is there. Now you may uh, vote at your leisure. When it's your boy, did you... Man. What? I was going to read something that was in the chat. Oh. It's your boy, Darnell says, Parents talk about condoms, STDs, pregnancy, but not graphic details. Well, if you have a parent that's in any kind of STEM field, unfortunately, they just, they just decide to hand you a textbook, my guy. Oh, stop asking me if I'm a robot or not. Damn, you know I'm not. Fifty-four votes. Other, really? The fuck? Am I looking at the right stuff? <laughs> uh, did you put the right stuff? Yeah. Yeah, just probably wanted to vote other. <laughs> but like, it's just all other. <laughs> Chat could lie. I don't know. And the same sort of answer on my side. There is also the possibility that there is a lot of people in chat who are still virgins. 
Oh. They either don't want, they either, they decide to decline. They did put in an option C. There's also a possibility they could never have talked about it. Because I've seen that couple come up a couple of times in chat. And that's what I was thinking of. And that's why I worded it the way I did. Damn. It's still at 54. <laughs> and it's just like 100% other. <laughs> the fuck? Carl got either, for me. Either this thing is broken. Or... Mm -hmm. The fuck happened? Uh. All I remember is I voted other, and then now all of a sudden it's got fifty-four votes, and it's one hundred percent other. I don't think so, the poll is working. Roger says in chat. I think it maybe so many people were doing it at once it just broke. Maybe can make another one. Don't feel like we need to more or less I'm gonna, the opinion of the ones in the two. Your vote has been counted. You already got to go. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it has a internal system that makes it so that people can't duplicate if when you make it. Yeah, I think Want me to make another one? It. No, let's just move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just fucking irrelevant anyway. Fuck it. Besides, this is about to get real fucking uncomfortable. So let yeah, we need to power through it. I'm sorry for wasting your time, guys. <laughs> Carl, sorry for wasting your time. It's my yeah, fault. I, Man did it. I'm, I mean, I mean, technically, I wasted the time because I was like, oh, let's, put, let's do a poll. And it just froze. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Like, it we froze. Doing, I mean, I think we were doing fine with the numbers, even though, like, the counting thing would, be, would have been a big, big bitch. Ignoring the part that you're not supposed to count them. You're just supposed to get the general feel. I will take that as I was right. But secondly, it froze over like the love in their marriage. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Wow. Remember her telling me Mine that was. because yeah. hers was that terrible. That was my experience. Damn, it yeah. was very painful. Damn. And <laughs> yeah, and yeah. mine wasn't. It actually was like a and revelation. It was, it was yeah. It was like okay, yeah, <laughs> All right, you know. <laughs> but I also came into it differently. My mm -hmm. grandmother taught me about self-pleasuring because she wanted me to know that that pleasure was Th this is early i didn't think it'd be this early. was from me exactly she didn't want me to fall into the hands of a man and if he gave me pleasure to think that that was him yeah. and she taught me at nine mm. oh. like what <laughs> that face <laughs> that is the correct reaction Best friend. <laughs> oh, that's another one. It's another cap. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is so fucked up. <laughs> or a mask. <laughs> or a mask hit the chat with them. Was she thinking of Tupac? <laughs> uh, I, I, my grandmother taught me not to think that pleasure during sex was coming from a man. See, like... And now that I'm thinking, it's like, that sounds so peculiar. It sounds very peculiar. Like, this... I can't help but think she was abused by her grandmother. <laughs> like, some kind of, like, not just, like, the talking about it, but, like, some physical shit. I don't know, because it just sounds so strange, that logic. It's not, because there's a lot of man hate in that logic. Like, I don't want you to think that pleasure comes from a man. <laughs> so, uh, get over here. <laughs> That pink hair girl looks like Brie Larson, says the Travis. Eh, maybe a young Brie Larson when she was still doing her music career. She has an album. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh yeah, that shit fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah. That's how she ended up getting Envy Adams. John Smith, pleasure comes from the mutual experience. At least that's how healthy people think. Yeah. The guy, that guy says, after tonight, I need to brush my brain. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Let's rewind it a little bit. Well. Me. Exactly. She didn't want me to fall into the hands of a man and if he gave me pleasure to think that that was him. Yeah. And she taught me at Chats nine. Chats reacting mm. to the fact that Brie Larson did music. Oh, yeah, she did. Let me drop the album for everybody. I have it playlisted. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why do you want because... to hurt my chat? <laughs> because they need to hurt <laughs> And the period. I mean, listen to this shit. I'm just, it's good bad vibes from, I mean, not only because of, oh, like, uh, oh my god, I got hiccups. Was from me exactly into it differently. My my mm -hmm. grandmother taught me about self pleasuring because she wanted me to know that that pleasure was from me. Exactly. She didn't want me to fall into the hands of a man, and if he gave me pleasure, to think that that was him. Yeah. Like what the fuck? When you have sex with another person, like who the fuck you think is giving you? Pl oh God. <laughs> It sounds so warped. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it's giving me va bad vibes. Like, some shit went down <laughs> with her fucking grandmother. Some, ugh. Some SVU it's, shit. It's second wave feminism logic, actually. This comes directly from the Black Panther movement, which if people didn't know, my family had originations in. The, the, the maternal side of my family. Um... It was written that self-pleasure and self-satisfaction needed to come from the inside of the black diaspora. Because if you rooted the pleasure that you received in your everyday life from the satisfaction of appliances and tools and the supplies of the white man, that you weren't truly <laughs> decolon you weren't truly decolonized. So they extrapolated this across every single spectrum, as you do when you're destructing things, and they eventually approached the spectrum of sexuality, and it became, well, me black men and black women need to be able to decolonize the sexuality of how they view themselves from the idea of the white man, because blah, 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 racism, 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 racism. But then when it came to the black woman, it became she needed to root herself in the divine feminine. And whew, I could rant about that. I won't. But yeah, the dumbed-down version, the dumbed-down version is essentially you need to decentralize your or your orgasms and libido from the idea of I'm coming because a man is fucking the dog shit out of me and he's dogging me out right. It's no. I choose to have this orgasm because I connect to him spiritually. He's touching me in my heart, pussy. Dead ass, <laughs> real shit. That is what they think. <laughs> This clown show. <laughs> oh wait, not applicable. Not applicable. Two dollar super chat expression of someone trying to retreat uh, into their an anvil. What the fuck? I'm just gonna pretend that means anvil. <laughs> All right, let's play. And she taught me at nine. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> right? Yeah. She, at There's that creepy grandma. <laughs> Yeah, she got that weird look in her eye. <laughs> that creepy shit. All right, there is a picture they pull out to try and talk about the old spiritual Negro curse inside of a fucking spinoff of Candyman. <laughs> uh, and Jada looks like that fucking kid from uh, uh, from Stranger Things in this picture. <laughs> the floppy hair kid. Yep. Oh, God. All right, let's go. Nine. I had none of that. Yeah. I had none of what Jada had. You know, her teaching to me was, boys are dirty, don't let them put their tongues in your mouth, and surely not their penises. Right. Yeah. Why would your grandmother teach, like, skip you and go straight to the, the your, your kid? I don't get that. I don't get it. Or was it 
the mom on the other side of the family? I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, yeah. So everything was like from a very negative. It's like the from The Witcher. It skips a generation. Negative. <laughs> the and common so sense she... skipped her mother and went, and the, all the horror went directly into Jada. <laughs> <laughs> to scare me, to deter you. And so you, you were right. probably afraid. Yeah. You know? We as women have been trained that women aren't supposed to enjoy sex. Yeah. Sex is. What? What is. Where do people get that shit from? I don't get that. We're taught to never enjoy sex when. Whenever. <laughs> when has that ever been a thing? That sounds like complete horseshit, but okay. Keep playing. Does not for women. Sex right. is for men. Pleasure is for men. And, and honestly, practice. I think, like, did you live in the in the most subterranean shithole during the nineteen hundreds? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did they breed <sighs> you like cattle and then pair you with your fucking husband wife so that you could have multiple children by the same man in the same household? I think that's why so many women so ironic, know, feels like have they saw never had movie once. Hmm. Well, all right, let's... orgasms. Really? Yeah. Sex, sex is not for women. Sex right. is for men. Yeah. Pleasure is for men. And honestly, I think that's why so many women I know have never had orgasms. Really? Yes. That's a sad day. Yeah. I've struggled in my own sexuality, even in having the information that I had at an early age, and yet still having to constantly educate myself yeah. and right. not allow things to, to come sweep. in to, right. So know. if your mom struggled, then you know I struggled. Yeah. The demons in the back of my mind are telling me, no, you shouldn't be doing that, and no, Good girls don't enjoy sex. And... But do you do you feel like yeah. you've been, do you feel like you have the freedom now? Yes. And where did that come yes. from? I just think it just came over time because over time you realize, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 no, no. Was there a moment? Was there ex was there experience? Was there a man that? You know what I'm saying? Because usually there's that aha moment of like, <sighs> the whole world opens up. The to whole you. when you have your first like real, real good, good experience, good orgasm. <laughs> I don't know if I remember <laughs> that, but I just do know that even a couple of years ago, having a conversation with um, my girlfriend talking about sex toys and all that, right. and I didn't have any experience with with sex toys. Right, and they were like. Huh? <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. Yeah. And wow. I was like, really? <laughs> he suggested that I go to counseling for that. <laughs> go to counseling for fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we talking about? Fucking Willow's face. Oh. <laughs> Three times into the kid. Give him that girl. All right, wait, let's let me rewind it. You don't know <laughs> what you're missing. Yeah. And wow. I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, 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 hang on. Tochu, wait, Tochu Kwu? To Tochu Kwu, oh my God. Tochu Kwu, Udu. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, Jesus. Uh, but 2000 NGN, just woke up from a deep slumber. I got no idea what's going on. Glad I caught your stream. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, in this case, three things. One, man, you know that fucking Will is her father. Look at that face. Look at those ears. <laughs> it's unironically Will dressed up in drag. <laughs> She does not have a boyfriend. I know that for a fact. I can feel it deep down in my whorish bones. But bad dragons, your daughter knows all about it. <laughs> all right, let's continue. I don't want to hear about fucking Willow Smith and bad dragons. Ugh. He suggested that I go Come to on. counseling. Her eye. Go to counseling for sex? Mm hmm That fills me with so much anger. Because, because men don't just... experience the same thing. How the fuck would you know? 
You have, to, you have no consideration. You have no consideration for men whatsoever. Like, none. You live in your own little gynocentric hole in the ground. They don't go through sex counseling. It's not like they get, might, may, may get molested or may need some counseling for that. Uh, like, they, because they're all screwed up. Not, nah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't happen. See, this is one of those episodes they needed to have fucking Jaden on. They needed to have him at the table and be like, hey, yo, Ma, you don't understand. It's different for a dude. Because it is different for a dude. You just wake up in a fucking heat and all of this information starts bombarding your brain. All your fucking sweating out of your skin trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. I felt <laughs> sick. I felt sick, Jay. Hi, Alabaster. I felt sick, Jay. The first time <laughs> I ever felt the hunger. I was out in public. I was just at the fucking Hollywood Connection, which is like a indoor right, movie you know, theater let, 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 fucking let, amusement let's park. Just, let's just stop there. We don't want to hear about your first boner. No, nah, it's not. No, nah, it's not any shit like that. I just looked over at the girls at the roller rink, and like in two fucking looks, I'm like, oh man, they have fun. Who is that? I could feel my voice dropping. I want to go talk to her. Hey, how you doing? Alright, nigga, you yelling in my ear. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wait, let me read these super chats, please. The Alabaster $2 super chat, more red flags on a communist revolution. Uh, oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, Albatross, $5 super chat. The stuff they say uh, is what turns men into misogynists. <laughs> Not applicable. $2 super chat. Willow looks like conceited from, conceited from Wild and Out. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Zom uh, zombie squeaks. We're getting very personal on this NOC. Oh, not anymore, because we're going to continue playing it right now. Let's, let's avoid this shit. I've had a lot, lot wow. of experience with sex toys. Lots. I don't... Of course. Like, we... <laughs> miss that at all. I feel like it brings the third party into the situation that's not, like, human. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Like... Well, what about by yourself? Because I don't think I use toys with a partner, but I yeah, did I use toys a lot alone. Alone. Yeah. I mean, personally, I have it. Well, you still, you're 21? Yeah. When did I start I using I need to go toys? get one. <laughs> No, but I think by your age, I gave myself multiples first. Ugh. Multiple what? orgasms. Yep, so, I did. Oh. I was really into it at one point. Just because. Yeah, Willow was like, she's baffled. I'm just baffled. <laughs> I think you might be right. I think she knows nothing. <laughs> because I was in an exploration no, state. And I huh? The bots are back. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to need my mods to step in, baby. If I can't get them, at, at least. Damn it. No. I'm going to need my mods to come in. Come on, mods. Do the thing. All right. We're going to continue while this is. Is happening. Oh yeah, evil hero diamond cat got him. I was abstaining from men. Oh, for you. Yeah. And I actually think I went yeah, through kind of an addiction too with it. Ooh. Really? Yeah. I've heard Damn. that before. Yeah. No shit. And then one day I was just like, enough. Like That's scary. you're having five <laughs> orgasms a day. Yeah, you get addicted because you can create so much pleasure. You just constantly want it. It's just like, yeah. you know, and so um oh. yeah. Oh God! Hang on, it's just like yeah. you know, and so. Um, Your daughter was getting an image of the future right there. It's like, oh my God! <laughs> I need to get polyamorous <laughs> immediately. Oh boy! <laughs> that face. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh yeah, and like, so I time? really had. To... Yeah, well, me and me, we're like thinking, like, damn, like that's some other. I'm just wondering. <laughs> some next level. Yeah, that's some next level right there. I did find something interesting about your generation in regards to virginity, and how one loses virginity. Like, I, <laughs> I'm sure for your generation too that you lose your virginity with somebody you've been seeing. Right. Somebody that you have feelings with. It just right. wasn't some random. Like, I've heard certain people say, 
well, I'm older now, and I just need to lose my virginity, so I'm just going to ask I hear that all the time. this guy that I hang out with sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Like, just wait till you find that person that you care about, and that person's like, no guy is really talking to me or asking me out. Because guys or... are not brave. That's the issue. Well, do you think it In has this something... generation, they're not brave. Does it have something to do with technology yes. and texting and really that people don't really know how to can, deal can with it? pause there? Because I'm about to call some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say something that I was like, oh. go on for like a little while longer, just a little. Guys are not brave. They don't want to walk up to us. No, 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 Willow, no. Oh, fucking Christ. Just today, I had a fucking argument on TikTok with people being upset that I was right. Men, <laughs> it's not a problem that men are, aren't brave. Uh huh. Men are willing to take risks. Find the couple right ones that they're willing to take a fucking chance and a risk on. I'm not sure if I cut out there for a second. Men try to find one that they can willing to take a chance and a risk on and put out respectable feelers. But unfortunately, y'all mon win fucked it up. You had your MeToo movements, you had your times up, you wanted to hold men accountable for the crime of daring to ask you out on a date, ask you, hey, would you like a drink? Hey, would you like a dance? Hey, what time is it? <laughs> hey, you fucking cursed us for the crime of even opening our fucking mouths. So why the fuck would I approach you? I was told not to approach you at the bar, not to approach you at work, not to approach you at the gym, not to approach you when you have a free moment, and especially not to approach you when you look like you're having a bad day and say, hey, beautiful, what's wrong? Hey, lady, what's, 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 what's good? You don't look happy right now. No, nope, can't do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, eh, 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 canceled, canceled, canceled. Mm -mm, can't do it. Mm -mm, sorry. So, nope, not, can't do it. I, I can't walk up to you. No, I'm, I'm going to sit over here in a corner playing video games because at least I know for now, before female AI gets injected to my fucking computer, that the computer is not going to send me to jail for supposed harassment because I wanted to ask what the weather was outside. <laughs> Joyful! True that? True that? Talk about where the men at. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck y'all. Like, you're, you're, you're Willow Smith. You should have people, like, you should have dudes coming up to you. I don't understand why you don't. This bullshit. Hey, and Hollywood, like, I, I don't, think I, mean, I can understand if she means like Hollywood guys, people who they know the parents of would not be brave. Because mm -hmm. it's like, uh, I like that guy whose parents are like over there, but I don't want to know. It's like if you were fucking somebody who's the same age as fucking um, John Krasinski and Elmy Blunt's kids, where it's like, hey, my son and your son could hang out and have play dates. And it's like five years from then they grow up, they go from five to like 10 and then they're around about 12. It's like, yeah, I like her daughter. But at the same time, if I like want to take her on a date, this shit's going to trend on Twitter and then they're going to be all up in her fucking business. And I don't want that. Like that makes sense. But that's not what she's talking about. <laughs> she's talking about normal niggas. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, let's go. So, like I'm, I'm letting you know, like, in this day and age, the slide into the DM is like a 50% yeah. how you get into your relationship. Exactly. Yes. Right? Am I slide wrong? No, you're not wrong. Yeah. For most kids in this day and age. <laughs> What's DM? Most... Direct message? Yeah. Direct okay. Message. We didn't DMs have that back in the day. No, you just had a joker come up to you and be like, What's up, Sean? No, it's just, that <laughs> never happens. You in can say DM. goodbye to that. That's honestly dudes DM. nowadays. See a beautiful girl? <gasps> let me text her. Am I going to let me text her? You mean like how Alcina did y'all? <laughs> no skills. No, nah, he was, he came to the house with mental health issues, and Jada was like, "Perfect, <laughs> perfect." <laughs> because it's of all of the technology. It's unattractive. It's unattractive. Is this how you got into your relationship? Did he slide into the DM? Don't judge me. It was no, in the DM. No, I'm just trying to get an understanding. But <laughs> well, let me ask you guys a question: If you have a young girl now that is sleeping, has multiple partners. Is she still considered a, a whore, whore? No. a slut? No. no. Really? She is considered a regular no. person. She is a beautiful girl. You just have to keep yourself health, healthy. Right. healthy. Yeah. Yeah, she Respect is. yourself. Respect can be more important than right than, than anything. Love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that part. You better preach, young girl. You better yeah. preach, young woman. If you are in a relationship with someone who doesn't respect, respect you, you, then woo. that is a, the most unhealthy relationship, and right. you should get out. Immediately. Let me ask you guys. <laughs> you hear that, Will? You hear that? 
<laughs> You're in a relationship with someone who doesn't respect you. You need to get out of that shit. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I agree. We all agree, right, Carl? You know that she's talking about women, right? There's, there's a secret little asterisk at the end of that sentence that said, if you don't respect relationship with women, you need to get out of it. <laughs> But you know, I like. I'm still like. I think it, I'm. I'm still saying that applies. Like, it's very. Uh, it's a an omen. <laughs> oh yeah. An evil omen. <laughs> As a question, because your generation is known as the hookup generation. Mm. How do you guys feel about monogamy? That feeling of you're my one, and my only. There's no one else. Mm -hmm. For me, that would not work. It's a, it's a. <laughs> of course, look, look who your mother is, of course. It's a tricky one. And I tell you, I think about it a lot with married women who are in this sexual monotony of feeling like this obligation towards having to have sex because they're in a monogamous mm -hmm, relationship. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you just you don't just have. You just don't feel like it. You just it. don't feel like it. But you feel obligated partner. because you know they do. Exactly. Never feel obligated. Hate when I hear that in all of these, like, therapists try to be like, you know, make sure you you better go in there and sleep with your man. Because if you're not having sex with him, somebody, somebody else, else is. is. It's Pointless. because women fear Pointless. losing their men yeah. if right. sex isn't good and if you're not having enough sex. Pointless. Oh. It seems like such as if like men don't worry about losing their chick if they're not doing exactly like all these chicks on OnlyFans and shit now have fucking cuck ass husbands because cuck like in the guy in the, yeah the guy and, and yeah and the cuck like cuck husband gets totally invested in it because he's got no fucking choice because if he doesn't let her explore s sexually then suddenly then she's gonna fucking leave because she's I can't express myself. So I'm just gonna fucking leave. And like, this is rich coming from Jada because she's like, she's in this fucking boat right now, where There's she is. I, 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 this has been so long since I felt good. <laughs> There's only one connection, and literally only one connection when this works. And the one time when this works is when you and your husband are involved in the business. Like you and him together are the porn stars. He is doing the taping. He is helping you pick your female partners. You're helping him pick the male partners, he is involved in the shit. That is the only time when it's justified. And even men, it can be stringent. And the only time that works is when both of you are porn stars. And, like, married. That's the only time it works, because then it's just business. Like, your husband's offset over there, giving him tips. Like, you know, her tip, like, her zone is, like, over here. You know, you gotta lean in, grab the edge of the chair, and, like, do this fucking grodio shit, bro. You gotta do it like this. Like, that would make sense. That's fine. The majority of these women out here, like fucking Katarina Black, Lena the Plug, these people who were YouTubers that immediately got into porn because they're not very interesting when they're sitting next to their partners and husbands playing fucking video games like Minecraft. Also, chat, please don't look up Katarina Black. Please do not look up Katarina Black. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> sitting next to their husbands and they're like, damn, I'm uninteresting. But you know what? I'm overweight and therefore I have a fat ass. So let's get this money. Um, that shit. That shit is the reason why we are where we are. That's why things like Twitch are fucking full of ethos. Because there are many pipes to their OnlyFans, but they're very short pipes and they always go that place. That's how Lena the Block got famous. That's how Katarina Black got famous. That's how Cecily, that's how Celestia Vega got famous. That's how Zoe Berger got famous. That's what Anissa Joma immediately started doing because she realized she didn't have anything to her goddamn name. That's what fucking amaranth did almost all of them abuse sex in this way to get there and it's painful because all of those same things that women would claim men aren't neurotic about man it's not even twice as bad it's 50 times as bad because imagine your partner comes up to you and says hey i want to make an only fans um and you're not going to get an argument in it and also i'm gonna go make shit tonight and then all of a sudden, your girlfriend starts to turn away from you because the validation she's getting from the internet is a replacement for the validation that she would look to you as a partner. But it's mm -hmm. empty validation because it's really just the money talking. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know what? I'm going to go do a scene with this guy. And you're like, oh, who is he? King Nizir? 
<laughs> his heart just jumped out of his fucking chest. It's dog right, shit, man. Let me hit a few super chats. Uh, the Alabaster, $2 super chat. No, I don't hate my husband like this. Uh, Chelsea Druin, $2 super chat. Straight from the cheater's mouth. Yeah. I mean, she totally, like, her whole fuck the whole fucking thing with her and Will's relationship was because, oh, well, she wasn't fucking steady. And she didn't feel good about herself and all that shit. And it, like, and you hear her here talking this shit. Like, oh, only women feel like they don't have sex. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's the other thing that fucking irritates me. The idea of, oh, well, I have to have sex with him because he expects it. N- no, most men don't expect it. It's like, it's like, it's like a reward. It's like a reward, actually. Like, I didn't expect this, but I mean, I, I, I can't. It's like we walk in and somebody like baked you a fresh apple pie with vanilla ice cream. I didn't expect vanilla ice cream and pie, but I might as well have a slice. Yeah, and like, there's, of course, there's a passage in Will's uh, uh, manifest, man, I was going to say manifesto, in his um, memoirs. His manifesto. Ab- his memoirs about him, like, having, like, to please Jada, like, he, had, he like, they fucked, like, all night long, to, like, just to get her off. And it was just like, like, just, oh, God. It's because she desensitized like, her for Nani, constantly using them sex toys. Yeah, I mean, she said she became a sex addict at one point. I mean, I mean, come on, we well, we all know, of course. But it's like, oh, oh I have to always have to please my husband. Like, no, like in your case, it's the other way around. You dumb bitch, <laughs> you lie. No, you lying bitch. <laughs> all right, anyway, um, just like some, just some pandering bullshit. Anyway. Let's, let's continue. An unrealistic expectation to put on another human being. Yeah. I think it's really just about everybody having the freedom to find their way. Yep. Yeah. And, and define and not to, what works right. for you. You're right. Yes. I'm so happy for you. In regards to what? In regard to your sexuality, because you've always been pretty free, I think. Yeah. And just, I just didn't have that. Yeah. But you wrote, like, yeah. hear me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been able to work through it, but I'm telling you, it has been a challenge, a real challenge to the point at one point in one of my marriages, he suggested that I go to counseling for that. Mm. Wow. Wow. In one of your marriages. Yeah. Because I'm... Yeah, he's been married four times. (laughs) Go to counseling. Four times. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Ain't nothing but a bunch of train wrecks at this time. For sex? (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That fills me with so much anger that I can't even, Why I can't anger? even. Why anger? Because, because men don't just... experience the same thing. Yes, they that's do. That's the problem. That, no, no, that's, that's not, not true. true. That's can, not true. You know how many men I know that have been raped? Yeah. And... Oh, damn. She actually, actually went there. I'm actually shocked. I'm fucking shocked. I'm like, surprise. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this super chat right quick. Uh. Adam Milan, uh, 250 RSD. Your new internet connection is smoother and smoother than butter, knock on wood. Also, does their daughter look like Will and Drag? Very low effort drag, though. <laughs> like, yeah, I, like, yeah, she brought up the rape thing. I, I'm sh- the male rape thing. I'm shocked. Had no idea. As young shocked, boys, terrified, yeah. surprised, that I was as protective I can't believe this. of Jaden. That's, that's not true. true. That's I can, not true. You know how many men I know that have been raped yeah. as young boys? Damn. That I was as protective of Jaden as I was Absolutely. of you. Absolutely. He Ooh. was not a... No, listen to I, me. I can... I he was... Think... Is she trying to fucking argue against this shit? You think your mother doesn't fucking know? And you know you know her mother knows some motherfuckers who've been to prison. Come on. Been to prison, probably raped in prison. Like, she's from... Like, Jaden's from the fucking hood. She knows this shit. Is she trying to argue against this? Like, what the fuck would you know? Like, once again, Willow, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. As young boys, pain. that I was as protective. I would say Jayden this is like a tiny I... bit of empathy, but. Mm-hmm. 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 It could be like used, like, just like. Because, you know, like, she just seems, feels like it's just an opportunist, you know? Like, I want to, spe- I want to seem like. I'm the next Oprah, and I'm so uh, 
open with my emotions or whatever. Yeah, you know, it could be some phony, like some phony shit. But at the same time, she's still bringing it up, and you know, it's something, it's something, anything. Absolutely, <laughs> he was not a no. Listen to I, me. I can. I he was think... not allowed to spend the night at anyone's house because I never underestimated. Yeah. That a boy child could be violated. Yeah. Absolutely. In the same way but as a did, girl child. But you did do a lot of things differently. I did do a lot of things differently. And let me tell you something else. You got to do a lot of things in this yeah, house. You're right. That, that, that Jaden did do. not. You're right. Okay? Right. You're so right. The, I wish they didn't cut to fucking commercial yeah. and that shit, and instead they just had it out, and it's like, no, no, this shit's not fair, because I should have been able to do other shit, and it's like, look, listen, your brother, he's the talented one, I had to protect his pussy, okay? <laughs> You're the frigid one who just couldn't get any dick, so I didn't really have to worry about you. <laughs> Uh, Adam Milan, uh, 100 RSD. She probably had to hide Jaden from Brian Singer. <laughs> uh, Luna Patel, Jaden was about to cancel Willow. <laughs> uh, Desperado J. Willow, why? <laughs> I mean, it's like, oh, Willow, ugh. Yeah, insufferable. Like, even, like, even your mother has uh, some fucking empathy for male rape victims. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she was I like, can, trying to oh, argue. She was trying to argue against this shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's fucking dumb, but you know for a fact the only reason she had to say that is the only way she's going to ever have empathy for that is thinking about her son, Jaden. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, some kids next door parent shit. I hate all kids, but I love mine. <laughs> Facebook questions from our from our Facebook <laughs> family. Yes, from our Facebook you family. Imagine so. her friend is sitting in the middle of this Willow, shit. Willow, what part of the body do you find the sexiest? <laughs> I'd have to say the, the brain. Part. Yeah, the brain. The brain. For me, oh, stop. Oh, sh oh, all right. Let's rewind it. Let's let's hear that cringe together. Book family. So, <laughs> Willow. What part of the body do you find the sexiest? <laughs> I'd have to say the brain. Yeah, the brain. The brain. For me, that's what I see. <laughs> how, bitch, how are you gonna, how are you going to assess whether or not a man has a brain when you don't have one? Like, you gotta, you gotta fucking relate to, to a brain. You gotta have to relate to having a brain to be attracted to a motherfucker who has one. Like, so a dude could tell her fucking anything. Like, did you know that that the mitochondrial cell is the powerhouse cell? <laughs> Jay, how did you fuck that up? I don't know. <laughs> is, oh god, I know I fucked that. Up. Like, but like, that's just, that just enhances how like stupid like like I wanted to make that. You're just imagining some guy from that comes straight out of the fucking 90s, just in New Jack Swing, just walk up to her, to a spin move me like, Hey, baby girl, did you know that the powerhouse of the cells, the mitochondria? She's just sitting there in her fucking golf y alternative, like, oh yeah? What what else? What 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 else? What, what else is the powerhouse of the cell? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, let's go. See in men as well. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm attracted to this part right here on a man, baby. Oh, that neck to the shoulder. A I'm little so, juicy booty don't I'm, hurt. Like, like having this conversation, I'm starting to realize how much I don't think about this. And a stuff. back. I like and a back. back. <laughs> Maybe a strong back. Your father yeah. would be so happy to hear that you're looking for somebody <laughs> like him. <laughs> do you believe in love at first sight? Oh. Yes. I do. Oh. I believe I can look in somebody's eyes and love them. Wow. It's happened before. I think that, I think that's y'all problem. <laughs> Is great sex necessary for a great relationship? I don't think so. I think that... Mm. Well, yeah. I, I can kind of see where she's uh. coming from. 
But I think this generation has it backwards. Like, when they think of, like, this, when they think of the word love, they use it so much to address so many different things. I love pizza. I love boy band. I love pasta. I love Korean barbecue. Love's not an emotion. It's a state of mind. It's a place that you visit. All right, all right, let's continue. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say that great sex is not necessary for a great relationship for me, especially after being in a union for as long as I have been. You start to really focus. What really matters? On yeah, <laughs> it gets deep. Is there anything sexy you've wanted to try but were embarrassed to ask your partner about? Mm. <laughs> Real. Spill it. Give us the tea, Gab. Give us the tea. I don't know if I want to talk about this on air. And there you have it, folks. I'm going to leave that right there. That is our Red Table Talk for today about sex. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here on Facebook. Oh, good night. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> All right, I didn't. I just now realizing it's it's fucking midnight already. Damn. <laughs> okay, one more, and then I'm done. <laughs> one more. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Like, like, uh, Carl, I'm gonna need you to help me pick one. I want to just watch the one with Will Smith in it. But yeah, like, there's. There's the first part, like uh, becoming Mr. and Mrs. Smith. There's that one. Um, unpacking white privilege and prejudice. <laughs> Growing up, Smith. Uh, interracial marriage with Ellen Pompeo. Body confessions. Jada tells all at the table. Uh, which one? Which one? What kind of body confessions is she telling? Uh, her alopecia. That's the first time I think she talks about it. Um, I kind of want to go that one, but I'm more concerned with the Will Smith one because I don't know. I want to, I want to round everything out with that. I mean, let's go with the one that's probably gonna round out the concert the best. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on chat, and I'm seeing some comments that probably need to be read. Get back in the oh, there we go. Get back in the creed. All right, there go that link. Uh, you at zero? Yes. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, play. Hey, Red Table Talk fam, we are back at the table and we got some new popping episodes. Our yes. journey together is just getting started. We're so thankful to have you here. We feel the love from you and we have a lot more red hot talks coming at you. And we're starting with the one and only Will Smith. I'm about to go to the red table. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a fighter going to a fight. So I'm ready. Somebody scream, you the best champ. Somebody you scream. Thank you, thank you. I just hope that daddy isn't making jokes the whole time. <laughs> I said that too. Well, it should be interesting. I mean, this is the first time we're actually talking about it. Hope daddy doesn't make, the jo make jokes. Well, your father has a uh, trauma response in which he laughs and jokes at things that make him uncomfortable. So you're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. Unique <laughs> union. I've been watching all your talks. People crying and breaking down. You're not breaking me today, Jada. I've broken you enough. Oh, God, I remember. <laughs> I've broken you You're enough. You're not breaking me, Jada. I've broken you enough. <laughs> oh, oh, this hits different. Oh, this hits different. You can't feel this yeah. one right in your prostate. Yeah. Oh, okay, I would go that far. <laughs> Dread Emperor 499 Super Chat. My brain not feeling good. Not feeling gooding. See, I just mean her kicking his ass. I mean like that. Probably like that too. <laughs> um, all right, let's continue the pain. Will and I said our vows almost 21 years ago, and it's been an incredible journey ever since. But we struggled through a lot of pain to get where we are today. Here's the real story of becoming Mr. and Mrs. Smith. 
Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look who we have. Look at who table. is at the table. <laughs> yes. We got Willard, yes. Carol, Smith. Smith. Yes. Very excited to be here on the red table with you ladies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been away for a while, been at work. I was very surprised that the house wasn't a house no more. It's red. It's, it's a, a set. It's a, <laughs> it's a set. Just one part of it, though. You look spectacular today, love. Aw, thank you, Willard. You do. Thank you so much. Very happy to be I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> thank you, Willard. <laughs> that was so passive aggressive. <laughs> Willard, it's your fucking dumbass name. <laughs> Why didn't they call you William? Jesus. Yeah. I'm happy to have you here, Will. Well, what are you stop doing that? <laughs> well, <ow. laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, this comes off real like good. We're gonna talk about today love and relating. We're gonna say a whole lot of stuff about our relationship. For years and years, there's been a lot of speculation mm -hmm. about us, and uh, our family has been uh, pretty. Secretive and not, not secretive as much as that. I think it's just yeah. private. It's just, it's just private. private. It's been private. Yeah. Yeah. They think, oh, something weird must something be going right. on yeah. when it's really just we don't be putting everything out there like that. Yeah. We have created a uh, marital and family paradigm that has been <laughs> uh, speculated. <laughs> What's funny? What you laughing at? What was I laughing at? Yeah, I heard you laughing. What were you laughing at? We don't put our shit out there? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> See, I, I didn't catch that. About for a lot of years, yeah. so I'm excited to Let's sit start down with and day one, tell man. the truth. Let's start with day, day one. one. <laughs> day one. Day, day one. one. The first time I met you was at the... Fresh Prince, when I came to audition, right. mm -hmm. I think I was 19. Yeah. And they told me I was too short. Yeah. But you were there. Yes. So I remember you were on Different World. Yes. And Alfonso knew everybody. And I remember the first time I saw you. I actually think I dated Alfonso. You went on a date with Alfonso. Yeah, yes. I think I went you on, did? One, and I think I went on crazy. one date together. And he, like, wow. took you on a motorcycle or something. I think so. Yeah. Wow. My memory is I dated a lot of people. Yeah, I'm sure. Crazy. I'm just looking at chat blow up. It's like, she fucks Carlton! <laughs> you fuck Carlton too? Damn, bitch! Oh, yes, Evil Hero Diamond Cat $2. Oh, Evil Hero Diamond Cat $2 Super Chat. The poll is at 76 votes. 100% other. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. Just leave it. <laughs> it's fucked. We can only assume that the majority of chat had a normal relationship with their parents. <laughs> all right let's go let's go this is a painful this is a painful frame yeah but we went on one day all right i've was... had enough of the red table <laughs> <laughs> so alfonso knew you i was like yo dude i saw this girl on different world last night i was like it's her name is jada dude he said oh yeah yeah my boy knows her he can't introduce you i have a thing i recognize when i see a person if our relationship can be exponential. Mm. The first night with Jazzy Jeff. Right. With 15 minutes, I was like, yo, me and that dude can create. Right. Exactly. Right? I could just, I just feel it and I know it when somebody is right for me. Yeah. Right. Okay. First night I met Alfonso. Yeah. Like we were playing, I was like, me and that dude are magic. Mm -hmm. Right. When I saw you on Different World, it was that thing. And I don't know what it is that the bell rings, and I knew that there was something in our energy that would be magic. Hmm. Wow. And so I was like, Alf, hook it up. <laughs> uh, Fresh Prince taped on Friday nights, and Different World taped on I think Thursday. Thursdays, yeah. Thursday. So it was the night before. So Alf was like, yo, I can, I can set the meeting up. So we went, you know, and it was first season. I was Fresh Prince. Oh. You know? <laughs> 
I walked That's up in the audience, a different world. I was the Fresh Prince, you know? So it was, you know, I walked in, I sat down in the audience, and they, the, the taping started, and then Alf was like, yo, that's my boy that knows her. And he sat down, and I was like, yo, who's that girl he's with? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the, the dude that was going to introduce you're, me to Jada you're crazy. was with another girl. And I was like, who, who is that? Who was that girl? And it was Cherie. Wow. He went to different world. I went to world different world to, to meet, meet Jada Wait, and met, met Cherie, Cherie and ended up marrying Cherie and having Trey, Trey. with Cherie. That's just trippy. Wow. <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah, God, I was trying to tell you something, Will. He directed you to the chick you should have been with. He tried to direct you to the right path and then you skid, uh, you, you broke, you broke that connection with Jesus. <laughs> and you... You went to the devil. <laughs> like that, yeah, you fought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that should have been a sign. Like you had, you got, you married this chick, had a baby with her. Well, we'll, we'll let him continue to tell the story because it's, yeah, it feels like, damn, you should just stay with that other chick. I don't think I've heard that before. I, did, I didn't meet Jada that day. We had a party at our house or something. Me and Cherie had a party at the house or something. And I came with. I can't remember who some I was Some joker. With. Some, some two-bit joker. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we had all of these near misses, and every time we saw each other, it was always a beautiful energy. Right. The real time was probably, I think, Dwayne and Tisha, Tisha had a thing at the baked potato. Yep. And we sat down at the baked potato. And talked. And we talked. There was a really unique, beautiful power. Yeah. We just, we had that moment and we, we connected, <laughs> but I was married and yeah. it was, you know. Damn. And we that just. That was it. That was it. Wow. We did not have an affair. We did not have an while affair. He was married. Nope, Let's not be clear at all. about that. Not no. at all. It was just that. Just, a, just an emotional one. Because he was, <laughs> I mean, just an emotional one. That's still not good. Next night, me and Cherie went to dinner. And we didn't and fuck or anything. I just, I, I just touched him in his heart pussy before he fucked me in mine. And like, keep in mind, he's, like he says, like the this is the night after he met, like he had that discussion with Jada. Like this is what he's cr cr this is chronicalized, like the night after is what he's talking about right now. Three, and it was one of the most bizarre emotions I ever had after we had that talk, and we were at the Palm, and I remember I had to get up from dinner when I had a, a realization that I wasn't with the person I was supposed to be with. Mm. Mm. But you would have stayed with her forever. Forever. I would have never gotten divorced. Yep. Wow. I went in the bathroom at the Palm, and I broke down in tears. Wow. And I was sitting in a stall in the restaurant, and I was crying uncontrollably, and then laughing, like, what the heck is wrong with me? And I was crying and laughing, and it's like... And it sounds like some Joker shit. <laughs> I knew <laughs> that was the woman I was supposed to be with, but I was never getting divorced. Right. Yeah. I'm, I don't get to. But but you did. You did. <laughs> you did though. Divorce. Right. Like all the. Like I don't get divorced, but you did though. You did. You did. Emotions. All the emotions yeah. at one time. Like I was happy like, that you figured it out. Figured it out. But then. But devastated emotionally, yeah. and then I had. It would never come to fruition. It would never. It was never, it was come never to gonna happen. I just had to get my gangster back together. I got myself together. Went back out. Sat down with Cherie, and went started going back on with my life. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then she divorced you. And then Cherie, <laughs> oh. Cherie filed for divorce. She hit me hard. Cherie filed for divorce on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Look at that Willow's face. Hey. <laughs> she, she, uh. She said, I will never get divorced. And it, like, you said, she, she divorced me. She uh, gave me divorce papers on Valentine's Day. <laughs> that fucking... That trauma response laughter. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> I was like, ouch! Ouch! And I still told her, I was like, no. Yeah. Wow. You can't yeah. have a divorce. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's, that's not functional. And she hit me with the, so you're going to make somebody stay with you who doesn't love you. Mm. 
And I was like, what? I'm actually not. <coughs> nope, I'm not. And I was like, that was the one yeah. that got me. And I remember I was like, I'm gonna sign her divorce papers. I walked out of there and I was in the car and I had Jada's number. I literally walked right out from there. I called Jada. Because you had moved back to Baltimore. I had bought a you house. You bought a house in Baltimore. She was not going to live in Hollywood. She had left the business and oh bought a God. farm in Baltimore. That's amazing. I bought a farm. I said, hey, Jada, what's up? It's Will. She said, hey, how you doing? I said, good. I said, are you seeing anybody? Oh, my God. And she said, uh, no. I said, cool, you're seeing me now. Sound healthy to me. Just, just me. That doesn't sound. That doesn't even sound like something that I would do, even as a joke. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's like I you can't just stand being just... It's like I can't stand being divorced for five seconds. I, I need another bitch. <laughs> Hurry, please. Worst of all, you just <laughs> hello. Hey, what you doing, girl? Um, uh, just chilling. Hey, you seeing anybody? N no, no. All right, good. You seeing me? Click. That is weird. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Open the door, bitch. I love you, bitch. <laughs> uh, and after she had already moved somewhere else and spent a fucking, I'm pretty sure it was a mint on a fucking farm. Yeah. Uh. It, that is that is literally Hollywood. the plot for a fucking romantic dark comedy. Yeah. Unironically. <laughs> Ugh, that's not kosher. All right, let's all right, let's continue. And my dumb and ass was said, like, oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> my dumb ass. She got on a plane, came back to LA, and never and never spent one night in her farm in Baltimore. No. Never mm. spent one never night in the house she bought. That's actually kind of sad. But yeah. I always know how much you wanted to have that kind of life, yeah. you know? It's okay. I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, she said that was perfect. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not uh, yearning for that shit anymore. That bohemian life where I get to fuck wherever I want. And this dopey, big-eared fuck <laughs> isn't fucking around me like, hey, you still love me, eh? <laughs> Yeah, uh, where I could have my Tupac mural and not feel ashamed. <laughs> Maybe this is her revenge for him taking away her fucking farm. Yeah, I wanted to just live in fucking privacy. I wanted to pick fucking corn and fucking pigs and shit, bitch. But you know what? I'm gonna fuck some pigs now, and they're gonna pull my cornrows as I throw this shit back at him, Will. All right. Let's, let's get to it. No. Because I got you. I know. <laughs> but it's just like... Yeah. Everything just happens for a reason. Yeah. Exactly. And then exactly. we started dating, mm -hmm. and then I got pregnant. Yeah. Two years in. I knew the moment after the act yeah. that I was pregnant. The moment. But I That's... knew that night, yeah. and he didn't believe me, but I knew. And it was almost like, you know, those big locks on the bank? Yeah. That those big it's turning just something locks, women I could say. Yeah. feel that in my womb. Especially spiritual women. <laughs> in my uterus. But it was, was like, it was literally yeah. four seconds <laughs> after he had sex, and she goes, <gasps> I said, like, babe, you okay? She's like, I'm pregnant. I was like, I was like, babe, I think. Like, bitch, please. I think scientifically <laughs> you're not pregnant. I think scientifically you're not pregnant yet. I cried that whole night. Damn. She cried all night I because she was pregnant. All night and long. She knew I was like, my life is my never life gonna is be the never same. gonna be the same. Yeah. My life is it's over. It's over. I got myself pregnant. I'm tired to this motherfucker forever. <laughs> Cause that doesn't even sound right. Like, why would you be crying? Like, they weren't happy tears from the sound of it. And you'd already been in the relationship with this motherfucker for, like, two years. So, it's like, why would you be upset about that? Why well, gasp? You guys are together. Like, you fucking went out of condom. What you mean? <laughs> this was a shock. 
<laughs> Winterfire, $2 Super Chat. Jada is living divine secrets of the Yaya yeah, Sisterhood. <laughs> uh, uh, John Smith, if you, can if you can afford a farm, you can afford an abortion. <laughs> the baby bought the farm. <laughs> Uh, she howled in pain, for she knew she was stuck with William. Willard. <laughs> Willard. That's his real name, by the way, Willard. She I was know. Like that. <laughs> Damn. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, of he course thought it was you hilarious. Think it was funny. I was like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I really didn't want to get married, but... My wife cry all night. Not my wife, but my girlfriend cry all night because she thought she got pregnant. I don't. I'm not gonna suspect she's under some kind of emotional duress or anything. I'm, I just start laughing, <laughs> laughing. We only got married because Gammy was crying. <laughs> well, Gammy, this is what happened. Like, y'all gonna put me on the spot? Like, this? <laughs> really? When I, it was almost as if Gammy was like, "You have to get married." So, let's talk about the wedding. It was almost like that. And, like and she completely just was like, that's yeah, not a reality where you're I not married. I was under so much pressure, you know, being a young actress, being yeah. young. And, and I was just and like, pregnant. pregnant. And I just, I was just like, I didn't know what to do. But I just knew, I was like, I never wanted to be married. I, I don't remember that. I remember feeling very strongly and, and wanting you guys to be married. I do remember that. Yes. But I don't remember your rejection of the idea of marriage. I remember the rejection of the idea of a wedding. I didn't want a wedding either. She didn't want it, I was yeah. like, I don't want to get married. And now Gammy done gone to Will crying about, <laughs> I don't want to have a wedding. And now I'm being forced to have a wedding when really I just wanted it to be the two of us yeah. on a mountain because I was like, this is serious business. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't respect your wishes. I it was totally a selfish, I'll never have that experience of my daughter getting married right, right, right. because you were my only child. But yeah. that was so selfish. But it's okay. I mean, uh, it was the right call. It was the right call. I know call. it was the right was call the right for right you call. to marry, yeah, but not yeah. necessarily. That's oh, what I'm talking wedding, about. Yeah. To have a wedding, because the wedding was horrible. It Jada... was a horrible wedding. <laughs> it, it was a mess. Jada was sick. sick. She yeah, was yeah, very yeah, unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Self Destruction, all it all makes sense. Jada was a mistake. <laughs> and then they all laugh because they know Jada is an, actually, in fact, unpleasant. <laughs> it's true. She's a bitch. <laughs> wouldn't cope. I she was sick. She she sick wouldn't yeah. cope. CJ should have been at this one, too. He would have been like, God damn, Ma. <laughs> she looks miserable in this picture. She doesn't look quite right here. Like, Will's yeah. doing his best. Will's doing his best Carlton face here, and she's like, <laughs> "I wish I was over at his crib." <laughs> you were six anything. months pregnant at the wedding. No, I was no. three, three, three months. Three months pregnant. Yeah, the wedding, so yeah. she was having My all that first trimester sickness. Was yeah. Oh, it was horrible. horrible. And I was so horrible. upset that I had to have a wedding. Yeah. I was so pissed. We, I we... went crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get married. Yeah. Married. <laughs> Cried the whole way. <laughs> and I was down like, the aisle. I was like, hey. And we was like, hey. hey. Like, oh, oh, she'd be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. This is painful. <laughs> this, this hurts. Yeah, because that was one question I forgot to ask. She said that she never wanted to get married. Did you? There wasn't a day in my life that I wanted anything other than being married and having a family. Wow. From, like... Well, thank the good Lord. Literally five years old, <laughs> I was picturing what my family would be. Wow. What was the fundamental bump about the idea of marriage in general? Uh, that were... That's creep. I... That, that, that's creep, creep, creep. Buzzer, buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, keep in mind, like, uh, his family life around that age when he was five wasn't happy. So, I, I, like, of course he wanted a family of his own so he could get away from the fucked up one he was in. No, I, I can, I, I know for a fact there's not a single fucking small child outside of the state of California and maybe Oregon that would say, when I grow up, 
I want to be a daddy, and I want to have a children of my own, and I want to raise them to be like me. They ain't thinking that. That's not what's going through their head. They're like, my dad and my mom are so mean. I wish I had different parents. They like, I don't just want to build a family of my own. I want to be somewhere else. <laughs> this is shit you expect a girl to say. Yeah. But like I said, keep in mind, like he was, you know, fucked up from an early age, so. You know. I think he was married to the idea of marriage. Mm hmm. All right, let's continue. Damn it. Just, just never really agreed with the construct. Exactly. I just don't agree with it. Yeah. I never have. I still don't. Yeah. Right. Till death do us part is real for me. It's just all of the rules and it's all like of the ideas. It's like you're supposed to do this right. as a wife. You're you supposed know, to do yeah, this as a what, husband. What, like, oh, God, as, as a wife, I just cannot gargle other people's cock. Like, there's too <sighs> many rules in marriage. There's too many. There's just too many. Because, like, what the fuck you talking about, Jada? What rules? Like, lay it out. Because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It mu you must be talking about fidelity. Because y'all got a fucking open marriage, and you don't even call it a marriage anymore. You call it a life partnership. It's like... You just allow... Okay, go ahead. It's like, she says, I can't do marriage, but literally, the rules of marriage are laid out in your fucking vows. Mm -hmm. Like, take care of your husband. Don't abandon him. Don't cheat on him. Etc. It's not hard. Mm. Also, want to follow well, back because I can see some. I saw a message from chat. I think it was from Desperado. Uh, yes. Yeah. What really, Carl? I'm pretty sure that I was like that. I, I can't. I come. Come. Present tense. I come from broken household. All right. I would be lying to you if I said, hey, it never occurred to me that I would want to have a family, because that'd be lying. Any, any guy, any girl that comes from a broken household or comes from some level of hardship in their childhood, they're going to be thinking about not only what do I do when I become an adult, what am I going to do when I have my own adolescence and I start going out in the world on my own, they're going to be starting to think about the things that they want. There are some people, especially personal friends of my own, that they knew when they were in high school, yeah, this guy that I'm dating, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to be pregnant by him. I'm going to have his kids. We're going to go do this. He's going to work at Pratt & Whitney. I'm going to work in a pharmacy, or I'm going to become a nurse, and I'm going to do this. They already knew what their life goals were, and that's the culture down here. It could be different no matter where you fucking live, maybe outside of, like, 90s uh, California in Oregon because they're on some other shit, on their level shit. But realistically, five years old? Five years old? You know you want to be married to somebody at five years old? Male or yeah, female? That's, yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I got to admit. Like, for girls, I could say the very early minimum, if they weren't raised on, like, Disney fantasy and they didn't get reared as Disney princesses, is, like, maybe 11, 12, 13. And it might be put in their head by their maternal side of the family. Maybe. Boys, maybe 16. And that's if they're really, like, emotionally <laughs> mature. I don't say that to chin on anybody. I'm just saying what I'm thinking. I apologize if you feel upset. That is not the way that it was intended. And also, these things are just different, okay? They're just, they're just built different. They're just built different. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go. You're supposed what, to do this. Instead of right. really and what you just, can't do. Exactly. And what you can't do. Right, absolutely. Right? Because of this title, wife, is a the very difficult... The, the accepted, the, the, the conventional, accepted definition conventional definition of wife. Of wife. Right. In the paradigm. In, in the yes. paradigm. I'm not that. Right. I don't know if I've ever said this. You know how I'm a scientist, so everything is science for mm -hmm. me. Yes. I read something when we first got together that the most successful men in history have been married. Right. Right? Right. And for me, I knew that I would squander my life if I was running around. Yeah. Right. Okay. The way my mind works, I can only excel for a woman. Aww. Like, I can't... Aww. I'm not alone. <laughs> you cuck. <laughs> oh, oh, God. 
Stop. Oh, you, 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 you bitch. <laughs> oh, you bitch. <laughs> wait, wait, let me look at that again. Let me look at Mine that. works. I can only excel for a woman. Aww. Like, I can't. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Men are like that, though. Yeah. I think, like, though, I think oh, women fuck. are, are uh, true motivators. Yeah. I can men. understand the what he's th thinking about, but like, oh god, that's so fucking cut. <laughs> so like, oh wait, so wait, so the chat said, oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Alchemist, uh, no, sorry, Alchemy Chan says Will's a bit of a bit of a scientist himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a scientist. I know where the clitoris is. <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, but but like, I can understand what he's saying, but the way that he is expressing his emotion is the most bitch way to say that he could have said that. <laughs> yeah. Like, what he means when he says. Ah, man, I can't excel unless I'm excelling for a woman, is what he means, like, the traditional sense of, I cannot be sure that I know what path I'm going in as long as I have someone behind me supporting my back. Like, he wants to put his work in front of him, and he wants to know that he never needs to spiral around and turn around. Because he's thinking of the traditional, you got my back, I got yours, 12 o'clock, uh, uh, fucking midnight, noon, 6 o'clock, back to back, in the middle of a fucking tirade fight. Just blocking, block, 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 smack, smack, smack. Like he's on a fucking kung fu flick, and that makes sense because that's how a lot of parents actually rear their children to think about their marriages and relationships. It's supposed to be a partnership, and he wants it to be a partnership, but he thinks in like the John Henry kind of partnership. He wants there to be a woman at his back saying, "Just a little bit further, Will. Just, just a little bit harder, Will. You got it. You got it. You got it." And that can work. But not if your partner doesn't want to work with you and your wife's fucking lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Alchemy Chan said, now you see if a woman had said she can only excel for a man, they'd say it's troubling. 100%. Yeah. If she, she's a handmaiden, brainwashed by the patriarchy and all this shit. Hypnotizing her with his semen. Trapping her in the kitchen with misogynistic views and appearances. Living that handmaiden tale, enslaved and raptured to the cock. There's so many ways to explain it. And like, the exact same emotion is technically what a lot of women actually think of in relationships too. Like, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily need to be in a relationship to be fulfilled. They just want to have a man there so that they can turn to someone having proper support because like mm -hmm. there are so many relationships where women get into relationships so that they're not alone so that they have someone to emotionally give their baggage to and then they expect men to just absorb that to absorb the baggage hold it for them eternally and whenever they need to pick it back up and they decide they want to suffer with it they can struggle just in, bleh, words are hard they want to struggle session themselves with it and then they put it back on them like a coat hanger and they go about and do their shit and that's what Jada does. She mm -hmm. wants to have a partner. So, you know, I have access to dick. She doesn't want to be legally married to the state because it's like, God damn, these motherfuckers are all up in my fucking bills and shit. I, I, I want to do this shit. I just, I wanted to be free. But also, I want to come home at night and rest my head on your chest and get some Vicks Vapor Rub and drink some chamomile tea and then you fucking rub my feet. Like, I want that. <laughs> I want a girl boss, but I don't want a girl boss that hard. Yeah. All right, all right, let's let's continue. Thing that I think has has been the greatest motivator and asset for me with you is your absolute refusal to accept anything from me other than the best that I could possibly be. Right, and vice versa. Yeah, I remember me and mommy talk for hours in the morning. There's something about that first thing in the morning mm -hmm. that we 
we literally can talk for two and a half, three hours. But y'all can do that at any time in the day. Exactly. <laughs> Let me just tell you, because that was one of the things that I admired so much about your relationship, mm -hmm. and I recognized that I didn't have it in mind. It's so important. There was a moment that launched our communication. Before we got married, mm -hmm. we were having the party at the house. Remember that? We were playing Pictionary, 20 people around the table. Yes. And Trey is sitting on my lap. He's like one and a, he's like, he might be just about two. In some order, she cursed at me in front of 20 people at this party. She's like, Will, would you shut the f up? Ooh. With Trey. <laughs> she seems really proud of this shit. Ugh. 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 Ah! I'm in pain. Sitting on my lap. Damn. You're in pain? Right. I'm in pain. And <laughs> I grabbed a newspaper and I said, bah! <laughs> Can I talk to you in the other room, please? Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, hang on a sec. What? Huh? This is like the... I don't know why people haven't clipped this part. This is the second most troubling thing about this fucking... Just <laughs> casual, casual abuse? Verbal what? abuse and physical abuse? Uh, all right, let it, we're gonna play that again. She cursed at me in front of 20 people at this party. She's like, Will, would you shut the f up? Ooh. With Trey sitting on my lap. I Damn. remember that. Right? And I grabbed a newspaper and I said, bah! <laughs> Can I talk to you in the other room, please? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh dude, that's not even funny. How is that funny? The worst part is, you didn't even say the context of what was happening that made her say it. It's just like, uh -huh. this, the spirit of fucking niggardly behavior reached into my <laughs> wife and said, Will you shut your bitch ass up now? <laughs> he like, he hit her with a newspaper like a dog. <laughs> Shit on the car. What the fuck? Oh, no. The only reason why I'm laughing is like slight discomfort and like the uh, the thought of it like hitting her over the newspaper like a dog. <laughs> like, no, Jada, no! <laughs> no! I'm cringing or, because you know or, Jada, you, um, not Jada, you know that Willow's fucking uncomfortable as shit hearing this, but she knows the tapes are rolling live and she has to laugh. She went to her bedroom that night, and she just fucking sat down. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Aura Master DX says, that's some powerful niggatry. <laughs> uh, that guy says he hit her in, with a newspaper like a bitch dog. <laughs> John Smith, you cussed out a father while his kid was sitting on his lap. I don't care how hot or intelligent you are. You do that to me in front of my kid. We're fucking done. Also, spousal abuse isn't okay, but I'll make an exception for Jada the Amber. <laughs> all right, all right, let's, let's get back to it. And I was like, right. this joker just hit me on my head with a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a dog. Yes, <laughs> you are. In the other room, and I was like, I said, Jada, this is the deal. I grew up in a household where I watched my father punch my mother in the face. Damn. And well, let's keep in mind you did just, you did hit her as well. Like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I will not create. Did your daughter just say same? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I grew up in a household where I watched my father punch my mother in the face. Damn. And I will not create. A house, a space, an interaction. She with said, a person "Damn, that's where where she said same." Insanity and violence. Mm. If you have to talk to, I don't want to create a space with profanity and violence. <laughs> <laughs> well, not well, he, well. I think he said. I think he specified specify in his house, not like on the stage at the Oscars. <laughs> 
But yeah, that's yeah, that's why you know Will Smith is like dying on the inside because like that's his golden rule: positivity, no violence, no cussing, and he broke all of those rules at the Oscars. That's how you know he's fucking disintegrating mentally. Uh, Claire Jagels, one ninety nine super chat. Jay, I think this is your longest stream ever. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's because of Carl. <laughs> Major Chris, I'm infecting you. I'm infecting you. Five dollars super chat. The more I hear these so called funny stories coming from Will and Jada, the more freaking awkward and toxic that their relationship truly is. Yikes! Yes, yes, yes. Zigzag. I don't want to have to hit you. <laughs> Zaimoku Mizu. They just undermine each other. Jeez. Uh. B.W. Estacado as he violently corrects her with a roll of paper. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I want to know why the fuck no one clipped that. Because that is like, oh, that's just as bad as the other shit. Create a I house of space. Before. These niggas don't watch the show. With a person where there's profanity and violence. Mm. If you have to talk to me like uh -huh. that, we can't be together. Wow. We're not going to use any profanity right. in our interactions. We're not going to raise our voice. We're not going to be violent. I can't do it. Yeah. Oh, I got to make an edit of this because this, <laughs> this is so hypocritical. <laughs> like, it, it hits so different after the Oscars thing. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> now they've just right gullet. Gullet. Huh? It hits right in your gullet. Yeah, like, because they, now they're both just leaning into that shit. She was like, well, you're not going to be hitting me in my head. When I, <laughs> I said, get out. Dang. Right? And she was looking. That was the dumbest crap she had ever heard in her yeah. She was like, wait, so you would break up with me over some words? I was like, yeah, I just <laughs> did. I was like, we're not cursing. Damn. And but she'll accept your wife fucking other people. And like not, <laughs> well, well, I can hear Uncle Phil screaming right now. Well, James Avery is screaming from the other side with Prince. They won't make me come back up there. <laughs> Nigga, what you doing? <laughs> Tupac is next to him saying, nah, bruh, it's too late. It's too late. We can't <laughs> save her. <laughs> All right, let's continue. And her eyes welled up with tears, and she was like, okay, it was 20 years before we used profanity in any conversation wow. that we had. We didn't use wow. any profanity yep. in any... That sounds like bullshit to me, but okay. We never Argument. raised our voices. We voice. never raised our voices. We took communication courses, yeah, all of that. That's beautiful. And communication court like that video of her like talking down to him like a little boy like come on bro <laughs> you just taking abuse uh verbal abuse like because like they she just found a slick way to bring you to heal well like just i was like back curse in. raise my voice <laughs> yeah. and, like no profanity ever not even when y'all was fucking not even That's, when y'all was fucking it sounds like bullshit to me just is to me i don't John Smith is like, cap. <laughs> I'm with Con I'm with John. Cap. Hard cap. Yeah, because like f from what we saw at the Oscars, it's like, come on, come on. <laughs> Excuse me, come on. Never had a, a violence. Never raised never, voice, never, we didn't raise our voice. Even the even the grandma's like, you never raised it. Like that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> we couldn't afford to. We just couldn't because it, it, could, get it could get ugly. We wouldn't have been able to nurture. Yeah. So you're just like that's just a bunch of pent up shit then, because there's no way in hell. Oh yeah, we, we went through a rough. Well, we in our marriage we went through a rough road. There's a lot of like, there's, there's some shit. That, okay, so like. You're, yeah, that sounds like bullshit. And now he's welling up with tears. Like, his eyes are red again. Every time he's at the red table, he got red eyes. <laughs> you full of shit, Will. Come on, bro. You need like Clarisol for your clear eyes. <laughs> Kindness. Love. What do you... 
do with our feelings. With the emotion exactly. that comes when you're angry. You really have to discipline yourself. Right. Like, for me, I had to discipline myself and really handle that within myself to see, okay, what are you angry about? And then come to peace and then go and talk to Will when I can actually have a communication. Right. Yeah. Bullshit. We saw that video. You just know how to demean him and talk down to him without cursing. You just, That's what you learn how to do. That's what you learn how to do. Get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> really, you're not communicating when you're talking to no. each other right. in anger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What I realize is, like, you're beating up on someone you say you love. Love, yeah. Absolutely. Right? Versus handle that with yourself. There have been plenty of times we have to go, I can't do this can't right do now. To go through your thoughts and go just through my it thoughts, out. go cry, go curse, go yeah. kick a tree. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. And, and deal come back and come to the situation back. when you're yeah. calm yeah. And, and, and reasonable. Because then you just create more, more yeah. problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're absolutely. mad about how you got to the argument. The argument. Now you're mad, mad about, about what happened, what happened in, in the, the argument. argument. What you said, what, what you said, did, your tone. Because you can never pull it back. And that was one of the things we learned really Really Real early. Quick. We learned that. You apologize early. a thousand, thousand times. times. You never get it back. back. And you get addicted to it also. Yeah. yeah. And that, that. You get addicted. Like, yeah. like if you keep on doing if you, it. You, yeah. Once you call somebody a couple yeah. times, it's real easy it's to real repeat easy it. It's real easy to yeah. repeat it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And to just <laughs> go we, to that. I'm telling you, Listen, me and Will were not the ones. We were not the ones. We would have killed each other. These kids could have heard all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it would have gone bad. Yeah. We would have killed each other. Oof, that's a bad omen. <laughs> there is a broken timeline where this marriage works out if they had just gotten a BDSM. <laughs> yeah, this uh, uh and and considering that Will Will Smith is we know now is prone to violent outbursts at random. This is just not Oh, this is scary. It's scary. Yeah. And we both instinctually knew We that. knew that it could go wrong. I pre-planned the things that I would say when I was in that place. Exactly. So I, I had stock things. I would say, um, I'm impaired. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't be loving right yeah. now. I can't be kind yeah. right now. So you have to let me go. Yeah. And when I come back, I will come back in a way that is the way you deserve me to deliver myself to you. Or wow. he would just be like, I'm going to leave before I knock your head off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll, see you. I'll see you in a minute. You know what I think is really strong? And the, the thing with the two of us that... You know what the fucked up thing about this is? Mm -hmm. uh, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, I can tell you from experience with my ex fiance and all of my fucking exes, um, walking away from an argument, it can be helpful, but the emotion doesn't leave. You just put it on pause. It's just paused. You don't forget your anger. It's just, you're not in your anger. It's kind of like what I was saying earlier about love. Uh, emotions are things that you feel Physically, biomechanically, the, 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 the scientific side of yourself, all that shit, right? But emotions are a state of being, m much like joy. And anger is a state of being that you're always in. You're just not accessing it, okay? <laughs> not accessing your anger is a decision. When you are easy to slip into making the decision out of anger and saying things in your rage you lose yourself and that's when it starts going from just normal he's upset because i upset him with something that would be upsetting to well he's wrathful so he decided he wanted to take oh honey i didn't mean to fuck up your shoes and he's backhanded me across the face all the time mm -hmm. Th this shit is noxiously toxic mm -hmm. because when it's men it becomes the addiction of, well, I want to be angry because I can't physically attack you, so I'll instead create an environment of toxicity where you'll say words to me and I'll put holes in the wall. And when it's women, now it becomes the insidious psychological form of torture. Because unless your wife is a bodybuilder, society is not going to look at her and say, oh, bro, she just slapped you. She it, it, literally fucking this shit with fucking Johnny Depp. I didn't hit you. I was just I was slapping you. I, I, I was I was punching. You. I was lightly tapping. You. I wasn't hitting you. It didn't hurt. But it's like, bitch, yes, it did. So the next time you hug me, I'm going to flinch. 
Because I don't know if you're going to hit me. I don't know when you're going to attack me. I don't know what you're going to fucking do. The shit will never leave. And that shit will grow into both resentment and anger. <laughs> no matter what you fucking do. I don't care if you're not cursing. I don't care if you swear like sailors. I don't care if you're hate fucking in the middle of it. You can be mad. You're allowed to be mad. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to be violent. Anger <laughs> and violence are not the same. Because your anger is emotion. Your violence is emotion spurred with action. I'm not going to put a hole in the wall by yelling at it. I will put a hole in the wall by lifting my arm and punching it. Mm -hmm. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Albatross, five dollars super chats. If a relationship needs this much code talking, explosions, and weird crap to keep it afloat, uh, then for the love of God, just break up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get back to it. We're almost done, kinda. Tension. We were always in sync on a couple of really powerful ideas. We were always building a family. Yep, always. We were always building. That was building, our number one priority. That was priority. our number one priority. Family. We were family. That until this day. Yep. No matter what, family. Yes. Yeah. No matter family. what. So everything else that might have gone awry or crazy. We had cross intentions sometimes that yeah. that made us collide. Yeah. Right? That was one of the, the major difficulties that we had. Because right. externally, everything was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. As a couple, we are magical. Mm -hmm. We win in the material world. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we do it together, we win. Mm -hmm. Right? The Karate Kid whipped my hair, Hawthorne, <laughs> and the Nobel Peace Prize our family did that within a six-month period, right? That's crazy. So, I didn't know that. I was like... Oh, shit, I forgot she was on board. <laughs> but yeah, I love how, oh, yeah, we win because we love each other and we're together and love and he's talking about accomplishments and shit. He's talking about, like, eh. Like, let's be real. Like, uh, Hawthorne didn't last that long. Whip my hair was... Uh, one hit wonder shit, like the shit was only hit for like five minutes. And, uh, you know, Karate Kid, uh, so, <laughs> like your family isn't that great, doesn't produce that stuff that's that great together. I mean, come on. Now we all know why the bully was beating his ass in the Karate Kid. <laughs> and, you know, just like, he's not talking about like, oh, we love each other and we're toge togetherness. We win because we're a tight family. He's talking about accomplishment. He's talking about a job. He's talking about, like, family business shit. Albatross, what the fuck is Hawthorne? <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to remember that goddamn show. It was on for a little while. I like, I think maybe for, like, a season. Hang on, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I feel like it had two seasons. It was some kind of fucking medical drama shit. It was trying I mean, to be, like, it was, like, a different version of Grey's Anatomy, but shitty? Let's see. Oh, god damn it. I clicked the wrong thing. Let's see. It was on from like 2009 to uh, 2011. Episode guide. Three fucking seasons. You gotta be kidding me. Chat says that Hawthorne was like ER, and it didn't last because she was caught sleeping with her co-star before the show even started. Whoa, what? <laughs> J wait, so Jada, right? Uh, BWS, God, I'm I'm very dyslexic. Chat, uh, BWS, yeah, B it, BWS, Cato, uh, can you confirm that? Yeah, please confirm that because that's some shit. Because wasn't this right around the time of her, uh, um, what the fuck? Yeah, this was right around the time of her uh, midlife crisis, quotation marks. You mean her horror awakening? Yeah, like right around this time, 2009, 2010, right around there. Yeah, okay, BW says, yeah, Jada, it, and, Jada and it was Jennifer Lopez's husband. I, what? <laughs> Whoa! What? How did I not know this? 
Well, might as well just call this bitch Poison Ivy, because this bitch is just an entanglement after entanglement. Wait a minute. Okay, let me look up J-Lo husband um, timeline. <laughs> this is about to, we about to go off. To do some, we're going to do some sleuthing. The long bone sleuthing. Uh, husband timeline. Hang on, hang on. The plot thickens like her discharge. Fuck J Lo. Well, that would uh, that would explain why they've never been. Because you you think that someone like Jada and J Lo would be tight because they're both kind of got that like oh they're you know. Yeah, J Lo hits me as a person who doesn't actually take up all the glitz and glamour of her profession. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a bunch of celebrity women and singers that are like this, especially people like Nelly Furtado. But you don't ever hear about them. Sean P. Diddy Combs, no. Chris John, is it Chris John? No. Why am I being hit with an ew, Carl? Was it Mark Anthony? I don't okay, know. Wait, wait. Well, Jay, uh, Lopez and Mark Anthony married June 2004. Welcomed their twins, Max and Emmy, in February 2008. However, they announced their split in July 2011. Hmm. Has he ever been on Hawthorne? <laughs> Has he ever been on Hawthorne? Hang on. Let's look at Mark Anthony. Because he's an actor, too. Keep that in mind. He is also an actor, so let's see. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Then again, he could be just, he could have been just like visiting the set and fucked the her. I don't know. Yeah. I was asking Chad why they why I was getting into you. He was one of my jokes. That's appropriate. Actor. Zigzag says, Jay Longbone does her hair oh, up sometimes. Oh, shit. He was in Hawthorne. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck! Damn. Damn. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Damn. Damn! Damn! <laughs> and right, right when the show ended is when they is when he called it quits with J-Lo. Right in, when the show ended. Damn. Like it ended. It ended in two thousand eleven. Well, on a positive oh note, Jay Longbone does her hair up sometimes, but that's the only really glamorous thing that she does sometimes. Who the fuck said that? Zigzag. Oh. Well. Hey, this means it's time Hawthorne. for a hair change. She was fucking Mark Anthony. Oh my god. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hawth Hawthorne. Series run. Oh. God damn it. Let me go to Wikipedia. Okay. J Lo and Mark Anthony called the quits in July, and the show ended August 16th. 2011. <laughs> so I'm guessing maybe they got caught uh, before that season even started. And they were just like, fuck it. After the season, we're done. We're, we're fucking done. Because we're not. We can't do this. She huh? fucked J-Lo's husband. <laughs> because you'd think J-Lo uh, would have been on Red Table Talk at one point. This is, a sh this is the type of show she would do. Definitely. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, I've always found it weird that they never really interacted. I always found that weird. God damn, she fucked poor Anthony. God damn it. And he, I knew, oh, God. I don't think it's really that surprising. Didn't he cheat on his first with someone else? I think. I thought, didn't he cheat with J-Lo or no? Uh, I believe that's correct. 
Yeah, ADT said the exact same thing I was saying. He's a good singer, but a bad husband. He cheated on his first wife with J-Lo. Uh. <laughs> God damn. Uh, BW, the, the affair killed the show. People loved J-Lo at the time. Damn. See, I bet you that's why Jada Pinkett hasn't really gotten anywhere in Hollywood. Probably. Yeah, she's got people, that Kristen Stewart pussy. Yeah, because people probably like really love J-Lo. She's probably like real professional, probably not bitchy. She's probably just like, you know, just you know, real nice to be around. And when you find out some bitch ruined her marriage and fucked her husband, like you'd be like, don't hire that bitch for nothing. <laughs> like putting a bug in everyone's ears, like, don't don't you fucking hire that bitch for nothing. She'll fuck your man. She'll fuck your dogs and your cats. <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so this was right around the time, I think. Yeah, this was around um she had her little birthday party thing. And he was like, she was like, fuck you. Like, uh, she, uh, yeah, it was right around the time. What, what, something happened specifically around 2010 and some shit. I forgot what it was exactly. Hold on, let's keep watching this shit. But like, oh my God, she, <laughs> she, she don't will with Mark Anthony. I mean, I kind of get it, but I, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. In the hell out these kids. Like, <laughs> we are killing it. She on Hawthorne. The only interview that Barack Obama did when he won the Nobel Peace Prize was me and mommy. Wow. Right? Externally, our family was winning. We, we did Hawthorne. And then your mother's pussy, like, blew the whole thing up. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Right? Wow. And there was a period where mommy woke up and cried 45 days straight. I started keeping a diary. Damn. Wow. You miss some days. <laughs> <laughs> it was every morning. Uh, yeah, that's not normal. It's not good. Julian, Julian Gonzalez, J-Lo's been on Wendy Williams. She's been on Wendy Williams over Red Table Talk. That's just, yeah, that should tell you everything you need to know. Should tell you everything you need to know. Because Wendy Williams is trash. <laughs> Ugh. That's, that's dollar bin shit. Who but wants holy, dollar store Tyler Banks? Fuck. Yeah, really. But holy shit, how can you mention Hawthorne knowing your wife fucks someone else on set? Why would you do Don't mention that as one of your successes. Why would you? Because it wasn't a success because it blew up because of your wife's pussy. <laughs> what if he didn't know? Did he know? If everyone else knew, like, and the show failed because of her, like, he had to have known that. Come on. But, like, come on. We know by now, like, the delusion runs deep in his family. Come on. Like, come on. He knew. And he, he, he listed that as, an, as a success anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's play. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. Wow. I was failing miserably. Mm -hmm. But on the outside, I was winning. Like, I was, built a house and called the house her lake, right? And during that time is, I remember saying, like, I built this house for you. Mm. I called it her lake. And she said, you built this house for you. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, Jada? <laughs> But it was. And he built a house for her? Oh, God. Oh, God. It was devastating for me to accept that I built the house for me. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, in my mind, yeah. I was saying my I was building it for bye. her. But I wasn't. Yep. Yeah. I wanted this house. Exactly. I called it her lake as an ego cover. Yeah. Right? And Jada was calling me on that. Yep. Right? What I realized. Uh, it, but did you? Yeah. But like, wasn't this after you hit her over the head with a fucking newspaper and said, we're not, you know, don't outwardly, <laughs> uh, don't outwardly disrespect me. Just do it in very negative, uh, po in very passive aggressive, vindictive ways. That's so, I don't have to relive my, so I don't have to relive my childhood. 
That's some chicken head fucking don't chill on me in public, chill on me in private. <laughs> is I was building a picture. Yep. Yes. Right. I grew up in a household where I was scared and watched my father beat my mother up, right? So I was going to build the complete opposite of that. Yeah. It's going to be Wonderland. Yeah. Everybody's going to be happy all the time. Come on, Willow, let's play. Yeah. Right? Even though I was saying no all the way. Yeah. Will, the house is too big. Will, too not big, this. Huh? No, Will, not, and he... But you living in it. You fucking living in it. You didn't sell it. You didn't sell it and get a, you got a smaller place, and your kids are grown. They're not living there. At least I don't think they are. You still fucking living in it. Don't give me that shit. Oh, it's because of your ego, Will. It's your ego. You could have sold that fucking house any time. You still living in it. <laughs> You're still living in a, in the monument. Uh, you know, apparently, the monument to his ego. Shut the fuck up. It's wild. So, we're so profound. Like, oh, well, yeah, I'm so above these materialistic trappings, but I'm still taking advantage of it. Get shut the fuck up. You still living in this fucking house? You didn't sell the shit. <laughs> you didn't convince him. Um, like, hey, look, 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 just just sell it. We'll get like a nice little cabin somewhere. Get away from this Hollywood shit. You did not do that. You kept the shit going anyway. She's awesome. I'm above the material possessions, but I enjoy them while I have. Them. <laughs> oh boy Gary Thomas well Jaden isn't living there for obvious reasons yeah well yeah naturally <laughs> he had a picture I had a picture and I had a public perception he had a public he had creator. Hmm? wait what'd you say He's on Bussy Adventures with Tyler, the creator, and Frank Ocean. <laughs> Project of, of our relationship, mm -hmm. of the family, and what my kids are, and what my wife is, and what we are yeah. in the world. Did you ever feel like Jada was ungrateful? Hell yeah. Look at everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he's not wrong in her face. It's like, hell yeah, ungrateful bitch. <laughs> well, at least he's honest, you know. He's not, at least he's not lying about that. That I've done for you. Yes. yes. That was another you thing. Ungrateful. But yeah. that was the other thing because there were times I felt ungrateful because I was. You were. <laughs> there was times I'm like, why are you surprised by that? You were fucking were. <laughs> you still are. It's like, look at your life. Yes. Yeah. How could you be? so unhappy i used to think i was crazy right yeah. and i think that's actually how how i felt when i first got wind of your discontent it wasn't yeah. that i thought that you were ungrateful i just didn't understand like what what's wrong what, what what's, what's wrong? what could possibly be wrong but that's why i couldn't you talk to well. anyone <laughs> and that's what everybody thought <laughs> but jada's an actress but she had two babies and she had to be home to raise her babies while I got to do everything I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. She but... was sacrificing herself to fit my picture. Right. Yeah. But my life Didn't wasn't really, really disrupted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, like, that's bullshit. There are plenty of fucking actresses out there to get, even with the babies, like, they be killing the shit. Even with babies. They be killing it. Like, just fucking admit your wife's not that fucking talented. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Even with babies, you got, like, fucking actresses who kill it. Who, like, there'll be chicks who be like, look, I gotta go off and have kids. We need to slow down production a little bit. Or, like, f or film around me. Like, fucking, um, uh, that chick, Mariska Hargitay from SV SVU. She got pregnant, and they filmed around her ass. She did not, there was no, like, oh, I can't act anymore. <laughs> they filmed around her ass. They were like that, like yeah. Let's put a. Let's, they were. I remember they were talking about it. Um, in a behind the scenes thing, they were like, "Oh, we put a file on her uh, for over her belly to make sure no one saw like her pregnancy bump." People like, like they filmed around her ass, cause she like yeah, cause like she had that baby, but she was killing it. 
she was like the most uh the, the highest paid fucking actress at the time so that so that whole we had babies that's bullshit <laughs> that's bullshit your fucking wife wasn't getting any calls that's what the fuck it was you think she wouldn't have taken the opportunity to jump at that shit and hired a nanny or brought the grandmother over get the fuck out of here your wife wasn't getting calls <laughs> your wife was not getting like her kids aren't even kids anymore and she still is not in in anything she just does this fucking show and she does it from home <laughs> she just doesn't go on lo location so what the fuck I, that's, a, that's an excuse that's an excuse Bullshit. Will did not slow you down. You were you didn't have anything. <laughs> you didn't have shit. Let's be real. Uh. In the least, right? And I think that was the if if there were an individual most poisonous aspect of our relationship in the past, is I felt that money and winning made a good relationship. Yep. We're succeeding in the world. That means our relationship is good. And I would say to him, I would go, Will, throw away everything that's happening in the outside world. Your career, everything. And it's just me and you on, a, on an island. Mm. Damn. What do we have? And I was like, we have the island. We own the island. <laughs> <laughs> you know no, what I mean? Right. And it was like, I so didn't comprehend. But see, that's, been, that's indicative that. so of their relationship i don't think it's all i don't think it's, it's not 100 percent his mentality it's also because he knows he doesn't value this bitch he knows she ain't shit that's because they can't say they can't say oh yeah you're a piece of shit they can't like raise their voice apparently can't raise their voices and curse at each other so they have this passive aggressive shit like yeah i don't, I don't really fucking value that, value you that much <laughs> yeah if it was just us on an island what would you be like yeah i got a fucking island <laughs> You can drown. <laughs> but he can't say that. He can't say that. Me and you on an island, what do we have? Not only did I not understand, I didn't care. Right. I was unaware of what it meant to truly connect with somebody. I'd been trying to live up to an expectation for Will. Yeah. And you know, you were trapped in a life that you didn't build that, I didn't that you build, didn't want and that i didn't mm -hmm. want but that i had to come to the understanding that right. i allowed myself right. to have you accepted all of that because of your fear mm. yeah absolutely and that's the truth Damn. Mm -hmm. fear fear my ass you were not getting calls you weren't that interesting as an actress after a while like there's some movies you were fucking good in but I think after a while, people were like, eh, do we really need her? We already have what? Uh, who we already got? We got Halle Berry. Fuck, <laughs> fuck we need her for? <laughs> like, you, you, I can, I can understand how, like, a producer or whatever wouldn't know how to place her. Because she's kind of, like, too masculine. She's too short. She's kind of, like, boyish shape. Like, like, Halle Berry's got everything she has and more. Like she and more acting talent. So, Carl, you there? Yes. You just <laughs> you haven't said shit. But anyway, she the chat, has... the chat didn't need more of me. Huh? Oh, the chat did not need more of me at that moment. I made myself okay. scarce. Okay, so like Halle Berry, like like like, cause that's how like producers, that's how I would believe. Like they they fucking think they they're gonna like oh we already got a, a one of a kind black chick. Who can rock a short hairstyle? Who's hot? Who can pull off a lot of roles? And shit. We already got one. We don't need another one. <laughs> and like Jada, like like unfortunately, Jada can only play like hood rat chick type shit because that's what she was like. That's I, uh, like the roles I listed: Low Down, Dirty Shame, Demon Knight, uh, Low Down, Dirty Shame, Demon Knight. Set it off. All hood rat chicks. They all are. That's what all she can play. Because that's the only thing. Like, that's when she's the most interesting. In Girls Trip, she played some, like, uptight conservative chick. And I'm like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I, well, you know what? It's been a long time since I've seen that. I got to rewatch it because I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember that fucking flick. Uh, Eric Saul, 499 Super Chat. Hold up. Is this, is this the Room Smith edition? 
you got the grandma, the cheating wife, and the main actor with an echo. Uh, John Smith, I appreciate your input, Carl. Thank you, uh, John. Uh, PSQ, she's too hood. <clears throat> she's too hood, not funny, not classy enough, not quite earthy, not a wife or girlfriend for movies. Gabrielle Union took all those jobs away back in the day. Yeah, that's, yeah, she's another one. She's another one. Even though she mainly played bitch roles. She played the ice queen or she played the conservative bitch that wouldn't stop being up in one's ass. Mm -hmm. She was losing her roles to Halle Berry, Neil Long, Gabrielle Union, and that one hood rack chick from ATL. Hold on, I'm gonna look up her name. Yeah, well, to continue while you're looking it up, um, it's hard to place Jada anywhere. <laughs> it's hard. Like you heard, like one of the one of the producers' complaints when she was, uh, um, when she was auditioning for Fresh Prince is that she was too short. <laughs> that that would, which yeah, she kind of is. And honestly, she's a little bit too boyish. Like back in the '90s, that shit would work for probably like a, for a show like. Fresh Prince Bailey, but like, yeah, they are like, she, she was too short. Too short. Lauren London. Lauren. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know her. I know of her. Well, yeah, bitch, it's not fear. You weren't getting calls. You were doing all kinds of shit. You were trying to become a musician. You had that show, but you literally fucked your way out of that one. <laughs> you had, you were trying to be a musician in, in two different genres. Had your own show. You try to get back into movies, but you're like, it's fucking awkward because you're, play you're playing against type. And, um, like, you tried to be a director. She tried everything. Fear is not her problem. <laughs> it's just, she just sucks. Kinda. She doesn't suck enough in the right places. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Anyway, let's let's round this off. Like we're almost there. We're, we're almost home, baby. Fear of just fear of not wanting to rock the boat. I had kids, yeah. Yeah. you know, and just wanting to, you know, because he's a force to be reckoned with. It's just a lot of stuff you let slide and go past that angers you, and right. you get resentment. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, but you don't change it because you're scared. You're scared. At, the, yeah. at the end of the day, it's about fear. And Bullshit. You had more jobs than a fu yeah forget it. <laughs> you have more jobs than a fucking illegal immigrant. Shut up. <laughs> oh, we forgot one. Taraji P Henson. That was another one. She was using roles too. Yeah, but see Taraji, she's completely. Um, Taraji fucking. She's a cougar. She she goes for it. <laughs> yeah, and then like she completely um, what the fuck you call? Well, this is the word I'm I'm look I'm reaching for and I can't quite get it. She. Became more versatile. She's too talented for anyone to ignore. And she could play against type at times. It depends. Like, it depends on what she's doing. Yeah. But then, you know, Jesse fucked that up for everybody on Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Anyway. And that was around the time when Willow went, oh, I was so mad at you this day. <laughs> When you put your hand on my face. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And Willow, me and Jada are going through it. And Willow was like, oh, daddy, it's so sad. And she puts <laughs> a, she's putting her hand on my face. She's like nine. And Jada was in the kitchen. And she's like, mommy, isn't it sad? <laughs> and Jada said, what? She said, daddy has a picture of a family in his mind. And it's not us. <laughs> Your 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 daughter should know that at age nine, <laughs> she shouldn't be. How, how the? F <laughs> That's pretty base for a teen, for a small child to say. Not like the cool base, like the cringe base. Yeah, yeah. Your nine year old should not. What the? F Just like with the Tupac letter, it's like what the fuck is going on in this house? <sighs> Are we sure that Will Smith isn't, like, a living Tyler Perry experiment? A Tyler Perry psyop. <laughs> like, I'm just expecting, like, we wait a year, he's gonna come out with a film just like that Boyhood movie, mm. and it's gonna be like, this is what happened to Will household when I put them up to it. Oh, 
Jesus. <laughs> oh, and they're laughing like it's funny. It's not funny. That is horrible. How does your fucking child know about your emotional damage before you? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. The thing is, it was such deep truth, but I was just seeing the obvious. <laughs> yeah, I was like, out of the mouth of babes. Out of the mouth of babes. Out of the mouth of babes. Mommy, isn't it sad? <laughs> yeah. And I think for me, the turning point in our relationship for me happened when I turned 40. Mm. I, I just, 40th birthday. Yeah, I year, just yeah. couldn't. I was just, like, just fed up. I, I, was, I was like, I just, I can't, I can't. Oh, here it goes. Do this like this Yeah, anymore. but that's part two, though. Unless Next time at the red table. For longer with this shit. Woman, you know I don't have anything to do. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm going to be forced to do this. Um, but yeah, it's just, ugh. Forced or motivated? But she said, like, her 40th birthday, and she said she's, like, 47 around this time. So this was, like, around 2011. Right around the time <laughs> she fucked. What's his name? <laughs> oh, God. This is so fucked up. She, right around the time she fucked Mark Anthony. Yeah, she was basically doing everything that you think Will would be doing. Midlife crisis. I'm growing on fucking people I'm not supposed to. Blowing up projects. And she got the nerve to talk to talk here about feminine energy and fe women. We always have to be, be, be. Shut the fuck up. You're so goddamn phony. You're literally um, the, 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 the dysfunctional man in the relationship. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm done. I'm fully convinced that he fucked the dog shit out of Margot Robbie. I am. I, I believe that with 100% of my soul. Yeah, maybe. But I think he's like too delusional to do it. You know what I mean? Like too emotionally damaged. Not because, I'm not like like not like I'm not saying he wouldn't do it because like he's moral. Like, it's like he's just so fucked up, and uh, he believes in like the sanctity of marriage. I'm never getting divorced. Like I don't think he I don't think he'd do that. Like he'd get into the room, they start kissing, she starts blowing him. He's like, no, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. My family. <laughs> I, I I I honestly believe that. Like he's so fucked up, I don't think he would do it. Like, maybe there was some flirtation and shit, definitely. But I don't think he went went through with it. That's just me, though. Like, that's the way I'm reading it. Well, let's see. All right, part two, and then I swear to God I'm done. I'm fucking done after this shit. Oh, it's going to be two o'clock before... Oh, God. <laughs> Now, this screen is smaller because, uh, I don't know, I, there's something weird about Facebook. I don't know what, what it is. It's breaking down. They're losing their money. <laughs> da, da, da. Zoom in. There we go. Will and I shared some very private truths about our relationship. I was building a picture. I felt that money and winning made a good relationship. Just like any couple who's been together for close to 25 years, we went through every emotion. There was a period where mommy woke up and cried 45 days straight. And one day mm. our marriage came crashing down. I was failing miserably. I can't do this like this anymore. We came to the realization that we had to redefine our relationship. This is our journey to finding unconditional love. We're back at the red table with Will because back in hell. episode one was not enough. With Will. So we're going to continue the conversation. What was your hardest time in our marriage? Right before I fucked Mark Anthony. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, I still can't get over that. God damn it! <laughs> I think the turning point in our relationship for me st happened when I turned 40. Mm -hmm. That's when I had a midlife crisis. Yeah, your 40th birthday was my low point. The day after her 37th birthday, I hired a team to orchestrate her 40th birthday. I hired a documentary team. I right. traced mommy's family roots. 
her 40th birthday was going to be my thing. It was going to be a splash. It was going to be a splash. Mary J. Definitely Blige. Was a splash. Mary J. Blige performed. I debuted the film, all of that. It was going to be the thing that lifted her out of this midlife crisis. And she, it was going to be my deepest, most beautiful proclamation of love. And we did it. And I had found tapes of Jada's grandmother. And her grandmother had recorded these voice messages over the last, like, eight months of her life. Wow. And it was tapes that Jada had never heard. Wow. So Jada had to sit there and listen. I, I understand thoroughly now. At the time, I didn't. But she's listening to these never-before-heard tapes. Of oh, is that, the, is that the day? She looks fucked, like... <laughs> She looks miserable. <laughs> and he got circles around his eyes. What the fuck? Yeah, this is misery right here. <laughs> misery. <laughs> misery. <laughs> oh. Anything to add, Carl? Well, needs to get his dick sucked immediately. <laughs> but you can just tell she is just done of one of the dearest people she's ever known in her what life. Actress does she in look front like? of all of these people. So she's, she's Oh, she looks like Zoe Saldana here. Together. Then I have Mary J. Blige performing the whole time. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the little boy that wants mommy to say everything was wonderful. Yeah. Right? Mm. And she yeah, this, Oh, look at that face. It looks like it's just a face. Yeah. <laughs> this man is turbo simping. Turbo oh. simping! That's a bad marriage <laughs> picture right there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cap that. That's ooh, ooh. Jesus. <laughs> and Willow in the background just staring, staring into the abyss. This is like a picture from a cursed creepypasta album. Oh, it is. Like, oh, th this family died of a murder suicide five years ago. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. She's having a really difficult emotional time. And then when we got back to the room, it was me, you, and Mommy, and we were talking about the next day, and there were things planned for the next day, and she said, I'm not sure I want to do anything the next day. You, you can just cancel it. And I said, well, we can, let's keep it, and then tomorrow you can decide. She was like, I'm telling you now, I don't want to do anything tomorrow. And I was like, well, it's okay. It's okay. We'll just I, 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 oh, fuck. God damn it. Just wait and I've see. Like, I've already been fucked out by Latino dick. All right? Like, I'm all fucked out. Don't feel like, I don't feel like seeing anybody. The shame is too much. I can't look at people in the face. I think that's what it was. I think that's what, that's why she was so pissed off. What, one of the reasons. Because she was ashamed of that shit. And she didn't want to look at, look at all these people who came there for her. All that money being spent on her trash ass. And she didn't want to fucking look at anyone in the eyes. <laughs> knowing she fucked Mark Anthony. <laughs> and and ruined her chance at a television show. I think that's what it was. I think that's one of the reasons. <laughs> that she wasn't having it. Or maybe she fucked him to get out of the, get out of the marriage. And she probably thought, oh, if, if I fuck Mark Anthony... Like in in my office or whatever on set, Will will finally divorce me, and I don't have to put up with this shit anymore. I don't know. Just thoughts. It wouldn't have been on set unless everybody was off of the soundstage. Well, they it, it, well they the, the rumor was like BW said like they she was caught d uh, fucking him. So either well, the next is fucking lazy. Well, so either like it's one of two scenarios either. One of, like, the set hands or, like, the set people on set caught her. Or, like, a producer caught her. Which is, oh, my God. Like, how, do, how does that happen? Or J-Lo caught them and then went scorched earth on her ass. Like, as, as an actress. And just, like, like, like this, this bitch is a hoe. Your career is done. It could have been one of those two things. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Jeez. 
Oh, I hate, oh, I hate Facebook. <laughs> I just wanted to have intimate just time. Just intimate time. And I was like, well, I'll cancel tomorrow. She was like, it's my birthday. Yeah. Right? And she's told me that the party was the most ridiculous display of my ego. Ooh. Crushed, right? And to this day, I know I was crushed because it was true. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a party for her. Yeah. And when she really because it was all about called me her. on that, that. I mean, you can still be grateful and acknowledge your husband's faults at the same time. I would have been like, 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 like I get, it. like, it was, the party was great. It was fucking great. But like, just slow it down. Do things intimate and, and just low key. You don't have to go all crazy. Like, I love you. Fine. Like, this is great. This is, but slow down. But she's an ungrateful bitch. And she, it was, pro like, like I said, like the whole Mark Anthony thing. She thought, she probably thought, that like that like that would break up the thing and like she wouldn't ha like that would poke through his perfectionist facade or some shit and it just didn't and she was just pissed off like it was an oh another exp perfect expression of love from this fuckhead <laughs> now I'm feeling all guilty for being a hoe No, it's just shit I'm throwing out there. <laughs> God damn it! That's when I snapped, and I'm sorry. That was the only time you ever heard me snap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And yeah. Listen, and I snapped in front of Willow. It was the only time in her childhood she ever saw me snap, and I saw her look, and Willow starts crying, and I was like, "Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry." She's like, "Just figure it out, you guys. Please, just figure it out. Just figure it out." Aww. Right? And I was like. And this is, that was a display, that moment of like, me having the courage to just say no. No, yeah. yeah. But now, I had to have the courage to un- uh, Okay, but like, you fucking another man wasn't, the, just real wasn't the courage to say no? <laughs> you openly fucking someone you work with who's high profile and married to someone else higher profile than you? That wasn't saying no? That wasn't like a way of you telling him to fuck off? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> you got plenty of balls, Jada. <laughs> Get fuck out of here. Realizing this next 40, I got to do it my way. This next half has to be directed by my picture yeah. for myself. I have to say that when you guys were going through that transition, I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Right because everything was just changing. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I didn't know there was a need for change. There was so much that wasn't me that I was living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So much yeah. inauthenticity. I do think that there are a lot more people living lives that aren't true. Aren't true, that is so painful. To them because of their fear. So <laughs> that is so, so painful that people are just not as happy as us. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck you both <laughs> Carl you still there I'm just sitting here in disbelief <laughs> you know you can chime in whenever <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to make house broken whore funny but I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> that was funny <laughs> Damn. Like, I'm trying to laugh on the inside, but all I run around to is you raggedy, no good bitch. You completely <laughs> decrepit ass pussy. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think my throat hurts from laughing. 
uh, Jake Bobbin writes, uh, oh, JLB, I'm so tired, so tired, damn you, Chicago time zone, I gotta go, bye, bye, like, hey, I didn't mean to keep you got y'all up all fucking night, but like, yeah, I was too interested in how this was gonna be, and I w didn't want to see this part, to see, like, all the context. So I understand, and there's no judgment, I did it. Right. And you know. was some of that what you felt like you had to present yourself to the public? I was much more conscious of public perception than Jada. Yeah. Right? There was an idea I of... Think, I mean, clearly, she's fucking people at her job <laughs> and getting caught. And that's why the, the show ended. I'm more, like, about per public perception. Yeah, we know, Will. We know. We, we know she doesn't give a fuck. We know. Yeah, I was trying to live up to an idea for him. Right. I got some pictures. I was crying so hard after your birthday that my eyes would look so red. I took pictures of myself and I was like, I want to remember this. Mm -hmm. That was a difficult one for me. Yeah. When you stopped clapping when I did things in the exterior world that were great. Willow really broke it for me with whip my hair. In the middle of all the whip my hair stuff, she was on tour and it was, she was having, it was a great show and everything was, Amazing. Amazing. It was like, it was, we were at the top of the world with my hair. It's Blade Jay Z side. It's beautiful. And, she was, and like, she was like, okay, I'm done, daddy. <laughs> huh? That was like, sweetie, you can't, you, you can't be done. You know, you made a commitment. She was like, but I can't, I'm finished. <laughs> I was like, I, I know, sweetie, but you can't be finished. You made a commitment to Mr. Jay Z. He said, no, daddy, you made a commitment to Mr. Jay Z. Wait, did I really say that? Yes. You were like, Daddy, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that I'm done? Ooh. Yes, sweetie, it matters a lot. It does, but you... I mean, like, but that's just like, this is what parents are going to tell you. You start some shit, you know, you got to fucking finish it first before you, like, be like, oh, yeah, you promised what? Promised me on go on tour and shit for Jay-Z? Did you not understand? What, well, she was a, a little kid, but, like, goddamn. This isn't, like, some little shit. Like, if, like, I can understand if it was ballet lessons, <laughs> fine. But this is, like, you going on tour with Jay-Z. Like, well, it's not for, well, not for, like, like going on tour for Jay-Z, not with Jay-Z. I mean, huh? <laughs> that's the point, like, yeah, you have to teach the kid consequences. Like, this isn't, you, but he does, I don't think he teaches them consequences. I think he's just, like, it's just, like, oh, like you, like they're so too acclimated to their Hollywood lifestyle. Like, like he doesn't teach them reality. It's like, hey, uh, this is a job, sweetie. This isn't like a fucking hobby. Like uh, you got, yeah, you got to go on tour. You're like, yeah, because that's contracts and shit. <laughs> now, with that being said, he shouldn't have got her involved in it because she's a little kid. I don't believe in it, like the child actor thing, anyway. Like, like putting a kid on tour for like because that shit takes like what fucking weeks months like when you're like you know what i'm saying eh. yeah it's just it's a, a whole fucked up situation you can't be done she came down the next day and had shaved her head bald i was like does she know what she's doing like that was a deep protest yep what it did for me is I had a crazy realization in that moment. I was building what I wanted yep. for her. And she tried all of the different ways to say, I don't want that. Yeah. I was like, I get it. And I saw for the first time what Jada had been saying the whole time about hiding behind my ego and my dreams and my desires mm -hmm. and pretending like it's love. And I realized she didn't want none of the stuff I had built. The house was too big. There was always too many people here. But she's still living in it. She's still living in it. The house is too big. Well, she's still living in it. Like, don't she, don't she fucking pick up on, hello, the signs, Will. She's full of shit. She's still living in that big ass house she hated. Get the fuck out of here. here. She didn't want to have to travel the way we traveled. She didn't want all of her kids to be getting trolled on yeah. Twitter. Like, she didn't want any of that. And that's why I stopped clapping. And there was a decline from there. Yeah, to have to let go of the picture. Yeah. To have to let go of the dream was devastating. We essentially had to destroy our marriage. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
She was like, I can't do this anymore. And to me, that was, it was over. But I guess what I'm thinking, like, maybe the cheating was, like, a rebellion against Will's per per uh, perfect thing. Like how Willow shaved her head. She fucked around on <laughs> him. Like, everyone's trying to get away from you. Doing destructive shit. Huh? <laughs> like, ah. But for, she, divorce was, was like, never even an option. Shit. I was like, wait a minute, hold it. No, 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 no. Like, There's when no... people, I was reading in the tabloids that we were yeah. getting divorced and all of that stuff. Like, and it was like, it was never even lawyers. a kid. Yeah. I haven't even seen a divorce lawyer. Right. It was like that. But she did fuck Mark Anthony, though. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're ever going to refute that. <laughs> Probably not. God damn it! It was never. It was never, it never even a consideration. My mind. Like, but was it for you? Because I had been divorced before, I wasn't getting divorced again. Right. Okay. Like, so I wasn't. It wasn't. I, like, divorce wasn't an option. There was a time when I was scared that she might. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. I put in too much. Yeah. Period. What is most important to me is my family. You would think about the kids. I was and, thinking about yeah. our family, not even just our immediate nucleus, but we have such a huge yeah. extended yeah. family. Exactly. And I knew that divorce wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do that? Why create all that disruption? But I told Will from the gate, I said, let me tell you something. If you marry me, know this. We're going to be together. We're going to be under the same roof. You might be on one end of that joker with somebody else. <laughs> and I might always be on one of this joker with yep. somebody else. Yeah. And I always be... said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but we're going to be yeah. in this joker together. Yeah. So that's Gator... what we are going to do. That's not what either of us wants. But I don't want to leave this table making people feel like divorce is wrong That's sometimes true. that is what you need yeah. right for whatever you need to discover about your yourself, situation right. and yeah. yourself Absolutely. right but for me personally i knew that there was no reason that he and i would ever we just needed to get to agreement between he and i uh, yeah i was devastated even worse than a divorce we we broke up mm -hmm. within our marriage and got back together again. Right. Yeah. I had to rebuild. I had to rebuild different. with new rules yeah. and something way different. Something way complete. Oh my God! Hang on. Someone chat was like, uh, "Morning, y'all. I have to go to work in four hours." <laughs> Good night. Good night. We're gonna end this soon. Just ugh. completely different. The thing about just it a is broken that you really man trying to, to explain himself to a way. table of women. Oh, is that it? I thought you were gonna keep going. No. Oh, well, whatever. Ways <laughs> to figure out your stuff. Yeah. You gotta be strong enough and understand clearly what it is you're in search for. You know what it is you want, what it is you don't want. Because mm -hmm. right. that whole time when you're when you're in a union, you're pointing fingers because yeah. you're thinking it's your partner. Yeah. Because you guys are so it's close. It's her fault. This it's, house is great. Right. Exactly. This I'm house like, is great. It's his fault. This family she is put great. Me in a golden cage. It must be great because she's still living in it. You know yes, what I mean? Right. And so you have to get your life. I built this for her and she don't even she appreciate it. She don't even appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. A golden cage? This right. is a beautiful cage. <laughs> but you have to go your separate. And she's still living in it, so. Wh whatever. <laughs> she can talk all that shit all she wants. She's still living there. She's still living in it. Cage my ass. <laughs> uh, we go up. Uh, two dollar super chat. Didn't she clap her cheeks for her son's friend? Yes, yes, she did. Uh, Zach Bolito. Uh, good night to good night too. Got to sleep. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Oh. Different ways yeah. and get out of each other's way yeah. mm -hmm. to really see yourself. So I had to go away, yeah. gain my strength as Jada again. Yeah. Not mommy. Gain my strength. Mm -hmm. Fill fill up my womb with cum. That's how I get my strength. It's like Samson in the hair, you know. And uh, <laughs> come back to this cage that I hate so much. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! My wife. Right. Jada Corinne. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Now that's the big one. That's the big one. People say it all the time. I have to find myself. Yo, 
That's real. That's real yeah. talk. That's real talk, right? <laughs> no. I took off for two years. Yeah. Yeah. I worked on myself. I've read 50 books. Yeah on marriage and relationships and behavioral psychology. I was not going to fail in this marriage, right? <laughs> you sound like a fucking robot. But I shut down for two entire years to see what, what was I doing wrong. Fucking divorce her and see a shrink and possibly a spiritual advisor. I'm not like a priest, you know what I mean? Exercise that demon bitch. <laughs> You're fucking fine. <laughs> and then visit a brothel and exercise that demon dick. Yes. And then try to settle down. You got you got good uh, good fifteen years before it all goes to shit. It like in that time, find a nice down home girl that'll that fucking understands how marriage is supposed to work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He, he can do it in the last 13 years. He can spend the f first two just fucking. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But, like, like within that 15 years, like, at least find a chick. Like, f within that 15 years, find a chick. A good chick. Not some ratchet bitch who's still hanging on the Tupac. It's a lot of beating up on each other. Because, mm -hmm. really, what you're breaking down is... All the fantasies. Yep. Right. You're burning away all of your fantasies. Yeah, because that fantasy starts so young. Yes. yes. And you yep. hold on to that for dear life. Yeah. You, that's all you know. Right. Yeah. Ultimately, to have a successful relationship, you have to be in a relationship with a human being. Yeah. Right. You know? An imperfect, flawed human being. Because yeah. what happens was our characters were trying to have a relationship. And if you're going to wear a mask, then the person's trying to love your mask, right. right? They're trying to love the image that you're presenting, but that's not what you really need. Right. Yeah, so I had to punch a guy. I had to slap a guy on the stage of the Oscars to break free of that mask. What I really am is a violent asshole. <laughs> now, yeah, this, is, this doesn't look good after the fucking Oscar thing. It doesn't look good. I mean, it didn't look good back then, but it especially doesn't look good now. I had to slap a motherfucker to know I'm Trill. Like, I'm Will. I'm Trill Will. <laughs> like, this is the real me right here. Like, motherfucker, please. See a shrink. Get some therapy. Right, right. And not no fucking ayahuasca and tantric sex. Like, a real therapist. You really come to understand that there's no right or wrong. Yeah. Everybody's operating from... There's no right or wrong. Oh, only shitty people say that. Only the worst fucking people say that. There is no right or wrong. There's no, no, there's no difference. A place of hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know Everybody's broken. Everybody's broken. And what I realized, the idea that my brokenness created all of my discomfort. Absolutely. Yeah. Mine too. My The fact that I yeah. was broken and I learned how to look fixed to yeah. the world. Yeah. Right. right. Will right. Smith is a character. Yeah. Right. right? But deep down inside, I was an insecure little boy that wanted Jada to say I was great. Aww. Right? And if she didn't say I was great, the dragon came out. Yeah. yeah. But for me personally, I had a lot of emotional maturity to yes. do. I had just realized I had a lot of childhood traumas that I had brought with me that I wasn't aware of. Yeah. A lot of father no issues. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I realized that I had to learn to be a lot of things for myself. Because mm -hmm. I used to think, well, if you don't need somebody, then you can't love them. Right, exactly. Mm. And if you're not yep. needed, then you're not loved. That was a false belief I had. I can't expect someone to love me more than me. That sounds fucked up. <laughs> Dante A. Moses, five dollars. Super Chad will push in Hollywood life on his family is screwed up, and Jada not leaving and bullying Will is too. In summary, the kids are the victims. Yeah, like they think just because oh well, we broke the mask, so like now whatever trash that we come up with in our personalities and in our family life is is completely acceptable, because now we're not living with the mask. Like it's one extreme after the other. It's like, just come fucking midway, goddammit. <laughs> you motherfuckers are, oh, you're awful. <laughs> I, 
gotta let my wife cheat. Because we gotta break from the mask. I gotta slap Chris Rock. We gotta break away from the mask. <laughs> oh, when in reality, everything is just in service of this stupid bitch. Because <laughs> he just doesn't want to lose her. Anyway. <laughs> you know, if you don't like being with you, <laughs> what the hell makes you think yeah. somebody else wants to be with you? Yes, exactly. If you don't love yourself, <laughs> right, that's real we talk. expect people to love us more than we love ourselves. Yeah. We expect other people to do the work for us. Yeah. Right. I somebody... definitely went through that with Will. Yeah. I, th I, I thought it was his job to make me feel a certain way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I had to break that fantasy. Yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. retired. I said, Jada, you know what? <laughs> I retire. <laughs> I am no longer doing the job of trying to make you happy. You know yeah. what? You are free <laughs> to go make yourself happy, and you to can do go anything. Fuck yourself. Yeah. Anything you want to make yourself happy, and you bring your ass back here happy <laughs> just to show me that it's even possible. Yep. Fly Pelican. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was angry, but it's really, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing I had to learn. Yeah. I have to be the thing that I'm Absolutely. asking for. And if I can be it, then I can create it. Absolutely. Yeah. I would say if there were a thing that was the most detrimental um, to our relationship during that time was my unconsciousness. The other side of that is the key to a relationship is understanding your partner's plight, mm -hmm. right? right? There is nothing greater for a human being than to feel understood. Yeah. In 2012, I had built everything I had ever dreamed about. As a little boy, I saw this family. I saw this life. I've been building this. And I was like, no, no, no. What's important is how we're connecting internally, like how we're relating yeah. heart yeah. to heart. Right. We're the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> These are the things that we had to break. Yeah, break, yeah. yes. Come to new understanding. Oh, man. And recreate. Yeah. Will and I have decided to even throw away the concept of marriage. We life. don't even call ourselves married, married anymore. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a life partnership yeah. in the sense that we've created a foundation together mm -hmm. that we know is for this lifetime. For this lifetime. We you have know? devoted ourselves to each other. <laughs> um, in a spiritual sense. In, in a spiritual, spiritual sense. sense. Spiritual, right. emotional. It's like... Whatever she needs, right. she can count on me for the rest of her life. And vice versa. To me, it gives... And vice versa. <laughs> and vice versa. Like, he, he has, like, like, uh, like uh, compassionate, uh, you know, explaining how to be there for her compassionately. And she's like, and vice versa. <laughs> Detached. And mechanical. Okay. <laughs> us the freedom to create a different context Absolutely. first of all for ourselves and not have to live up to the expectation of what right people right. consider marriage to right. be expectations are the mother of disappointment oh my yeah. god i can't <laughs> oh god that's the loser mentality what the fuck um well actually no no i was like i was gonna quote dodgeball but that was about goals but you know it was more about goals but I think it does kind of apply here like oh like uh when Vince Vaughn's character was like I believe if you have a uh if you have a goal there's a chance you might not reach it but if you ne but if you never have a goal you are never set you are never fuck what the fuck did he say if you have a goal you may not reach it but if you don't you are never disappointed. If you don't reach it, you are never disappointed. Or some shit. If you don't have expectations at all of your partner, you're never disappointed when they when they don't when they don't when uh, when you don't when your expectations are not met. Which is fucking sad. <laughs> My wife can fuck whoever she wants as long as I don't expect her to be faithful. If, if I don't expect her to be faithful, then I won't feel like I got cheated on.
when she fucks Mark Anthony. Like, like, when my wife decides to fuck Mark Anthony, if I don't have the expectation that she will not fuck him, then I will not be disappointed when she does. That's Big Willie style. <laughs> Yeah, I can't you know. do him. And now there's no fight. There's no struggle. There's yeah. no me needing him to be something or yeah. do something. There's nothing. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, I missed two super chats. Uh, Giddy328, I think. $2 super chat. You're still suffering. Love your recent video, by the way. Thank you. And yes, we are still suffering. Scapegoat, $2 super chat. Jim Carrey hates me. He's from The Mask. Uh, kill switch engage you are free to fuck mark anthony moonflower viewing jay longbone uh when gotham high eh, one of these days one of these days i will will definitely get to it zaimoku mizu mahler would be proud of you jay oh jesus <laughs> i just really yeah i just realized I've, we've been on for quite a while i'm proud of you i'm proud <laughs> oh of course you are <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I mean, you're not a, you're not on Carl times. Carl's on sixteen hours and shit. But this is good. Jesus, this is Jesus good. Christ! How can you be on for that long? I'm already like feeling this shit. Ugh. Because I'm Carl. I was built incorrectly. <laughs> you, you, uh, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> that we won't be together and love each other. Mm -hmm. And love right. each other through. You know. Love each other through what? And it's not because we just saying it. It's because we've cracked each other's heads hey, yeah. wide open. Yeah. Wow, remember that quote from Gone Girl? Um, sometimes I imagine cracking my wife's skull right away. <laughs> oh, God. So many red yeah. flags. Right? Yeah. And we woke up the next day and high-fived and kept going. Yep. Yep. Right? And I no. think that's the part that we set each other free. Right? And people really struggle. No, you didn't say each other. You're still living in the same house. You're still married. Stop with this fake bullshit. You're still faking it. <laughs> We're happy. We're free. You're not fucking free. Freedom would be you divorcing her ass <laughs> and going off to do whatever the fuck you want, living in your house. She lived in her own house with her own, her red table talk money. Not leeching off of you. Like that's, that, that, that that's freedom. Her being able to fuck whoever she wants and not be like, oh, do I have to have a conscience for Will today? <laughs> like, but whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. Struggle with that. Yeah. The things that Jada needs to be happy, I'm not going to agree with them all, right? I truly have learned the definition of unconditional love. love. And like, to me, that's mm. what it's about. Yeah. I love you. I support you. I'm going to help you be happy no matter what. I don't. I thought you couldn't make her happy. You had to make your, your, yourselves happy. You fucking, you fucking zealots. You don't have to like it. Yeah. I describe it as the day the deal breakers are gone. We don't have any, any deal, deal breakers. breakers. Uh that's not unconditional love, you fuckhead. <laughs> because you're willing to put up with bullshit. Because for one thing, there's always con conditions on love. I think, Carl, you said this earlier. There's always conditions. Come on. Just because you pretend, like, you're still doing, like, the perfect couple thing. You're still doing it. You're just doing it differently. <laughs> you fucking morons. <laughs> doing it incorrectly. <laughs> well, yeah, they're still doing this perfect, happy couple thing. Well, we're just doing it in an alternative hippie way. Get the fuck out of here. Unconditional love. I put up with your cheating and you put whatever. You just tell me to fuck off. That's un un unconditional love. Whatever. <laughs> I always knew. I'm not marriage material. What I am is ride or die chick. Mm -hmm. right. What you okay, so if you're ride or die chick, then you should be marriage material then. That's not you saying. <sighs> wow, I hate her. Uh, <laughs> I'm ride or die chick, but I'm not marriage material. You contradicted yourself, bitch. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you still married to him. You didn't get 
fucking divorce. Like you didn't get the shit annulled. And then all oh, like, all right, look, we're, we've we've gotten rid of that little aspect of our relationship, and we just live in the same house. No, you're still fucking married. <laughs> you just don't call yourself married because you're fucking special snowflake fucking codependent morons. Hang on. Evil Hero Diamond Cat file a super chat. Wouldn't this be fantastic if this ended up being a long, convoluted word farm adventure sponsorship? Oh, God. August Oxymoron. We hate her too, Jay. <laughs> Scatty Wolf. This sounds like a cult repeating the same speak pattern. speech pattern. Oh. Oh, B- BW uh, Estacado says, ride or dies, don't don't ride everyone, though. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, if you were a ride or die chick, you would have been like, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll marry him then. If that's what it, like, if that's what it takes to be a ride or die, like, in this relationship, if that's what he wants. Because uh, that's, like, you just sign in fucking papers and putting rings on your finger, like, uh, I don't know why you read too so much into it. There's so many rules, marriage. So many rules. Like shut the fuck up. <laughs> you are is the best friend that I've ever had. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad. That's not a good, good thing to say. Okay. I can't even rewind ten minutes because it's not ten, ten seconds because I don't even have the same player. God damn it. I don't have to like it. Yeah. I describe it as... Wait, wait, I don't have to... Wait, rewind that. We gotta rewind it further. Truly yeah. have learned the definition of unconditional love. love. And like... to me, that's what it's about. Yeah. yeah. I love you. I support you. I'm going to help you be happy no matter, matter what. what. I don't have to like it. Yeah. I just... Dis- <laughs> what? Excuse me? What? <laughs> To like make it. Like, I'll, I'll do it whatever even though it makes me miserable <laughs> uh Danny Nightblade 45 five dollar super chat big ups to you uh Jay and Carl and everyone in the chat for enduring this super cringe fest for so long I know Jesus Christ this is like a light workout for me uh yeah what he said <laughs> the twitch cuck <laughs> I am not a French cuck. I just do what stupidity in my field of work. <laughs> Moonflower viewing to quote Jay, he would suck his dick just to taste her pussy juices again. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> that, was, that was some good writing on my part. <laughs> Wait, why did you say this? It, I said it in um that Bunty King video, the Bunty Cuck video. The first one. About the first who? Part. Huh? About who? Bunty King. Oh, okay. I thought this was directed at me. No! I had questions! I would never say that to you. That's horrible. (laughs) Oh, boy. Anyway. Describe it as the day the deal breakers are gone. We don't have any Any deal deal breakers. breakers. I always knew I'm not marriage material. What I am is ride or die chick. Mm -hmm. Right. That doesn't make sense. You, that's completely cut. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> what you are is the best friend that I've ever had. Jesus Christ. Even better than like best, more best friend than fucking Alfonso, DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Motherfuckers who have not cheated on you. <laughs> or made you feel small. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the relationships. But like, oof, oof. So fucked up. So warped. Jesus Christ. Yay. Aww. You're the best partner I've ever had. And sometimes that gets lost. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. In marriage. And I think for many years, you and I, oh man, I, I know we really kind of- Tried to fit into the mold. We tried we to tried fit into- We tried really hard. We tried really hard. What we have between us is family and friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a life partnership. Yeah. We are in a union no matter what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We talk about 
any... We talk about anything and everything. everything. And yeah. <laughs> Rough, rugged, and raw. Rough, rugged, and raw. And, we could know... We could break a red table with some of this. Rough, rugged, and raw, just like she likes her dick. <laughs> uh, you walk right into that. We talk about hey. Put a crack in a red Yo, table. real talk. But to me, that's what being in a relationship, it, yeah. that's what I need. And I'm not yeah. saying that's for every woman. That's what Jada needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what Will needs. When people say love, they mean it transactionally. Mm. Right? I love you if as long as you do, do things that make me feel happy. good. Yeah. Yes. If and you don't do the things that make me feel good, or if you, even worse, you do something that makes me feel bad, I don't love, love you. you. And yes. Hey, if you do something that makes me feel bad on like on a daily basis on on top of that. Like if you do something really shitty to me, yes, I'm gonna think you don't love me. Damn, like, well, it almost sounds like those are conditions. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Oh no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. But I'm just saying, like, like, oh, if my wife cheats on me, it doesn't mean she doesn't love me. <laughs> it just means I need to get the fuck over it and find a new way to love her. Get the fuck out of she would not do that for you. You know, damn well, she would not do that for Will. It would not be the other way around. <laughs> and I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect. Myself from you. Right. When you go to sleep at night, knowing you have an unbreakable love, mm -hmm. an unbreakable, unbreakable friendship, mm -hmm. an yeah. unbreakable connection, that's how you want to go to sleep every yeah. night. Yeah, and... That your love for the truth for the of truth. who yes. you are, yeah. not who you think you should be for somebody. Yeah. And that has been the ultimate release and freedom. In my experience, the thing that everybody's looking for is not found in trapping a person to vows. Mm. Yeah. And uh, what, are the, what are the vows again? Love. Honor, obey. I mean, obey is like that's an iffy one. Like they're just very traditional vows, but like that's that's something you can just throw out a little bit. Uh, love, honor, obey. Always be faithful, true. Love me and all that. Okay, so like apparently that's uh. <laughs> See, yeah, it's basically exactly what we thought. She can't fuck other people, and that's a no-no for her. <laughs> She got to be a hoe. That's in her bones. She fuck getting better as a person and learning that maybe fucking multiple people while you have a husband and children is a bad thing. Like and humiliating him on a fucking t TV show. That's your only source of fucking like stuff like identity as a career like, like career wise. Uh, yeah, don't work on that. Just like gaslight your husband into thinking like, into some hippie bullshit. Where I can fuck anyone I want, um, and that's un unconditional love. <laughs> Job done. Releasing each other she from obligations and she can buy a Sibian. She can buy. She has rich people money. She can buy a Sibian. <laughs> but keep in mind, she gets very addicted to sex toys. <laughs> Not to men, though. Not to men, but sex toys. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so full of shit. I couldn't use sex toys anymore because I was getting addicted to them. But I will fuck other people. Makes no sense. None of this makes sense. Just that Hollywood bullshit. That ra that crazy rationalization. Ugh. Crazy. This isn't even about preferences. This isn't about some fucking, oh, you just don't like it because it's not your preference. Listen to these motherfuckers talk. And tell me if this is about preference or if they're in, a, in, a, in an abusive relationship. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Expectations has made all of the moments blissful. We did a thing probably about four years ago. It was like, okay, here's the deal. We're only going to do the things together we love. What happened is we gave each other mm -hmm. 10 days out of the year that we would do what the other person wants. Yeah. Vacation in the summer, she'll come with me because I want to wild out, I want right. to climb a volcano, I want to, and she's, that's not vacation for her, yeah. right? So, but she'll go with me for those 10 days mm -hmm. and then I'll come for Christmas yep. and sit around and yeah. do the same, <laughs> same old stuff the same. we did last year with the same sweater we had on. 
with the same song. Right? She wants to go on vacation, and she wants nostalgia to do the same things over and over again. And when I go... It's called tra tradition. Tradition. No, I get it. And I'm there for... Ten Since when you give a fuck about tradition? You don't believe in marriage. You don't give a fuck about fucking tradition. <laughs> it's called tradition, you silly goose. You always want to be adventurous and stuff. Not like me who fucks people so I can feel alive again. <laughs> These, they're basket cases. They're crazy. <laughs> 10 days, <laughs> right? But... I want to go on an adventure. Right, I don't yeah. ever want to go to the same place right. a second time. Right. And we really gave each other the freedom to, to do both. the things that... We that love to do. The world is my home. Yeah. Uh, wait, go back to that part where he was, like, meditating at the Taj Mahal or whatever the fuck. Am, I'm comfortable. Yeah. And Jada just doesn't Does want to do want that. that. Yeah. To, to do both. the things oh, that, that... We love that, to do. The world... God damn it, miss it again. On an adventure. Right. I don't yeah. ever want to go to the same place right. a second time. Right. And we. Lo Vishnu, please give me the strike not to kill this bitch. <laughs> Vishnu, please give me the strike not to kill this whore. <laughs> please don't make me honor kill this bitch. <laughs> really it's gave cool. each other the freedom to to They're do both. the things that, that we love right. to do. The world is my home. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere I am, I'm comfortable. Yeah. And Jada just doesn't Does want to do want that. that. She yeah. doesn't want it. It's not fun. It's disruptive. She runs around the globe of the soul. That's Ooh. real talk. <laughs> yeah, I do the internal journey. You got Lenny, you got, you got Lenny Kravitz lyrics. <laughs> Like Lenny Kravitz lyrics. Yeah, but that's true. You do the external journeying, and I do the internal, internal yeah. journeying. It took a lot of stepping of Will and I together, mm -hmm. apart, together, a yeah. lot of understanding, a lot of communication, but it took years. Yeah. It and, took years. Yeah. And I would say we are just now getting to a place. Probably, I, I would say the last year. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I've seen a lot of change year. in both of you in the last year. The yeah. last yeah. year has been. The last year. <laughs> the last year. Finally, I, I've seen you guys change and not be dipshits, even though you're just, you're still dipshits, just a different flavor of dipshit. Amazing. The paradox of it all is so crazy. The pain that Jada caused me was the pain I needed to survive to learn how to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carl, I need you to save me, man. <laughs> I can't save you from cringe. I can only lessen the pain. I need to feel that pain. To know. It made me stronger. That's... That is some fucking shit. This kind of cringe doesn't make us stronger. It stretches our holes. This is not a good hole stretcher. I thought those little clips from Twitter that people found on Twitter and shit were bad. Like, in context, it's even fucking worse. It's just like a big old bring down. Like, Jesus. Ugh. I never should have looked at this shit. <laughs> Kill switch engaged like the pain Jada caused me was the pain I needed. And of course she's smiling about it. Fucking bitch. Uh the pain Jada caused me was the pain I needed. <laughs> oh. Uh BW uh uh Estacado. Can we set her up with Chris Brown next? Oh fuck. John Smith, I need pain to be stronger. That's a real, that's a, oh my God, that's a big real, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. am I getting words mixed up because I'm tired or some shit? That's a real big, that's, see, I'm reading that as real big, but it's like, it says big real. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna read it the way it's supposed to be read. That's a real big, uh, abuse red flag right there. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Cause I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> you just typed it weird. And vice versa. Right. I've never been happier. And vice 
or in my life. And vice versa. Once again. God damn it! So, Will, now that we've brought it to the table, are we concerned about all the beautiful rumors that'll now stir up in the media? Oh, it's gonna be a oh mess. My God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's. All right, so hold on. Let's clear some rumors. It's not rumors if you are laying it out in front of fucking people. <laughs> They're not rumors. Is, is that your uh, part of your whole gaslighting thing too? You gaslighting people and thinking, oh, y'all started rumors. No, you're fucking telling people who you are, and they're believing you. <laughs> like, what was that? What was that fucking Maya Angelou quote? If someone shows you who they are, believe them. Like, that's what that's what's going on. You showing people exactly who the fuck you are, and people are believing you. People are following your fucking lead. You want want people? You want to be private? You want to be little Miss Private Jada Pickett Smith? Cancel the fucking show. <laughs> Period. Or stop talking about your fucking personal life on the show. It's that easy. It's it and it costs. Well, it might cost you a little bit because no one will be interested in this show anymore. <laughs> no one will have the tea, sis. But People really it's not annoy possible. Me. No, 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 it's not possible. But just to have it on on record, just think historical rumors. We've never been Scientologists. True. Okay. Um, what else? We've never been. Which is bullshit because like Scientologists can't admit they're sci Scientologists. They can't like really say anything. That's from what, from, not, from what I heard, like, you can't say, like, they can't really say, have, so say, say any details or anything. So that doesn't mean shit. It doesn't really mean anything. It's like, it's like oh, I'm, I'm, like, I can't, like, say, someone accusing you of being the CIA. You're not gonna say you're in the fucking CIA. <laughs> you're not gonna admit that shit. Been swingers. Never been swingers. Never been swingers. If people understood that that's a... Sp Let's People really it's not possible. No, 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 it's not possible. But just to have it on, on record, just think historical rumors. We've never been Scientologists. True. Okay, um, what else? We've never been swingers. Never. But your wife did fuck around on you, and now you're letting her basically do just that. Yeah, you're not swingers, but uh, you got an open relationship. Because your wife's too much of a whore to stop. <laughs> Been swingers. Never been swingers. If people understood that that's a specific lifestyle. That's a really yeah. specific lifestyle. We never been swingers. What else, Cam? What they what they gonna say? It's really your friends that we worried about. You should. <laughs> yeah, thanks for you know, thanks for that. Don't be worried about anybody at all at the end of the day. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, facts, facts. Of course, like she just seems like the more rational one out of all. Of them. <laughs> people gonna believe whatever they want to believe. Yes. And who knows if if you know. Especially if you telling them. <laughs> no, it might change and transition again. Yeah. You know why I never got divorced? It's cheaper to keep me. Because you're a bit... Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is... Just because you say it in a joking way doesn't make it any less true. Yeah, yeah that's number one. That's one, and number two is trauma. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Um... Because I've never met anybody like you, and I knew. A total succubus whore. <laughs> never met anyone as shitty as you. And I and I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. Like fucking Vince Vaughn from Wedding Crashes. Like, yeah, like, yeah I accept your abusiveness, and, and I dig it. Oh, my God. This is so, this is so fucking similar. Anyway. Let's continue. If I wasn't with you, I'd be searching in vain for the rest of my life. Good. Be Clooney. Like, do the Clooney thing. And wait until you're in your fucking 60s to find a, find a good woman. Fuck it. Fuck it. Aw, wow. Willard. Willard. And it's just, like, it, it's like this is just a self-fulfilling prophecy. He's just doing this shit to please her. Before he thought doing that other shit would, was to please her, but now he's doing other shit just to please her. Because he's such a fucking perfectionist, he wants everything to work out. It's like it's no different. It's no different. It's no different. Pattern is still there. The toxic pattern, the toxicity, toxic pattern is still there. Dumbass. <laughs> Damn it. See, so you dumb. So, someone. So I'm gonna say something. Like, yeah, I'm saying that saying something that no one's probably ever, probably no one's ever told Will Smith. You're a fucking dumbass. Sometimes you're he dumb. says the right thing. You may be really smart, but you're dumb. Okay. The it's truth. Let's hold hands. 
You might have to wash your hands after holding Jada's. <laughs> thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Got dick all over your I just hands. want to say thank you for everything. Oh, yeah, thank you. We love you. Yes. I love you to death. You have found something. None of us would have anything without you, to be honest. Like, everyone at this table owes you fucking everything. And that's just the truth. <laughs> and with this red table and in this space that I tried my damnedest to build table, for you. With this red table, I'd be oh. miserable. The space where you get to fully and honestly and thoroughly be you and to get all of the love and the praise that you deserve. When I see you on this red table, it is the... Also, Jada Pinkett Smith is still phony. Still phony. Like, she's still putting up a fucking facade, so... Whatever. Joy that I have always hoped you would have. Thank you. Mm. Come here, Bean. Mm. I always knew he was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Pain! Pain. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's all I can take. Got a fucking headache. Like, well, not a headache exactly, but my face is a little tight from all this fucking buffoonery. Yeah, you don't have a wife's headache, you have a normal headache. <laughs> yeah, so that was that garbage. That was that was the pain. That was we saw everything we needed to see there. G -g 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 God damn. <laughs> All right, so de we're definitely packing it in. Jesus Christ, it's like two thirty. Fuck been on here an extra hour well more than that like it was like it's like extra an hour an extra hour from the like the last time that we were like oh that we were stalling or whatever um yeah that's gonna be it for the night guys like to everyone like who participated in the stream like you're superheroes like who participate in the stream the, until now uh, you're superheroes for dealing with this shit. Jesus Christ. But yeah, my throat, my voice is giving out a little bit. I'm hungrier than fuck. Uh, I, I need water because I ran out a long time ago. But, and that was, yeah, that was awful. That was some horrible shit. A good night. Get some fucking sleep and try not to have nightmares about this shit. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, Carl. Bye, everyone. I'll see you in your dreams. Oh, well, don't say that. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, if Poe can somehow have nightmares slash dreams about me, so can everybody else. <laughs> now with that creepy smile you, you do. <laughs> Which one? I have like ten. You, you have this smile where it's like nothing but teeth. And like the space between your cheeks and your teeth. <laughs> it's like you can't even see your gums. It's just like teeth. <laughs> and like, I don't, I'll explain it later. I, I need to get the. Oh my god, these hiccups are violent. Hang on. Oh, all right. Bye, guys. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Bye.